talk, 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 talking about tapes. Hello, Royce. Welcome back. Hi. Wow, it's been a long time since I've been here. I can't believe you came all the way back to the video store. Obviously, it's a different day because I'm wearing a different shirt. Obviously, and I assume you came back because our Scarface episode did so well. It's probably our most viewed episode. Five million views? That was crazy. I can't believe Scarface got five million views. Unbelievable. Whew, who knows how much it has by the time this airs? Probably 10 yeah, million Who views. knows? Anyway, we're back to talk about Blade One. I I left the DVD at home and the only copy of Blade we had in the store was Blade Trinity. So I'm sorry. But yeah. Don't yes. be sorry. Like I remember you see I'm gonna tell you this. I was like, I want to do Blade Trinity. We gotta do them in order. And I'm like, all right, and see this was this is karma. <laughs> Yeah, you were really eager to talk about Blade Trinity. As it's the people. good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really great. <laughs> um, yes, Blade. So you like Blade. I love Blade. It okay. is the first Marvel movie. Uh, Howard the Duck. It's the first Marvel movie that kicked off this era, but keep going. Of course, yes. Howard. Uh, how could I forget Howard the Duck? There yes. were duck boobs in it. Yes, there were. You know what's from the Blade movie? What? Real boobs. That's true. <laughs> uh, I mean, I always liked it. This was like this was like peak Wesley Snipes. Like we're yes. talking like Demolition Man, Blade. Like this was when he was Passenger um, Fifty Seven. Fifty Seven. Always bet on black. I love that fucking line. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets a lot of a lot of like oh Arnold Schwarzenegger with his one with his one liners. <laughs> People really sleep on. On Wesley Snipes, yes, one Wesley Snipe is awesome. Yeah, I have. I thought I had Passenger Fifty Seven. I'm real upset that I don't see Passenger Fifty Seven. Anyway, uh, yes, this is peak Wesley Snipes. Yes. Uh, what was he in? Oh, what was he? he was in that movie like Murder Fifteen Hundred? I think. Um, oh, what he, was, was he was. He in the, the newer Expendables. Oh God, no! <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Uh, yes, Wesley Snipes was awesome, and this movie was awesome. And uh, Royce, I know this is big for you. It uh, it was a win for diversity. Finally, I mean, I think Spawn beat it a year earlier, but that movie's not as as much as I love the movie Spawn. It's not as finely remembered as Blade. But and this doing well, it opened up the doors for you to get your own superhero like America Chavez or whoever Selma Hayek played. So this is probably why you have a connection for this film, right? Whoever Selma Hayek played. I'll have you know, she played Judy Eternal, I believe, was the name of the movie. Oh, yes, Judy Eternal. Judith Eternal. <laughs> Judith Eternal. I forgot yes. that was her name. I don't remember. There was about a family named the Eternals, right? Yes. I, I blacked out during that movie because it was so bad. But, but you probably woke up at the end for the post credit scene where we hear the new Blade off camera. But anyway, keep going. And... and, so. the, and, and, and so why do you like Blade? Why do you like? When was the first time you saw Blade? The Blade is fantastic, and I think it was a spinoff of Tu Wong Fu. Is crazy. <laughs> like Tu Wong how Fu. they connected that, I don't know. Tu Wong Fu is a pretty fucking good movie. That movie's amazing. That movie's movie. awesome. It's underrated. Honestly, really believe that. Get off my really, dick, buddy. <laughs> it's so it's so good. Starring um, the late Patrick Swayze. Yes. Yes. But anyway, what year did Blade come out? Blade was ninety eight, I believe. 98. Okay, so I was, uh, oh man, it's perfect. I was 16. Okay. That was peak, per, that's a peak age for the Blade for the, yeah. because when you think about it, 98, so it was, it was right, it was right before uh, the Matrix came out. Okay. Because Matrix was 99, and there was this whole, that whole era of movies was not, a lot of flashing lights, nightclubs. Yes. Very like, you know, whoa, techno, man. Yeah, everyone's wearing black leather, yeah. man. Oh, God, it's so cool. We talked about that when we did X-Men. It's like, this is right off the Matrix and stuff, so yes. everyone had to have black leather on. Maybe you like if you have robot ears. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it, was, it was really good. I, I, as a matter of fact, Blade wasn't one I saw in the theaters. Blade was one that I saw when it came on like HBO. Yeah, I remember renting the tape when it came out i was like i probably would have been eight or nine mm -hmm. when it came out and i remember renting the vhs tape and like just falling in love with it was, what was it rated r it was rated r. r right rated r yeah it's because so funny it wasn't huh? like a, it wasn't like a spider -Man. it was such an obscure character that they could just do whatever so they're like yeah let's make it a hard r action movie yeah i think the first rated r movie i saw was robocop um but 
Yeah, and this is like back in the Wild West when Raider R movies still had toys for yeah. kids. Like, yeah. you can't do that anymore either. And I will talk about Deacon Frost's toy and how it ties into the deleted ending of the movie. Ooh. Ooh yeah, okay. this movie had a very different. Uh, do you not know about no, the. No, I don't. Now I'm excited oh. about the deleted ending. Oh, this movie's climax was very different, and there was a cameo they cut out. But anyway. Really? Oh, yeah. Cameo of a character who had a movie recently. But anyway. Um, yeah, so what did you know about Blade before you saw this movie? I was always a big comic book guy, but I didn't really read uh, yeah. that Blade. Like, I mean, you know, my, mind you, I was like, you know, X-Men, yeah. really into Batman, you know, stuff like that. And and I, I uh, never really read about it. But I mean, when you think about it, you're like, oh, yeah, it's this badass vampire hunter. You're like, oh, you sold me. Yeah. Like, I'm in. Like, this is... And, and keep something in mind, because Blade came out at a time when the market wasn't saturated with vampire stuff or it, superhero or stuff. superhero stuff in general like it, Batman it, and Robin and Spawn but you're not right, right. you don't but, have but, a lot of competition but nothing but nothing nothing like that so the market wasn't saturated so it was actually you know it was a also a really different take a really different take mm. on your classic like vampire movies which yeah. is like oh you're stuck in a castle and you know there's a mm. this is like oh yeah I know badass techno vampire guy let's yeah. go and, so, and that, that, that's why I liked it. Yeah, so the comics, uh, Blade is uh, British. Mm -hmm. It's from the Tomb of Dracula comics. I think he's part of like a team. Mm -hmm. uh, and he used to wear a, uh, a red trench coat with green glasses and Ooh, green it. pants. Uh, but in the 90s, he ended up joining a team called the Night Stalkers with like Ghost Rider and stuff. And that's where he got the black motorcycle outfit. Nice. Which was then used in the, the Spider-Man animated series episode. I watched that. Okay. That's all you need to watch before this movie. Because so A.V. Aviara, he had like freedom to do whatever he wanted with these characters because Marvel didn't really care. Dude, and it made the movie better. Yeah, well, I'm talking about like the Spider-Man cartoon. I'm sorry. So, yeah, so originally the... Blade's powers were same origin. His mom was bitten by a vampire, uh, but he just had an immunity to vampir vampirism. Yeah. The cartoon is, which at, is what added the whole he has their powers and it added the character Whistler. And uh, what else did it add in it added in him being american the cartoon wow, did so all the that. cartoon that's crazy okay yeah and then i guess when avi arad was producing this he's like i like what we did with blade in the cartoon just do that for the movie <laughs> like fuck the tomb of dracula fuck the british thing he's not british he's a cool american guy and he's wesley snipes and he wears black have fun and that's cool when you when you that, that's the upside i think a lot of the times when you use you use characters that aren't as well known, you can you, you have a little you, bit you more could freedom. Fudge it and no one's going to care. No, you're not going to like. It's not like if the you know made Batman's parents live, and you're like, okay, what are you doing? Yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, he just be a rich guy. Yeah, uh, but it, they. Another reason it's funny because like you, you watch stuff like Blade, like in hindsight, you 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 do the like this is what they took from us because it <laughs> is. So if you think about it, a lot of stuff is like. Yeah. I was I was actually talking to you off air about it, but th there's there's this with Mar with with this movie. It's like if you stray from the formula, mm -hmm. it's actually a problem. Where it's like, oh, you're not following, you know, the paint by numbers thing. With this Blade movie, like you, it was just like we've never done this before. We don't care. We're, the freedom of not having to worry about you better make a billion dollars. Yes, it was just like, oh, it's so a yeah, cool hey, movie. Hopefully, makes like uh, sixty, eighty million dollars. Yeah, and that's yeah. and that's fine. And um. I again, it, it made vampires which had gotten boring. It made yeah. them cool. Yeah, it, it made it made them. Honestly, I mean, mm. years before this, we have the Gary Oldman Dracula, and that's so fucking cool. How do you top that? You had to come up with something. I rewatched <laughs> that recently. It's so, good. and I was waiting for Blade to show up. He never did. <laughs> You would have solved that thing because it was in the past. Blade wasn't born oh, until years later. Oh, you're right. But that's don't worry. Why, that's why Keanu Reeves' accent was so bad. Yes, but don't worry. Blade does fight Dracula in the comics, and he will fight Dracula in Blade Trinity. He gets there. He gets there eventually. That was such a good movie. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's funny. Like you're right. They had a lot of freedom with this character. There weren't really any expectations for the character. Like no, just make a badass movie. I don't know. Maybe there was some there that's like, why does he have a British accent? But like I said, the cartoon was so popular that they just they just went with that. And luckily, I had seen that cartoon like right before the movie. So I'm like, cool. I know a lot about Blade. It turns out I didn't know anything about the comic version, but I didn't need to. Because yeah, they went needed, with the cartoon yeah. version. Um, 
So yeah, that's, that's why I was excited because I really liked that episode where he fought Morbius and whatnot. God. So when I saw that they were making like a live action movie, like I remember just being like, oh, that's the guy from the Spider-Man cartoon. I really want to see that movie. Which is great because maybe now somebody will kill Jared Leto's character. <laughs> character. Well, maybe it'll be New Blade. I don't know. Um, uh, no, he can't be because New Blade, they have to explain why he was he was the guy that owned the club and the Luke Cage thing. Same guy, by the way. Oh, and his Marvel B were using characters a lot. And his sister is the bad guy, but she was also the mom who incited the Civil War by making Tony Stark feel bad. You're right. Oh, oh yeah, Marvel reuses oh. actors a bunch. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, they yeah. they do it because I think what happens what happen what happens is is like a lot of them initially do like a Marvel thing, like oh yeah, this will be my thing. But then now now it's like. I think it's become a badge of honor for yeah. every actor wants to collect the Marvel character. I think every major actor will be in a Marvel movie but within 10 years, everyone yeah. will be because they're all, even if it's a bit part, they're all in them now. And it's funny because like, like she was like a bit part, Alfre Woodward, I think. I think she was a bit part in that Civil War movie and then they made her a main character. But like Marshall Ali was a main character in Luke Cage and now he's Blade in the same universe. I'm a little bummed um, because one of the, one of the first characters that I think Marvel were used the most was Sony, but we was like Bruce Campbell played yeah. like three different characters, even though it's, it was three yeah. different characters. Surprising to show up in the new movie. In the what movie? In the the new Spider Man movie. Yes, you don't worry. If, if any time there was to do he it, he shows up in a different movie. Oh, I know which. But you know of what? You know what's funny? If I should have known. I should have known. I, I mentioned uh, in that review, like uh, at one point, if they did Spider Man Four, it was going to be revealed all three of those Bruce Campbells were the same person and they were Mysterio. <sighs> But they never end up making the movie. But it anyway. could turn out to be uh, what's his face is real Uncle Ben since they never Tom Holland's Uncle Ben. Oh, since yeah. they never had it. No, my head canon Uncle Ben is either uh, Jason Alexander or Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci's great. Now I'm thinking that'd be great. Yeah, uh, yeah. Jason Alexander can because he was too busy in that blockbuster film North. He had a plot line with Marissa Tomei and Seinfeld is the only reason I picked that. But anyway, this was uh, directed by Stephen Norrington, who was a special effects guy. He did special effects for like Hellraiser 4, Aliens, Alien 3. Uh, and he was a director? Yes, okay. he directed one movie before this, and I forgot to write it down. But then he directed this, he directed another movie, and then his last directorial effort was The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And he hasn't directed a major motion picture since. But he has gone back to doing like sculpting. That movie killed Sean Connery. <laughs> he has gone back to doing like sculpting and effects work. Um, but yeah, he he had a lot of like projects that were like almost made. Like he almost did The Crow. He almost did a couple other comic book movies and they just never took off for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Crow, another movie that falls in this genre. Of yes. God, I don't know. I wish. Was there a name for like techno goth? I, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah, it's like, with God, the Crow sequels, where it's just the same movie over and over again. Yeah, but for that, I'll just watch Sting on WCW at that yeah. point. Honestly, it's a better Crow at that point. St oh, Darby Allen's friend? You said a lot of things that made me mad in the past, but that made me the most things made me the most mad in my life. The Sting, I, I know him as Darby Allen's friend. Oh, Darby Allen's dad? <laughs> he comes home with the ring all the time. It's nice that Darby Allen and his dad it's, get along. It's so nice. Uh, and this movie was written by David S. Goyer. Yeah, that I know. Who wrote the other ones. He directed Blade Trinity. He's written a lot. Yes, a he's lot. written a lot of good movies and a lot of bad. He tends to direct bad movies. Oh, besides Blade Trinity. Uh, but Thank he writes you. a lot of good movies, like the Batman movies and a bunch of other ones. He's um, he's a pretty talented writer. Not always the best director. Yeah. Uh, but he's hit or miss. Uh, I think he's the one... Who really pushed for Blade to remain black? Because I think there was a producer that was like, "Yeah, it might not do well. Uh, let's make it a white guy." And it's like, "How about we don't do that?" Cause, what? Cause, yeah, yeah. That uh, was like one of the biggest like things about is like, oh, look, a diverse. You know, will we? Well, I mean, to be fair, Wesley Snipes sounds like a white name. Yeah. But have you seen Thirty Rock when they do that joke? No. Oh, you know what's Thirty Rock? Uh, I've, I've seen a few. I didn't yeah. like sit down and watch no. it. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's not all the terrible Ewok Star Trek Star Wars <laughs> movies you watch. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, David S. Gore, you're right, is, is very hit and miss. But this is one of those times where I'm like, leave it alone. Yeah. A lot of people get mad at get mad like, oh, you just don't want to see a black guy replace a white guy. Or a white guy. No, that's not true at all. Yeah, I just want 
I'm a very I'm a very like continuity kind of guy. I want the guy to be yeah. like I would I don't want it the other way either. I don't I don't want I don't want Paul Bettany to play play. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I don't want that either. I I want you know you know if the combo carries like this you know yeah. do that. I don't mind. I don't mind the race changing sometimes. Like, it doesn't bother me with some characters. It really doesn't. No, no, I mean, look. If there it's are a, times where they do it to be like, look what we did. Aren't we special? And it's like, no, you did it because you knew you pissed people off. And and you'll get pressed. And you make people who are not going to see your movie happy. And it's like, yeah. But they did do something with Spawn where the studio apparently was afraid the movie was too black. So they made his friend character white, who's black in the comics. First off, yeah. I'm sorry. But I wouldn't consider Spawn... Spawn too black of a movie. It just was a movie. Like again, yeah. it's like that was that was just a. What did he do? He was a he, yeah. He, I, I, okay. Look, the worst part about the Spawn movie was John Leguizamo. Really? Yeah. Uh, he was I just fun. don't like John Leguizamo. He's overacting. Whatever. <sighs> anyway, Blade. He did. He did act in pasta face in the Mario Brothers movie, and I will never forget that him. is or Bob. You, if anyone should be mad, it should be. It's you. me, and I am very mad. It anyway. should be you. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this awesome movie. Yes. It begins with Tracy Lords taking some unlucky guy to a meatpacking uh, right, facility. It was Tracy Lords. Holy it was. shit. Uh, and this whole setup is good because you're like, oh, wow, this guy's going to get lucky with this hot lady. And they're like, oh, why are they going to the meatpacking plant? That's weird. Oh, it's a secret nightclub. Oh, this must be a speakeasy or whatever. And then like you start to like catch on that there's something weird going on. You get introduced to the character of Quinn, and we see uh, Stephen Dorff's Deacon Frost for like a minute. Mm. Uh, but yeah, suddenly everything rains blood. Now this, so you have to forgive me because I do mix up a lot of the, because I think each Blade movie had like a nightclub scene, yes. right? Is this the one where they were making out with the razor blades? Or more? Because you know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, I can't recall the razor blade part. Yeah, because there was one one of the Blade movies where they're going to a nightclub, and it's like. Oh, the vampires are making out with razor blades. I'm like, it's pretty metal, I guess. But like, do vampires like the taste of other vampires' blood? I watched this last night. I didn't. I don't recall that scene. Okay, so you it might know, be Blade, Blade Two. You know what I do recall in the scene? Yes. Quick, get me royalty-free techno right away. <laughs> We're making a Blade movie. There is a 10 hour loop of that online. I believe it. How do you think I go to sleep every night? I go to sleep with that beat, the 10 hour loop every oh, night. Oh, I'm sure yeah. we all do. I always, whenever I try to remember it, it always turns into Darude Sandstorm. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm always like, how'd the Blade song go again? Oh, it went da 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 da. And then I watch the last slide. I'm like, no, it goes da 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 da. Um, this scene is awesome and horrifying. With like the fast editing and the fangs are coming out and that guy's like freaking out. Yeah. And I love the reveal of Blade. Just like that whole camera movement of it moving back and everything is blood. And the only thing not in blood is Blade's like leg that you yeah. see and then it pans up. And you're like, oh shit, this guy, this guy's here to fuck things this up. This guy's badass. Like, I mean, just yeah. everything about that character was done perfectly. Yes. Obviously, when we got to Trinity, it got a little... Little wonky. It got better, right? Yeah, oh, it was great. Because you know what? <laughs> when I watch Blade, you know what I thought? I go, this is great, but this movie would be better if it had Triple H in it. That would make when it. When I better. watch Wesley Snipes' performance in this movie, I'm like, you know, this is great, but I could tell he was actually there with the actors. I'd rather him film all his scenes separate from yes. all the actors. That way he doesn't react to anything that they're saying. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like the, that new. Uh, uh, the, the new zombie movie that came out where they recast. Um, Oh, yeah. with Tig Notaro? Yeah, and it, yeah. It, it was so weird because it was like, hey, you, why don't you do this? And then it was, it was like, look like we're in a different place. Yeah, I will do that. I'm like, yeah. what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing of Blade Trinity. Wesley Snipes didn't want to be on I wonder set. how much Wesley Snipes got paid for the first Blade. I'm wondering what he was... By three, he was making more, a lot more money, but I'm wondering yeah. if this was still when he when he was... Well, he got probably... He got paid a lot, and he got to keep it because he wasn't paying his taxes. That's fine. <laughs> and a little prison time and he was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that sorted him out. Uh, but yeah, he did have like a whole meltdown on Blade Trinity. Something was going on there. But anyway, uh, his... Probably the fact that he owed so many taxes. <laughs> probably. He probably should have paid him. Like, yeah. look, 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 look. Taxation is theft. And mm -hmm. I know I'm against it. I'm against it too. But I don't also, also want to go to jail. jail. <laughs> we could agree on that. 
So Blade is awesome. He starts like blasting these vampires away, slicing them up, and they turn into CGI skeletons that turn into dust. To be fair, yes, you're right. They we're talking about early, late 90s CGI. Luckily, it's all done really fast. Yeah. It's like there are a couple scenes in this where they want to linger on something for too long, and it's like, oof. Yeah. That didn't age Not super the best. Well. Not the best. But this stuff is fine with them yeah. just turning to dust. Um, I love the fucking scene with him and the boomerang when he throws it around. It spins yes. around and comes back to them, and then all their heads fall off. Now, I was always... It was nice of their heads to wait to fall off. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah. I always appreciate that. The silver is really consistent in this movie. Yeah. Now, I was always confused about Quinn. Donald Logue. Yeah. Who is in What We Do in the Shadows. Did you see that episode? Wait, uh, wait, yeah, I've seen all the episodes. Yeah, when they call the Vampire Council and Donald Logue shows yes, up. Yes, yep, yep, and they yep. Think, and then they yep. think he's Quinn from Blade. He's like, no, that's a character the I character, played. He's like, yeah. but the whole thing is like, I really enjoyed the character, so I looked up real vampires and I became... And then Blade Skyping into the meeting. Yeah, Wesley's like, this so is also good. a vampire. So good. Yeah, so Blade has even said, he's like, I keep using all this stuff on you and slicing you up, and you keep coming back. I think I tried fire this time. It's like, why is he so much... Stronger than the other vampires. There, there's a lot of stuff that it kind of don't yeah. really, they really kind of just gloss over. It's like, oh, he's just a, a special vampire. And um because he, he stakes him with the silver, doesn't do anything. Lights him on fire, doesn't do anything. And spoiler, at the end, he does cut his head off, and that's what finally does it. It's like, well, why didn't you try to cut his head off earlier? Because you went and cut all the cool action shots. That's Hello. Cool. That's true. You wouldn't have gotten all the cool action what else shots. Are you, what else are you going to do while you're hearing? Vampires, they really like techno. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I love that he like lights them on fire and then just leaves that human guy there. And like the cops come in, the human guy's like, I don't know what just happened. Can, and can then, I? Can I? Donald is still like moving around. <laughs> yeah. Also. I kind of feel like at this point people should know vampires exist because they're yeah. having nightclub parties and they're not. Well, that's the thing. We find out like in a couple scenes later of uh, the vampire council, like apparently they're they're used to staying quiet and Deacon Frost and his friends are the ones that are causing this ruckus. Someone's trying to instigate like a war. So I think like the whole the, the clubs and stuff are new. I don't think they were like a thing before, but yeah, eventually people are going to find out what the fuck happened. But they take the body to Karen, who's a hematologist. What a Karen. What a Karen. What a Karen. <laughs> uh, and uh, she's there with her ex-boyfriend nurse guy. And he's like, look how weird this guy's blood is. And she's like, what is this, a joke? He's that like, is a hematologist talk to each other, by the way. Like, yes. Hey, check out the wacky blood on this bloke. Yeah, you think we're going to get back together? No. Okay, look at this guy's blood. <laughs> um... I still remember having the shit scared out of me when Donald Logue popped up and grabbed the guy. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't expect that because he looks he is charred. He looks horrifying. And he's got like white eyes and the white teeth. Looks like a panther. It's so fucking scary. Practical effects. Yes. Again. Uh, but yeah, he bites Karen. He like uh, takes off into the night because Blade is chasing him. And like, so for most of the movie. Blade is this like stoic, serious, quiet guy, but he has moments yeah. where he'll snap and uh, what's it called? Security guard shoots him and he's got body armor and he just goes around and goes, Motherfucker, are you out of your damn mind? Motherfucker's always trying to skate uphill. That's another one. That's at the very end. And you're like, like, he rarely acts like that. He only it has seems a, out of character. It right? does. A little it, bit. Like he goes from being the character Blade to being Wesley Snipes. Yeah. It's almost as if, like, the Blade persona is, like, what he wants to be, but his real self comes out once a while. He turns into Will Smith from Independence Day. You do not just shoot that green thing at me. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> That's not in your character at all. You're supposed to be this badass vampire yeah. hunter. The one-liners, I, I will agree with you, the one-liners are a little jarring, yeah. especially with the tone they're setting. Yes. It'd be like if ne using a similar kind of, you know, techno goth movie, if Neo from The Matrix all of a sudden started shooting one-liners, you'd be like, this doesn't feel right? Uh, to be fair, he did do this. Yeah, but that's not a one-liner. That's looking pretty badass. That is looking pretty yeah. badass. But wouldn't it look more badass if he just did a whole movie doing this? Wouldn't that be cool? Only if it's an HBO Max exclusive. Yes. <laughs> That's all I want to see is all the Kung Fu and stuff. I loved it. But all I want to see Neo is doing is this. 
Hey, hey, don't forget about social commentary. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which I didn't even get that. I don't even mind if you have social commentary, but it was all over the place. I'm like, wait, but what's the comment? Sequels are bad? Like, I don't get it. Simulate. Oh, God. Go back just... and watch our Matrix Resurrections review. <laughs> Uh, I forgot until I watched this last night that he straight up just launches her out the window to throw oh, her on yeah. the other room. I was fucking dying. And there then was... like her elbow pops out. It's just like my elbow. And he's like, oh, let me fix that. And he like Fuck. pops it back in. He's not graceful at Don't all. Don't you love, that's a great scene to explain. Don't you love movies understanding of popping this elbow, of popping your shoulder yeah. out or whatever. It's like, yeah, you can't pop it back in. You're going to be in excruciating pain. No, you just pop back in your pocket. And, and, your arms find the rest of the movie. Yeah. yeah That's it's not fine. how it works. I, I saw Godzilla versus Kong where Kong's elbow popped out and he just hit a skyscraper and it fixed it. And, and he's fine. And Kong had a sword. And he, oh, yeah. Or an axe. axe. Yeah, an Whatever. axe. Please. You're right. A sword would be ridiculous. A sword, I, I would have walked out of the movie even though I was watching it in my living room. I would have walked out of the living room uh, if it had been a sword. But it was an axe. I'm like, that I can get behind. I love that he's killing, I love Blade's killing all these vampires. Yeah. Which is awesome. But it seems like they spend way too much time making cool looking weapons instead of functional ones. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I get, the, the guns make no sense to me. Yeah. You know what else would work? A regular gun with a silver bullet in it. Like, <laughs> you, don't, you don't need like this. Here, you're holding one in the back of this. You don't need one of these like weird looking like it looks like they spray painted a Nerf gun. Yeah. 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 I don't know. But uh, I will say love his haircut. His haircut is pretty great. Badass. Now, would you mind if he had a red trench coat and green pants? Only if he was British. Very important to me that he's British. I'm shocked for the new one. They didn't try to be more accurate and get like John Boyega. And they're like, no, nah, we're just, we're getting Marshall Ali and it's just going to be Wesley Snipes Blade again. I'm like, yeah, I guess that makes Let sense. Let me guess. Is Wesley Snipes going to be in it? But this time he's going to play Quinn or something or watch. Well, it's just going to be something like that. Or he's going to be Whistler, something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he uh, decides to take her in, even though he probably shouldn't. And speaking of Whistler, we meet him, played by Chris Christopherson. So good. Uh, and he's just like, taking it in strays now. Oh uh, he's basically his cue. He makes them all his weapons and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I kill vampires for Kenny Rogers over here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and he was also in the 2001 Planet of the Apes, your favorite movie. Um, so good. He gives her like an injection of garlic to stay off the infection, hopefully. Is like, that how it works? You're Italian. Is that how a garlic works? Yes. Th okay, perfect. Yes, that's why Italy has the least amount of vampires. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay, that makes they, sense. They can't even walk around because so many pizza places are making stuff with garlic. And they're like, Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula stopped by once, and he was like, never again. Never. Too no. much garlic. I'm taking my ass to Spain. <laughs> so, yeah, we see the Vampire Council, which I was talking about. They're, they're pissed at Deacon mm. Frost. Uh, Deacon Frost doesn't want to hide from humans anymore. He thinks he should be ruling them. They don't like Yeah, because his cool, awesome sex techno parties aren't fun enough for yeah. him. They're mad at him because he's not a he's on the council, but he's not a pure blood. Apparently, you could be vo born a vampire. Yeah, they, they Anakin'd him. Yes. You could be on the council, but you're not a Jedi. Like, they did, that's what they did to him. You know who else is on the council, which I never noticed until now? Gerald Akamura. Really? Famous martial artist who oh. who was in the very end of the original Mortal Kombat, which comes back later in this. Uh, but he was also in, you know, the film everyone loves, Samurai Cop. Such a good movie. Yes. He was pretty so good, good in that movie. <laughs> great. Great in it. Yeah, he was great. He was great. But no, I like Gerald Nakamura and most things that he's in. So yeah, and Udo Kier is the uh, main guy. And I like Udo Kier. He's always, he always plays a creepy, weird guy. I think uh, a few years after this, he was in that movie End of Days where he was like leading the satanic cult. The Schwarzenegger movie yeah. End of Days? Oh, and he gets God. punched in the face by uh, what the, the Satan. <laughs> he puts a hole in his face. Udo Kier is just a great actor. He's in so many classic horror films. Like I've seen him in uh, you know the original Suspiria. He's great in a movie called Mark of the Devil. That's, Never seen that. That's a pretty good one about like, it's a movie about witches in like the 1600s, but it's more about like how the witch hunters were all assholes and they were just, they were just doing it to like get people's money and stuff and whatnot. They're like, hey. They were the original grifters. Yes. They were like, hey, you should leave all your money to the church. And the guy's like, what? No. It's like, oh, well, you're a witch. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, so the movie's about that. Blade gets a serum from a friend of his. We're never explained who this friend is, why the friend makes a serum. Or how it even works. Can we no. bring can we bring up how it works? Like Yeah, we don't know how it works. We just know, oh, it staves off the hunger or whatever. Yes. And you're like, okay, but yeah, but why? And 
Yes. How? And so that's the thing. Blade, none of the vampire's weaknesses, all of their strengths. However, he still has the bloodlust. He doesn't need the blood. He just has the lust. For he blood. wants it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because there's a couple scenes where he sees the blood and it gets yeah. him like. And he even says to the guy, he's like, hey, it's not working as well. And the guy's like, yeah, I thought that would happen. Anyway, here you go. It's anyway, like, here's your serum. And you're it's like, like are okay. You, are you looking into new ways to make it better? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Good luck. Karen, like, survives, and she's poking around Blade's room for a bit. With her arm not being in pain at all. Not being in pain at all. Well, it pop back in. Yeah, it's fine. That's that how works. that works, Royce. Yeah, there's no inflammation or tearing. No, no, Got not it. at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I mean, I've never had it happen, but I assume that's how it Must it be in the serum or something. Would Blade lie? Yes, on his taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley Snipes might, yeah. not Blade. I apologize. To, hey, there's your clip for Twitter. To make it relatable, because yeah. you're a wrestling guy. Like uh, Terry Belia said racist stuff, not mm. Hulk Hogan. Not Hulk Hogan. No, 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 no. Hulk Hogan. I think he kind of also did too, though. <laughs> Both of them did. Not at Hulk Hogan wasn't as racist. <laughs> yes, Terry yes. Belia. That is it. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen Hogan knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, she's poking around his room and she sees his sword and we get the setup for the sword shoots blades out. If you How badass it. is that? That's cool. That's badass. That reminds me of the Judge Dredd comics. Yes. How uh, the lawgivers are all like rigged to blow up your hand. Blow up your hand, not like the Stallone movie where it just gives you like an electric shock. No, no, they pun they don't punish you there. They just punish you by teaming up with Rob Schneider for an entire oh, film. My God. Thank God this movie didn't do any of that bullshit. They, you know what? You know what? That's a really good point. You brought that up. There wasn't a goofy yeah. sidekick. Yeah. You know? Instead, they gave There were moments of levity, don't get me wrong, yeah. but there wasn't like someone's like, oh man, I've, I guess you're having a bad day or something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. They instead gave him the uh the the stoic uh the the stoic like um father figure kind of character. Yeah, yeah. Steel tried to do that too. They gave him that old guy. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Steel? Yes, of course. I was so confused in that movie when I saw it because I had like Steel comics, and I remember being like, "Where's the Superman back?" How do you make a Steel movie without why he actually became Steel? It makes no sense, and you need Superman in it, or what's the point? I mean, next you're gonna say they shouldn't make Venom movies without Spider Man. Like, what are you ridiculous? They shouldn't make Venom movies. Period. <laughs> so, period. I think the Venom movies are fine and fun. Of course you do. Morbius, however. I haven't seen it. That bad? Yeah, it's bad. Can Blade kill him in this, too? There's the oh. crossover. Let's do it. Yeah, so I like that setup with the the sword. That's really yeah. cool. Because you know it's going to come back later, yeah. and you're, like, getting ready for it. Whistler thinks they should keep her around because she's a blood doctor. And it's like, he she can help you with her serum. Uh, also, Whistler likes to smoke cigarettes next to gasoline as he's pumping his car full of gasoline and spilling the gasoline everywhere. He's having the gasoline fight from uh, from <laughs> Zoolander. Zoolander. But, now, the okay. gasoline did look clear, so I don't know if there was a thing where it's like, does the Blade Mobile run on water or something? Because he's such it's a tech ethanol. guy. It's ethanol. It runs on, it's, it's corn ethanol. Oh, it runs yes. on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it's, okay, so this is great. So uh, keep her around me since the blood doctor. Yeah. First off, I think that Whistler wants to run for another reason. Let's just say he's been in there for a while. And... Yes. Also, keep her because she's the blood doctor. Okay, I get that, but there's also the fact of Blade literally is only around one other human for long periods of time, and it's you. And if you have someone, he's gonna want to kill. Like, it yeah. feels like you're tempting him, right? You're like, yeah. oh yeah, here, this is delicious, delicious blood. You want any? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, it should be a thing like, hey, we should keep her. I'm gonna put her in a secure room where you can't eat her. They explain. How he became Blade a little later, right? Yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Later. I don't want to skip ahead. Okay, uh, okay. But yes, he's um, telling her uh, about the, uh, the the war that's going on between like the vampires and whatnot. And he's like, yeah. Me. I was on Team PewDiePie in that war. <laughs> Are we still doing that? I don't no, know. we're not. What year is it? No, someone. 1998? <laughs> someone ruined the, uh, the oh, PewDiePie Oh, no. And it wasn't uh, Blade. It wasn't Blade. <laughs> Uh, but Whistler goes like, yeah, me, Blade, and a few others, referring to more vampire hunters. So, um, setting up for Blade Trinity, the yes, other well, vampire I hunters? I think that they were setting up for Hannibal King and some other characters yeah, yeah. from Tomb of Dracula. I don't think they meant it to turn into this. 
I don't think Pat Oswald was in their plan for the future of the Blade series. I don't think Pat Oswald was anyone's future plans, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, he was in Eternals. That's like his fifth was Marvel he? character. Was he? he what do you play this? A voice or something? He was the voice of the little troll guy who came <sighs> out with Harry Styles at the end. We get it, Patton. You're a nerd. Can you stop? Patton, you played a, a group of like quintuplets on Agents of the Shield. Like, Bro. we don't need you anymore. Bro. At that, that's when I. T that's honestly when I tapped out of Agents of the Shield. I'm like, I'm done. I haven't watched the last few seasons. I, yeah, I didn't either. Honestly, after. I, I keep saying this. After Endgame, they stop being a priority. Like, I'll watch them. I'll watch them eventually. Mm hmm. But unless it's a character I really like, like Thor or Spider Man, I'm not going out of my way to watch it. No, me neither. I'm not. Yeah. I, listen, I, again, this is, it's the same thing. Like back in the day, you could make a blade where a character that nobody knew because mm. the market wasn't saturated, and you yeah. give it a chance. But honestly, between the between the TV shows, mm. because now you have all the TV shows. So between the TV shows and between all the movies, it's like I don't I don't care about the new Miss Marvel girl yeah. or whatever her yeah. name is or. I, I don't have time for that, but I think that's one of the down. And why, when you when you watch Blade, you you kind of forget how. Wow, this was fun. Mm -hmm. Like this was a movie about Blade, and it wasn't like half of the half of the movie wasn't setting up, wasn't just a setup for your next four movies. It was yes. like oh, not that it didn't make sequels, but when they made the first Blade, they weren't even expecting to do sequels. Like we're gonna make a Blade movie. Hopefully yeah. it does well. And and, uh, and now it's setting up the Avengers every movie or yeah, the next well, like, thing. Yeah, like modern Marvel movies like. For a while, they were pretty good at, like, leaving the setup at, like, the end, like, at the post credits, yeah. or, like, sprinkled here and there, but, like, like phase two or three, they just got more and more blatant, and I did that video recently on Doctor Strange, where I'm like, is this a commercial or a movie? That's, that's, but a lot of them are commercial. They need to, like, go back and, like, like, the, yeah, they need to go back and, like, hey, we can still set up other movies, but can we tell a story first? And yeah, save and, all that for and, the end. There's nothing wrong with, like, perfect, you just going back to this perfect example how they set up all the other vampire hunters yeah it wasn't a whole subplot it was just yeah. a line i'm not even against giving me a line like oh well, what's that what are they talking mm. about instead of like force feeding like oh there he is over there there is nick fury <laughs> hi nick fury <laughs> who at this time would have been played by david hasselhoff hi david hasselhoff nick fury <laughs> best nick fury period i'll fight you on it he fought vampires in that movie yeah no. oh Oh God, that movie was so bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Udo Kier is pissed at Deacon because he's trying to transcribe. So the vampires are kind of idiots and they didn't like keep like a history. They, they have all their history backed up, but I guess no one studied it because well, like, they're too busy with the raves. Yeah. He's like, you're trying to translate the vampire uh, Bible. Stupid. No one can decipher that language. And someone goes, it's just in Spanish. I can. Yeah. Are you guys even trying? It's like, wait a minute. Why? You didn't like think to like translate it over the years, you idiots. Like, uh, I was too busy brooding in my castle. Yeah, I, I guess so. I didn't have time. I guess so. Yeah. So he's using a computer program. I mean, how, I, long, how long did it take Gary Oldman's track to where he said <laughs> outfit and the hair? Hours. By the way, the computer thing is working because you see it working. Yeah. All the care had to be like, oh, it worked. Hey, thanks, Deacon. We can finally learn what this is about. <laughs> um, and there's just, no one respects Deacon Frost. No, because he's not a pure blood. If vampires don't, re so this is vampires don't respect pure bloods. Yeah. Why do they keep making more? You know, not pure blood ones. Like, yeah, it keep, it's counterproductive, right? Like, yeah. okay, you hate them, but. That's literally your job. That's well, all you do. So I did go on like, I don't know, a blade wiki. I don't know how accurate it is, but apparently like there's two ways to make a pure blood. I don't know how accurate this is, but it's like the vampires can conceive naturally, but apparently it doesn't always work. So the other way is for two turned vampires to hook up and make a pure. But blood. that's not a pure blood then. No, it's if you're born a vampire, you're pure blood. It doesn't matter who your parents were, as long as you were born a vampire. So two not pure bloods can make a pure blood. Yes. Okay, that's but weird. But two pure bloods can mate, but apparently it just doesn't work well. Like it, it's very, very rare. That's what I read. Who knows if that bullshit? It's true. probably it, like their necrotic genitals or something. Yes, but you know what? It's 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 vague enough that we can have a conversation and have fun figuring it Good out. Good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's not spelled out for us. It's, it's given us just enough. I'm like, huh. Oh, are you telling me he didn't have a machine in Tony Stark's apartment that could just create every cure? 
all of the sudden for no, no reason? No, he does not have that. Wow, that would have been a lot easier. Why didn't you get that Tony Stark machine he that solved get all the, the problems? Tony Stark fabricator. Yeah. Yeah, in the previous movie, I thought it was just for making suits. And no. then the next movie, it's like, it can make anything. I'm like, all right, well, that's full Oh, lazy. so it's, it's literally another MacGuffin machine. I'm yeah. Like, okay, yeah. I guess. Um, so there's vampire helpers. Like Blade, um, for, first off, Blade almost runs over a bunch of citizens. Uh, and he lets, oh, yeah, no, he, he doesn't care. Yeah, he lets her out uh, and he's like, be careful. And he's just like, but it's daytime. And then she sees people with tattoos on their back that are vampire helpers. Familiars. Yes. Wear a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> Wear or, a scarf. By the way, get the tattoo in a place people can't see it. Yeah. Why are there only the, the back of the neck? Why are you advertising Well, they it? do that in the next movie. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, but yeah, so she gets into her apartment and then a cop shows up and he's like, oh, I'm just a friendly police officer that likes to barge into black people's apartments. Trust me. It's like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that at all. Get the hell out you of have here. a warrant, sir? Get yeah, out of my have house. A warrant? Where was the knock? What the yeah. fuck is going on? Uh, but he's like asking if she's okay. He's like, does anyone know? Does yeah, anyone I was know? fine until the cop broke into my house. Yeah. And then he's just like, okay, well, you're dead. And he's about to shoot her. But I like that. Then like, why set it up? Yeah. Kill her then. Yeah. But Blade shows up uh, to save her. Uh, but his version of saving her is also to destroy all of her property. Like he's constantly throwing him into the table. And at one point she goes, Is that necessary? Is all that necessary? It's like Man of Steel. Yes. Only he's breaking furniture. Yeah. He's not, not throwing, entire cities. He's not throwing bad guys into a populated gas station. Sorry, I'm super mad. I don't kill people. Remember when he, the, the six Kryptonians were around his mother. So then he grabbed Zod and flew him away and left his mom with the five other Kryptonians. Just ridiculous. People still in my comment section try to defend that movie. And I'm like, I will never there? defend that movie. It's and I like Henry Graveal, by the way. Yeah. I'm a fan of his. I most of the actors in those series were just hand up bad scripts. Yeah. Yep. You know? Anyway, um, so yeah, he he used Karen as uh, lore for the familiar. He finds out he was delivering blood. Uh, Blade. He went to the Tony Montana school of dealing with people. He's first off, he's walking around with a ninja sword, and he's just brandishing a gun. He's about to shoot a cop in broad daylight in front of everyone. It's like. Blade, could you use a little bit more discretion here? Well, you know, the thing with Blade is that when you want, and it gets worse as, as the movies go on, like, mm. you're like, unlike other heroes where it's like, oh, this guy wants to save the innocent. Blade just does what he does because he fucking hates vampires. Yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not yeah. like your typical, like, oh, I'm going to go save humanity. They're killing people. He's just like, I just fucking hate vampires. Yeah, he's more about killing vampires right like that he it's not about like you said because how many people do you almost kill he doesn't care about civilians like he's just shooting bullets yeah. in the crowds and you know what this is a war with vampires and you're never going to win this war by killing what you hate it's about protecting what you love i hate you <laughs> i wish i had a silver samurai sword right now we have two uh, ninja swords of in course the you do <laughs> of course you a, do one of them is a knockoff yeah. one from highlander <laughs> I'm surprised I remember that quote. <laughs> that was from Last Jedi. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I know where it's from. You know what his name was? Blade Palpatine. <laughs> Blade Palpatine. Just hearing the name Palpatine. It's like, just, oh, just uh, Emperor. Just call him Emperor, you yeah, fucker. Seriously. Anyway, um, so they're chasing the cop later on. Because mm -hmm. the cop is stupid and comes back for his car and he's driving around. This is a bizarre overly edited scene where the camera is cranked and everything's moving in fast motion. There is one cool shot where he drives past. And there's a vampire just eating a girl, but then it will cut to like Wesley Snipes on an obvious blue screen. It's a <laughs> weird scene. Well, they hope the fast cut, if they cut it fast enough, you won't notice. But again, that, that fat, that fast cut stuff is very, all the movies in that mm. time frame. It was very like, you know, quick fuck action yeah. karate, and you're like, all but right. I, I thought it was gonna be like a transition to another scene, but it goes on for a while, and then the cut to the awkward green screen is just so bizarre. Um, but yeah, so he's uh he's stalking the club, and he's explaining to her the vampires, and he's like, yeah, the doorman, the this, the this. Man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you love this movie, but he refers to a strong, independent sex worker as a W word. No, they're vampires. So's the doorman. 
So I'm sorry, Royce. Cancel Blade. I apologize. Well, yeah. they already did. <laughs> they literally sent him to prison. Yeah. And then they gave him a TV show and they canceled the TV show. Yeah, they show. canceled the show. Yeah. We'll talk about Sticky Fingers later. Oh, poor um, Blade. Do you think Marshall Ali is going to be throwing out <laughs> anti-sex work? I'm going to say that, number one, I'm a little worried. Well, I'm a little worried. I'm always worried whenever they whenever they grab stuff. Because yeah, is, is, is it going to be, you know, is it going to be body positive Blade? Well, what Blade are we getting? What, what are we getting here? What Are we, are we going to get a... You know what I'm worried about? This is a great example of the difference in movies then and today. Mm. With this blade, with this blade movie, he was a badass mm. black vampire hunter, right? But it was never about also I'm black. Yeah. I'm really worried about the new blade. It's going to be a you know a, an anagram for 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 a metaphor for you know a, a police De violence or Deacon something. Deacon Frost had a plantation in the 1800s or something. Don't put that out in the universe. Sorry. Because what you just said, think about it. Does that not sound exactly like something that they would do? Yes. So, yeah, uh, he shames sex workers. And Marshal Ali, I want them to do this exact scene where he's like, the doorman's a vampire. And so is that strong, independent woman there who I respect with every fiber of my being, even though I'm going to kill her because she's yeah. a vampire. <laughs> You're right. So the doorman asks Blade if he has an invitation. Here's what I want to know. How does every fucking vampire just not know who Blade is at this point? Just a description. You don't even need a picture. That's a good point. You'd be like, oh, yeah, the guy with the leather jacket, the black guy with the leather jacket, that always yeah. has swords and guns out, like, all the time. Yes. That's Blade. You, you know the guy? He, you'll see him. He's the only guy who's dressed unlike any other person who's around him. He kind of sticks out. Uh, that guy. D did he have a sword? Yes, that's Blade. You know he's coming because you hear. Dum, 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 yeah. dum, 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 dum. Was he wearing sunglasses at night? Yeah, that's Blade. It's like, yeah, but bus, we all wear sunglasses at night. It's like, yeah, but did he have a sword while doing yeah. that? Like, oh, you're right. That's how you know it's Blade. <laughs> like, a, a, like a sketch. They should have a sketch and be like, do not let this person in the club. It's Blade. Run for your <laughs> life. An artist rendering of him. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny if there was an artist rendering, but it's the it's the seventies blade with yes. the red jacket. Yes, with the red jacket. <laughs> and the green. I'm like, oh man, he's not wearing green pants. It All can't right. be him. Guys, apparently according to this, we shouldn't let Don Cheadle in here. <laughs> I guess. It's what it looks like. It looks like Don Cheadle in a red suit. Please don't let him in here. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, sorry. And then the next movie, they'll replace him with Terrence Howard so he gets the, revenge. The, the flip it, the so he gets flip revenge. It. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe next time. Nope. <laughs> no. No, sir. Uh, yeah, so the Vampire Club has schoolgirls singing. Now, this is supposed to be problematic and maybe imply that they're Cuties fans, but what... The no, thing... but they could be a thousand years old. Well, yeah, vampires. that's the thing. Royce, it's not weird because they're not actually teenage girls. They're thousand-year-old vampires. Well, therefore, obviously. it's not weird no. to have fan art of them or anything. E and, no. No, yeah, no, no, because they're thousand-year-old vampires and it's not weird. Even though the actresses were probably 16. <laughs> It's not weird though, guys. <laughs> um, yo, Deacon's apartment's awesome. It's got like fucking blast doors to keep yes. the sun out. Yes. And then his bed is in a big metal sarcophagus that's sealed so he can sleep during the day. I'm like, that's fucking cool. And we see there's a lady in his bed, but we don't get a good look at who it is. And, yeah, all these blast doors and all this stuff. And by the third one, they just go, what if we just like cover ourselves and they could just go out? By the third But no, they, they do it in this one. They do the sunblock in this one. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I was referring to the uh the suit. Remember the third one when they when they invade oh. uh, the headquarters and they have like the full body like night vision glasses. Oh, that's and the suit. second one. I think or second, the one, second one, second one, yeah, second one. Yeah, yeah. The I always suits, confuse yeah. two and three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they know he has like the solar powers. Blade Two's good, but the CGI doubles are real jarring in that. That was like the height of CGI because doubles. Because they got cocky at that point. Instead of doing practical effects, like we'll just CGI everything, even though it looks terrible. Yeah, that was in the Daredevil Catwoman era of CGI. It's like, hey, like I know Spider Man does it, but it's a little bit more believable in that series. Anyway, also Ben Affleck being Daredevil—that's not believable. Oh God, it was bad. He's able to translate the text finally from the evil Bible. Uh, and there's a little girl at the party watching Mortal Kombat because that was also released by New Line and Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah. S speak about dated. A Marvel character released by Warner Brothers and New Line Entertainment. 
would never wow, happen. Wow, you're right. Would never happen these days. Yeah. <laughs> Three of them, actually. Yes. And Three. possibly the TV show was related. I don't know. <sighs> um, yeah, that's funny because, like, Warner Brothers eventually bought all of DC and whatnot, and then right, right. Disney bought all of Marvel. They didn't get all the film rights back. But yeah, that's kind of like a weird thing. It's like, oh, yeah, we will never see a, a Marvel-released Warner Brothers movie ever again. Until Disney buys Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah, God. It's dude. coming. I hope not. They're just buying too much, man. They own too many. They, own, they, they literally own everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Deacon, he ends up killing his familiar mm -hmm. and he has a disappointing makeout session with vampire. He, he did Tony Montana's friend's move. He went, yep. ah, <laughs> told you razor blade where it works with vampire chicks. You guys don't listen like, like, to me. They're not, I want to stress. They're not even making out. They're just sticking their tongues out and like slapping them together. <laughs> First off, I'm going to tell you right now. Don't kink shame. I, you're right. Okay. You're right. Don't, don't kink shame. Everyone has their own thing. I almost was this problematic blade. You don't want to be problematic. I need to be blade. more like the Marshal Ali blade. That's right. That's right. You want to be the good blade. Mm -hmm. The one that respects sex workers. Yes. That's that's what if it's the same that's movie? The whole, that's it's the only different the only shot how about a shot for shot remake with him? But the only difference is is that he respects sex workers. That's it. Oh, but you would also have to change this scene where he meets Pearl, mm -hmm. the vampire archivist, who I guess is just being fed blood. The it's, chunkers. Yes. Yeah. Um, but today they wouldn't make uh, fun of him. Uh, they would just be like, that looks like a totally healthy person. And even though they're an evil vampire, we shouldn't put their uh, weight against them. And it's totally normal. God, I miss old body horror stuff. <laughs> Don't you miss old body horror stuff? Yeah. It's so weird because the name is Pearl and it sounds like a woman and it clearly has like boobs, but they keep calling it him. Yeah. Uh, I do. Uh, excuse me. Please, sir, You're don't right. assume things that you don't You're know. You're right, and this was thank an early. You. This was ahead of its time. Oh, okay, because it knew the audience would assume. Um, I I kind of like him, where he's just like, uh, "Hey, so what's this?" I'm like, "Oh, what? Oh, that's nothing. Don't worry about." It. And they hit him with the UV light. Yes. Like, ah! It's like, oh, which, what I meant to say was, which is weird. So the UV light. It, it's inconsistent in its use. Mm. Sometimes one shot will completely burn an entire vampire. Yeah. But then sometimes it just burns you a little bit, depending on how they need the UV. Do they have different settings for it? I don't know. Are they turn? You know what? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, there's certain scenes where he's fighting. He kills the vampire immediately, but if you just hold it for a little bit, it hurts. It's it's kind of yeah. not can like you were saying with the swords. Like some vampires are stronger than other vampires. Well, I assume they have a lot of blood in them. So is yeah. that like keeping them alive? Do you, you think, think they, that that determines their? That that's a good point. Yeah. Do you think that determines how how strong they are? Is how much blood they have? How much blood? Probably how old they are. Because I talked about that in like um, Queen of the Damned, like the Anne Rice books. Is like how old you are is like how strong you are. So, like, in Queen of the Dam, the Aaliyah character was able to, like, if she goes in the sun, she gets, like, a tan. So hot, though. But, like, all the other vampires under her, like, the older ones, they get horribly burned, and then the younger ones are just like, killed. Because um, they're all connected. I, did, I would let, I would have let that Aaliyah kill me. I don't <laughs> care. Just don't bring Ja Rule. <laughs> shot for shot remake of Blade, but with Ja Rule. It's murder. The whole movie. It's murder. And then he walks in and he's like right to their chest because he's so short. Oh, little baby blades here. What if they can't get a cameo from Wesley Snipes and they get a cameo from Sticky Fingers <laughs> in the new movie? <laughs> Wesley Snipes owes so much money, he's probably on cameo. You know he's What happened to Sticky Fingers? I don't know. Yeah, he did the blade show and he disappeared. Oh, I don't know. Uh, anyway. What happened to Method Man? He was in the wire and he stopped acting too. That's true. Uh so yeah, they're looking at the plans for the blood god to summon the blood god and bring it back. There's some ritual they have to do. Uh, and they're looking at the vampire archives. They get into a fight with the Mortal Kombat. A vampire Kombat. Wikipedia. Yes. They get into a fight with the Mortal Kombat girl. The girl was watching Mortal Kombat. She pretends to be a sad little girl, but she's not a little girl. She's a thousand year old vampire. Uh <laughs> And she's good at fighting because she watched the Mortal Kombat movie. If those, those of you guys who don't know, there's people on the internet that like certain types of pictures. And when they get called out for being weird, they go, no, no, it's not weird. They're thousand-year-old vampires. They're thousand-year-old vampires. It's perfectly fine. And then they always, instead of just going, you know what, I'm kind of a fucking weirdo. I'm a weird guy. They always just go like, yeah, it's, it's not weird. I'm like, well, 
It's a little weird. <laughs> uh, so they get into like a big fight. Uh, they have Blade Corner. They're staking him. Quinn is showing off his new hand. I like the one guy's like, I got his pig sticker. And then his hand like explodes. I've got his pig sticker. <laughs> like that blade shoot. Oh, it's only three that, blades. That, what's that dude? That, that actor. Um, he's the guy whose hand explodes. He's uh, he had a TV show for a while too. The guy whose hand explodes. Um, I'm not talking about Quinn Donald Logue. Oh, sorry, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. Wait, but doesn't Donald Logue had his hand cut off earlier? That's why. And okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hand... I confused. I understand what you're saying. He's about to get another hand yeah, cut yeah, off. Yeah, but yeah, in yeah. between that, there's another guy who picks up a sword. Understand? I understand? Yeah. Yeah. Donald Logue was on uh, Grounded for Life. Grounded for Life was a great show, by the way. Great show. I really liked. Not even kidding. I actually liked it. I don't know. Yeah, no, it was an awesome yeah. show. Uh, and he's a good actor. He's in a lot of shit. He was he was one of the best parts of the new Resident Evil movie. He's the shitty police captain. I haven't seen the new Resident Evil movie. It's fine and fun, as we say. Okay. People are like, why do you like this movie? I'm like, look, we were just basing it off of, like, the standards that Resident Evil movies have set. Yeah, they're making it seem like the original Resident Evil's were high art. Yeah, I'm it's just not. Like, I'm like, when you watch the six Resident Evil movies and then you watch this, you're like, this one's fine and fun. If I had never seen those movies and I went in blind to the new Resident Evil, I'd be like, oh, this sucks. But I'm like, all right, well. Compared to the other shit. And, and a lot of people go, oh, you don't respect a strong, independent woman. I'll have you know Mila Lojovovich is flat-chested, and she was still great in that movie. <laughs> no, she wasn't in the sixth one, because she had a kid right before shooting. No, I meant the first one. I mean, the original. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, we joked about that, because in Resident Evil, so Resident Evil 5 and 6, they're a day apart, but she had a yeah, kid. Yeah, they are. She had, like, a kid in between, so, like, oh, I guess in one day, her cup size went up, like, two sizes. <laughs> Maybe that's part of the, the, the T-virus. <laughs> that's right. She was injected with the T-virus. Yeah, virus. That's, that's what it does. I like Miliovich. Go back and watch our Fifth Element review. <laughs> it's a great movie. Great movie. Um, so yeah, Wh uh, Whistler comes and saves them. He like blows a hole into the vampire vault. I just wish he'd whistle more. He doesn't whistle a lot. Not Abraham a lot. Whistler. Yeah, not a lot. I'm surprised they didn't do like a Van Helsing or something like that, something stupid like that. Like I'm Jim Van Helsing. And they're like, nah, you're just some new guy, Whistler. <laughs> I'm Bob Van Helsing. I'm his. I think in the cousin. cartoon it was voiced by David Warner, the British guy. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So he uh he saves them by by blowing a hole in the thing. They get into like a big big fight. Uh, Whistler escapes. They're in the subway. Uh, Blade beats Spider-Man, I think, 10 years before Spider-Man 3 by shoving a bad guy's face into a train. Nice. Because he does that to yeah. Donald Logue, and then in Spider-Man 3, he does it to Sandman. <laughs> um, yeah, so they eventually get away. Uh, Whistler, he, like, loses another... Or no, uh, Quinn loses another arm. He's like, fuck it, I'm out of here. He runs. That was so funny, man. The yeah. ongoing, like, w w with him losing... It was so funny. Yeah, and he, like, growing them back slowly, yeah, yeah. skin coming back slowly. I do find that funny that in the Blade universe, you vampires can grow their limbs back like lizards. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't do that in every in every vampire thing. Not everyone. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, then this is where Whistler gives the backstory where, like, Blade's mom was bitten while she was pregnant, and then, like, in childbirth, she died uh, while he was taken away. But why would that make you a vampire? It still doesn't make any sense. Why would... That be the reason that he has it. Like, I mean, I get that that happened, but I guess because it was turning her, and the blood went into him. And okay, but it, it had it fine. But either you're a vampire or you're not. It's just this weird, like, oh yeah, you're, you're you get all the good stuff, but none of the bad stuff because mom died. I'm like, all right, yeah, I I don't know. He's a daywalker. Leave him alone. He sure is. <laughs> There's a lot of us fighting at night, though, for a daywalker. Yes, well, that's when they're out at night. Yeah, yeah realistically, he should. It find... would be easier in the day. They're sleeping. Yeah. Go kill them. That's what they do in um, I know the Will Smith movie, but I'm talking about just the story in general. I am legend. I am legend. Yeah, yeah he goes around during the day. I didn't really hate that movie as much as other people did. I know it wasn't like the book, but I saw it in my the original ending was better. Yes, because it was like kind of like closer yep. to the book. It's still that movie still had issues. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. So Karen learns about his bloodlust and mm -hmm. uh, and knows that his serum is, isn't working. So she's coming up with a plan to fix it. Meanwhile, Deacon puts on sunblock with his vampire friends and he pulls Udo Kier out uh, to the beach. And he's like, oh, you, do you ever appreciate a good sunset? He's like, oh, but you're a pure blood. You've never seen a sunset. And basically he's like, hey, I'm getting rid of the old guard. I'm bringing La Magra back, the blood god. Mm. 
Uh, so yeah, I like they put the the sun lotion on, and when the sun comes out, they put the motorcycle helmets on. So I guess in theory, vampires can walk around in the day. Yeah, they just have to be very careful. And you just can't yell La Magra because then all the Mexican vampires run away because they think it's something else. <laughs> I'm allowed. By the way, you don't need to cut that. I'm allowed to say that I'm Hispanic. Yes, I'm Latinx. Yeah, he's Latinx man. Thank you. I really want to make an X Men comic. Latin X Men would be great. I'd watch it. Or she's like, I'm Latin X Men. It's like, cool. What's your power? He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not with the X Men. Mm. I'm a Latin X man. What's your power? Oppression. <laughs> <laughs> Most, anyway, mostly. <laughs> I said that in an episode. I'm like, because I was like, as an Italian X Man, and my friend didn't get it. He's like, an X Man? I'm like, no, no, not like that. Uh, <laughs> Udo Kier's body melting effect. Yeah. Some of it's cool, but like they link, they thought it was cooler than it was. So the lingering on it, it's like, I, I could tell you're blue screened and not color corrected. They were trying to do an Indiana Jones thing arc opening melt yeah. thing is what they were doing there. Yeah. 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 I mean, I still think it looks cool. It's just not. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't. I, I forgive that stuff. Especially like, or, like now of that, if that I'd be yeah. like, what are you doing? Well, but, now it'd be like, hey, you know what? That's quaint. I actually uh, missed that. But back then, it was like, you need to make his body melt. That's going to cost like three million dollars to the budget. Like yeah. now, you're like, I'll just do it in my office in ten minutes. <laughs> uh, so Karen, while trying to make a serum, she makes a uh, exploding vampire juice. So. That you can put into blood of a vampire and it coagulates it and makes them explode. Man, that's going to pay off later on, don't you think? I think that might pay off later yeah. on. And then pay off differently the way it was intended because they reshot the ending. Um, I can't wait to tell you the ending. I can't believe you don't I, know. I do not know. Um, so Karen is uh, sad. Well, Blade is sad because Whistler has That's cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Karen's sad because she actually is turning into a vampire. It happened slowly. They didn't catch it in time. But she is starting to turn. So now she's like real serious about finding a cure. Meanwhile, Blade is going to get his current serum while it still works. And on the way, he sees, uh, what you call it, Deacon in the sunlight with a little girl. And how strong is that sunblock? Well, I always thought when that sunblock scene, it's like you could have defeated him with a super soaker. Yeah. Just squ squirt off. I, I, I feel like th if, if you're going to have something where you can make this sunblock, for vampires being out, then okay, then what's the point? Like, yeah, then then that takes the thing one of the one of the major yeah. key things from vampires away. Well, and why isn't every single vampire doing it right? Like, people are out during the day, go to the beach and eat people with your sunblock on. Who's going to stop you? Yeah, I feel like this might I feel like this might have been added later because they show in the previous scene like how much work they have to do, put the sunblock on, then the black clothes, yeah, then the helmet. And it's he's in the daylight. It's not like it's an overcast day to yeah. come up with that excuse. I think maybe they had a scene where he went and visited his friend again, and I guess that wasn't exciting. And I guess they wanted him to meet Deacon Frost a little earlier. Right. So this feels like it was at it, but it doesn't really jive with the rest that we saw. But yeah, he's basically like, come on, Daywalker, join us. He's doing that scene. Uh, yeah, your typical like, oh, together we can blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they, it's yeah. your typical. Because he needs uh, Blade's blood. To make Lamagri, he needs the blood of a daywalker to like wake him up. So I like that uh Blade realizes uh sunblock. Well, wait a second, running. he needs the blood of a this is something else. Is yeah. I don't mean to fill the plot holes, but so he needed the blood of a daywalker yeah. to make him pipe. But as we all know, the the blade becoming a daywalker was a complete fluke, like with his mom and all that. I assume so it's they, happened in the past. Right, right, right. So but it's a very specific thing you need. Yeah. You know, it's a good thing there's only one guy that has it. Yeah. It's a long term plan. Like yeah, you gotta so wait the guys, it's very intricate. You gotta wait until the guy's old yeah. enough to fit in the goddamn sarcophagus. Yes, yes, exactly. And hopefully they don't let themselves go like Pearl did, or else you're gonna have to build a bigger sarcophagus. It's been a thousand years. Do we have a new Daywalker? Not yet. All right, I'll wake <laughs> me up in a thousand more. I'll come back. I forgot that at the end of the scene, first off, they do like the Matrix bullets. Yeah. Um, I forgot that Deacon just picks up that little the hot dog and throws her into the hot dog. Yeah. Car. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like. Hits the, I was expecting her face to be like boiled and melting. And then she lands in front of a bus and like Blade's got to save her from the bus. But at that point, she already got thrown through a hot dog car. She's dead already, guys. Yeah. I don't think they're going to bring this up. I don't think they're going to do this part in the new one. But Deacon is upset that Blade considers himself more of a human instead of a vampire. And he straight up, I, I almost shit myself when I heard this. He straight up calls him Uncle Tom. Come on. Spare me the Uncle Tom routine, okay? 
And I'm like, Marvel is not. That's right. That's when bad guys were allowed to say bad things. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think that's going to come up with the Marshall. And it was either. another, it wasn't like another black vampire saying it. No, that's yeah. the other weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a real good. Yeah, I don't I'm, think that's going to be in that I'm one. I'm starting to think Deacon Frost, not a good guy. You think so? Yeah, I, think I haven't he, picked that up. I think he might be the bad guy. Yeah, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, so Karen uses uh, gene therapy on herself, uh, but the blade layer gets attacked. I don't know what to call that place. It's called the blade uh, I, layer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Whistler's, I, Whistler's Man Cave. Yeah. <laughs> this scene is sad when Blade comes and he realizes that something happened, and then he, see, he knows Whistler's under the sheet, but he can't look yet, and he just goes like this. Uh, and the whistler comes back to life, and he's like, "They took her. You gotta stop them." Or Don't. no, he basically tells him not to go. Yeah, he's like, "They need your blood. Fuck it, just leave her. Leave her alone." Yeah, but he can't do that. But he gives him his gun so he can kill himself, and it's very, very sad. And then you find out that vampires took him and put him in a big blood vault so he could come back in the second movie. Yeah, yeah, it makes that really emotional scene worthless because then you're like. Oh, so he's just alive. He's just, he's fine. But he, like, comes back as a vampire. A vampire. Well, there was something weird, because he is a vampire, but there was something, I'm trying to remember, because it's been a while since I watched the second one, but there's something weird about how, why, that he was a different kind of, not like a blade vampire, but, but no, no, something no, no, no. different. He, so, spoiler, the serum ends up working in this, so I think he gives him the serum in the second movie, but, like, why did they turn him into a vampire after he shot himself? Or was he already turning and he didn't know, and then he shot himself and then turned? Why do they put him in a big blood bowl? I think they just wanted Chris Christopherson back. They wanted like a blood Lazarus pit for vampires. I guess. Stupid. Yeah, so that is an emotional scene that kind of gets ruined in the next one. But yeah, what's the face? He leaves a tape. He's like, hey, Blade, it's me. You should come over. Hang out. So Blade goes to save Karen. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's all like, he's just one guy on foot. Take him out. And like, I love that part. Where, um, what's his face? Uh, Quinn is like, you don't understand. He's like really good with the sword and stuff. And Deacon's like, oh yeah, the sword, blah, blah, blah. Fuck you. Yeah. But then Blade shows up with a motorcycle and he's just taking all these fucking guys out. To be fair, I agree with Deacon though. It's like, you should have been able to shoot the guy. Like, mm. he doesn't have like, in other, like in other movies, like, you know, in other movies. He like, does have armor on. No, but... he does, but he doesn't have that, like, weird super speed that some vampire movies make him have. You know what I mean? Where they yeah, can, like... he is super quiet. There's that scene where he jumps down behind her and he makes no sound. He is very quiet until he goes, motherfuckers, I'll be scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, he uses the serum in the scene. He kills two vampires. One gets stabbed in the that eye. That did pay off from earlier. Yes. But, like, it's weird. So, like, the whole thing going forward is the vampires don't know about it. And they keep referring to it as a serum. But they weren't like, oh, hey, did Jim and Steve die? Well, that's weird. Like, I get we turned into dust, but why is there two pools of blood? How do, how do they turn into two pools of blood? You're right. The vampires are stupid. Yeah, it's like. It's amazing to me they've been around this long with how dumb like, they are. You know, usually when we die, we turn to dust. What's this pool of blood shit? Yeah. Did Blade use something new that we're not aware of? Oh, well, let me take this serum. Yeah, let's take, him to, let's take him to the big temple. Let's go. Um... Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. So they take him to the uh, the big temple. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Before that, he goes into Deacon's apartment and he meets his mom, Santa Lathan. Oh, that's right. And from, she's, yep. From Alien vs. Predator, Santa Lathan. Uh, and she's like, oh, my God, Eric. Eric? Because I think Blade's real name is Eric yeah, it's Brooks. Eric Blade. I think it's Eric Brooks. Eric Blade Brooks. It's like The Rock. <laughs> Uh, we find out Frost is the one that turned her because he's he's the one who made Blade. And his mom's a, kind of a bitch. Yeah. This seems a little this seems a little Tim Burton Batman. It's like, I don't think it was important that Joker killed Batman's parents. I don't think that was needed. I don't I don't think that this scene at all with his mom, his mom, is, it's it's real no importance of it yeah. because it's not like he developed a relationship with her. Like she died when he was born. Yeah. So it's not like somebody like. It's not like if if you know you find out that Whistler is the one that helped turn his mom. Like okay, that would have been like oh shit, really? Yeah. That's his friend. But then his mom's like, oh no, I love him, and you're you're a dick, and come join us. And I'm like, yeah. wait, what? Yeah, maybe the person who wrote this had mommy issues. I don't know. David Gordon. David, David, forgive your mother, David. Yes, forgive your mother. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe he'll find out that his mom's name's also also Martha, and they'll, they'll like <laughs> bond over it. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> God, God damn. damn it. 
Um, yeah, so the Blood God Temple is awesome looking. Very That's a Egyptian, nice big, Very like. It's like a nice big scent, but I also think mm. it's also part miniature and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, it looks really, really nice. And yeah, I love. <laughs> By the way, I guess this weird Egyptian uh, temple that he just happened to need just happened to be next to the city that they're in. Well, that worked out perfectly. That worked out pretty perfectly. Maybe like every major city has a blood temple next to it for vampires. Maybe. But he says, he's like, these dumb fucks forgot it existed. It's like, God damn, the vampires really do suck. Why don't they write? They write this down, so but like translate it. It sucks if you're going to live for like a thousand years, but also have a, Alzheimer's the entire time. Like, what's the point? Like, you're right. Mm. There's a lot of stuff where you're like, oh, so you guys, the whole point of like vampires that makes them so cool, like Gary Oldman vamp is a great example. Mm. It's like, well, they've been around so long that they've learned a lot. There's a, they're supposed to be intelligent. Yeah, they're supposed to be like, oh, I'm wiser than you. Yeah. But these ones are just like doing vampire coke at a techno party, yeah. and I'm like, all right, what is this? Well, that's also the thing with like Anne Rice vampires. The reason mm. they take on younger ones is because they like, since they're not really participating in society, they need younger people to like teach them what's going on. Yeah, like, so what are people into this year? Yeah. Movies? Okay, I guess what we'll check that those? out. What are those? Rock like, videos? Okay. Now vampires just go, here, this is YouTube. Figure it out. <laughs> and the vampires turn out to be really racist and dox <laughs> and then they start doxing each other. Oh, God, the new blade's going to be terrible, oh. Tony. No! <laughs> but I don't think uh, she should be a president. And the blade's like, no, -uh, not on my phone. <laughs> Uh, and then after he does that, since it's a new one, but it'll be like, press F in the chat for that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I would unironically love if the movie went press F, press in, the F in the chat. <laughs> Uh, I might, I might steal that line uh, from you. All yours. <laughs> if I write a script, I really want yeah, to write someone dying and press F in the chat for that motherfucker. And you got to look at the camera while he does it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I anyway. hope when this premieres, your entire audience is typing F in the chat right now. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, they throw Karen into a pit with her ex-boyfriend. And, and not because like, anything else, just because her name's a Karen. They yeah. were like, I'm done with her. <laughs> throw in the pit. But they were like, yeah, so, you know, we bit your boyfriend. We thought we were he was going to turn, but he didn't quite turn. So I guess there's like a thing that happens with vampires where they don't fully become a vampire and they become more of like a walking dead zombie. Yeah, yes, great. They're, they're, they're like the opposite of the day walker where they got all, like all the bad shit. Not, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like, he's like, yeah, they eat like women, kids, animals, and he's like, they even eat other vampires. <laughs> so they toss her down there. And for some reason, I remember there being more down there. And then when I rewatched it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's just the one. There's, yeah, there's not. There's what not was one. I thinking of? Yeah. I don't know. Um, but he looks... He looks like a Robin Williams character, and he sounds like Robin Williams doing a cartoony voice. Karen? Karen? Patch Adams? Because he's like, hello, Karen. <laughs> and it's just, for some reason, I'm like, I'm getting Robin Williams vibe from this. It seems like if Miss, like, you know, Mrs. Dalfire, he's doing different voices the whole time. Mm -hmm. It felt like that might have been one of the scenes. Well, first off, I don't watch Mrs. Dalfire because it's offensive now. Buddy. It is. It is. It is. Sorry. I never watch it either. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even like when it first ran because it was so offensive. Yeah, yeah. I was in the theater as a four-year-old going, no, nope, mm -mm. no, nope, turn it off. Yep. Mm -mm. <laughs> they actually played it at my gym a few months back because I have like a theater in my gym with like an elliptical. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm like, hey, this movie was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm yeah. probably not going to replay it anytime. Yeah, they, I'm they, surprised they, the gym is playing it, yeah. to be honest. Then again, a lot of the people who complain about that shit are probably not at the gym. <laughs> my gym was I, the other day. My gym was playing League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I swear to you. Ooh, good. <laughs> I swear. I was like, why this movie? Yeah. Uh, but she like beats him up, and she gets like a bone to crawl out. Wait. So they just found that temple. How long has that guy been down? There? What's he been eating? Oh, animals. I guess rats. Well, I guess they had him somewhere else, and they were mm -hmm. just holding on to him. Yeah. This feels like another added scene. Like yeah, they something yeah, for then, her to do. And they're like, oh, let's bring that guy back and give her a little bit of an action scene because it just it feels very disconnected. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And yeah. you know, if, if only she had all those weapons that Blade had, it probably help her out down there. Yeah, yeah. Like that cool sword she found earlier. Yes. Yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, they put Blade in the sarcophagus and they begin draining him of all his blood. Oh, someone's vacuuming upstairs. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. The the video store. I have them vacuum the roof of the video. I store. thought Blade was fighting upstairs. You know what? That's cooler. Yes, I have my local vampire hunter yeah. fighting vampires upstairs. <laughs> 
Just don't to pay no attention mm. to the vacuum like sounds coming from above. It'd be cool if in the new blade, I already thought about this, in the new blade, like so he kills somebody and then he goes, Take that, colonizer. And then he looks at the camera and everyone claps. All the vampires clap. And they don't even fight. They go, you know what? You made us change our way. Thanks, Blade. Oh my god, no, they are gonna do that. No. Because remember Captain Marvel, they didn't let the scrolls be bad guys. You're right. They're gonna make they're gonna there's gonna be a group of good vampires. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the, we work with humans. We wanna live with humans because we think they're cool. You're killing too which is I am legend. Mm. Like you're killing too many of the good vampires, not the yeah, bad ones. Yeah. Ironically, making the scrolls good guys was good for that movie because they were the only entertaining thing in that film. Yeah. But then how do you pull off a secret invasion storyline now if the scrolls are good? I I guess they're the Cree. I don't know. They already did the Cree. Oh, mm. fuck it. Who cares? Anyway. <laughs> um, so Deacon, he uh, has the blood come down and hit him in the head. And he like absorbs the souls of the other vampire council. And they, so they, their skin melts, their skeletons come out. And then other skeletons come out of the skeletons with bat wings. And I guess that's their evil vampire spirits. Right. Not the best effect, uh, but it's fine. Um, and they go into him and he like, I guess, absorbs the essence of La Magra and becomes La Magra, but he's also still kind of Deacon Frost. I, I really, so you got the part where the blows coming down. I really did like the little track. Yeah. That was so cool. That was like, cool. That was one of those where I was like, all right, you know what? They really like, cause it, it, it was built into the temple yeah. and like seeing his blood go down. I'm like, all right, that's I like when they're on the awesome. elevator and they're going down the same time as the blood's going yeah, down. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Something else you would not, you're not going to have rivers of blood in the, in the new, how are you going to make a blade movie now without any blood? I'm wondering, cause they're going to yeah. be PG 13. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he becomes La Magra now. Okay, oh, yeah, I, I, we're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, Blade kills his mom. He gets out of the... Karen, I think, helps him out. Mm -hmm. uh, and he kills his mom with a bone. He, like, shoves a bone through her, and that kills her? Why would that... That shouldn't kill her. She's a vampire, no? It's not silver. Yeah, so that wouldn't kill her. Huh. Wait. Did they ever establish if you could kill him old school way with like a with stake through the heart? I mean, did they ever say you that that wouldn't work? They never said it wouldn't work. So maybe that is a thing you could do. It's just better. It's just to, easier to use. It's just better to Which, use. Which, by the way, the silver thing was something that was adapted later. Silver was a werewolf thing. It wasn't really. Yeah. Silver hurting vampires was wasn't always what a yeah. thing that they were weak to. That was just like, oh, we can't make bullets out of stakes or you know yeah. whatever. Did you ever uh, watch any of the Howling movies? No. The Howling 2, it's very obviously a vampire script they turned into a werewolf script. Oh, really? And it's like, you can only kill the werewolves by staking them with titanium. I'm like, 100%, those were like silver stakes at one point yeah. or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so they kill her. Um, he goes down. He's He like takes the blood from Karen. She lets her take his blood and yeah, he almost yeah. drains her completely. Uh, very sexual scene, by the way. Yes, uh, he comes down, um, he kills Quinn, he has like silver wire, I guess, and decapitates yeah. him. Dope, uh, dope scene, by the way. Yeah. Silver wire scene. really like. And then he grabs his glasses back. Yeah. Quinn took his glasses. Yeah. And at that, around this time, uh, what's her face, he uses the vampire mace on vampire lady, mm. and her head explodes, which is pretty funny. Now, La Magra, he decides to fight him using swords and whatnot and doing vampire karate. The original ending of this film. Okay. Now I'm it was, excited to hear this. It was never completed. Like, as they were editing and doing the pre-visualizations pre for the effects, they realized it was a bad idea. Mm. So you could watch the deleted scene with the poor green screening and whatnot. He turned into a blood tornado. And he would have had, it would have been like, you know how like the 90s mummy had his face in the sand? He would have had his face in the blood. Got an idea. Yeah. Blood tornado. Then Karen goes to Blade. What is that? And he goes, Finger of God. Huh? Like Twister? Like Twister. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so his face was going to come out all bloody. And like I said, they never finished the effects. So when you watch it now, it's horrible CGI blood that's not finished. And then poorly green screen Steven Dorf going like, uh, Blade, when I'm done, I'm going to go fuck over the human race. Ha ha ha. He's making <laughs> jokes. 
And I think he would have thrown the exploding thing and it would mix with the blood and cause like and a kill, big explosion. Yeah. But I guess they watched that and they're like, oh, wow, we turned our bad guy's actually charismatic and cool. And we turned him into a blood tornado. Yeah. We're reshooting all of this. <laughs> so they went back and they're like, you guys are going to have like a kung fu scene. I guess it doesn't make sense because he's a blood god. He could probably do a lot of cool stuff, but blood tornado wasn't working out. Also, not cheap. Blood tornado is not CGI cheap. Which is why that might be another thing. Yeah. Like this looks bad. That's why it wasn't finished. It wasn't saw. finished. They're like, I don't think there's any way we. Can I'm make not this investing work another back then three hundred thousand yeah. dollars or something. We're not going to use. But you can look up the deleted scenes. Yeah, they're I'm pretty, going to. They're pretty funny yeah. looking. Um. So yeah, they have this awesome fight scene where nothing's working. He cuts him in half, and the blood brings them back together. And I love when <laughs> Blade looks around. And he just goes, "What?" But he yeah. melts it. Um. Also, the Deacon Frost toy. It comes with like a different head and like this bloody goo stuff. So I don't know if they made if they made the toy. I guarantee you like they the made pl- that with the original ending in yeah. mind. Yep. Yeah, I didn't see the toy out of the I looked up a picture of it. So I don't know what it looks like out of the box, mm. but um I think it might be one of the things where they like they had the early model early on. Um so yeah, he's using he's using the the silver, nothing's working. Nothing's working on the blood god, Royce. What will work? Oh, 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 oh. I know. I know. Equity. Oh, no. That's the new blade. He's- <laughs> no, no. His his blood exploding juice, which I guess could kill the blood god. Oh, it paid off again. And I like that it's in a crack in the wall. Yeah. And he throws his sword up there to like explode it. But yeah, even still, he's like, oh, your serum. Why do you want your serum? It's like, you dumb fucker. Have you been being, paying attention the entire time, blood god? Yeah. But yeah, he throws all of those needles in him. And he looks like a horrifying, like, why? He looks like the blob. He's all red and gross. And he does the famous line. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up hill. Which would have made sense. If they set up the joke in an earlier, or not the joke, the one yeah. liner in a certain way, but like, what does that even mean? Like, I've watched it many times. Of course, that's one of the most famous lines in the movie. But yeah. what 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 was he doing that you're equating to skating uphill? His plan was good. It, what he did it, work. It worked. It worked. It worked. He didn't know about the blood exploding juice. Yeah. That was new. Yeah. It's not like he knew about it. And it was that. just invented. It was this, literally I, just invented. I'm giving Deacon a break on this one because you're right. It was just invented. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, he, he honestly, Deacon did a pretty good job in this yeah. movie. Like, you're right. He's 2K. He was very charismatic. Yeah. Good villain. You know, smarmy, really, you know, really, you really wanted to see him get his comeuppance because he was such a dick. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's like, how would he have known that this Karen literally just invented a bomb? Yeah. He had yeah. no idea. A bomb that can destroy blood and he just happened to turn into the blood god. Man, that really lucked out. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if he turns like a fart god. Imagine being that girl. It's like, I just, first off, I just found out there's more than one god. Yeah. And I That's a good it, point. And like, I think I killed the vampire god. I killed a god. <laughs> and I yeah. wasn't even trying. No. That's <laughs> that weird. I was trying to fix my friend and I made a blood exploding juice. I didn't think it were real. <laughs> blood god blood. <laughs> it was a mistake. She yeah. made it trying to save somebody and a mistake. <laughs> she saved the day. So he explodes. He's dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blade goes up into the sunset and he's just like, um, I can't take your cure yet. Work work on another serum for me because the cure worked on her. Mm. He's like, I need my powers because if he takes the cure, he loses his powers. He's like, I need my powers to keep fighting this war. Just help me make another serum. I got to fight this war. And then did you notice it just kind of awkwardly fades to black? Yep. Why was that? Because uh, they turn around and Blade looks up at a rooftop and there's a man on a rooftop with his head all wrapped up. And she's like, who's that? And Blade says something like, oh, another problem or something like that. And that was supposed to be Morbius because they were setting up for Morbius in the sequel. Oh, wonder why they didn't do it. They cut it out and then they did that other ending with uh, him in Russia. Yeah. yeah. Someone, which I guess does lead into Blade 2. But yeah, I guess they wanted to do a Morbius thing and then they decided not to. But they set it up and they they wrapped his head up. I don't know why. So they would. Cheaper. yeah, because they didn't have to decide on what he would look like. Maybe, so. And everyone watching was like, is that Liam Neeson in Dark <laughs> What's he doing in this movie? But that would have been like the natural way to go, and they didn't go with it. Yeah. It was a little bizarre. 
Um, but yeah, it ends with him in Moscow about to kill a vampire. Um, yeah, actually, you know, it's funny uh, because the cartoon and this version of Blade was so popular. They did the thing where they went back in the comics. So I think Morbius, because remember in the comics, he just had the immunity. He didn't yeah, have yeah. The powers. I think they at the a year later in the comics, they did the thing where Morbius like bit him and infected him. So then he got all the powers. He got all the powers. Of so course. he could. And then he started. He had the black motorcycle thing, but then he started dressing like movie blade because it was like, clearly this is the more popular version. It's got to be like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a good, solid film. It's fun. It's, it's got great. great action. It's got some good horror bits. I mean, and I, and honestly, outside of the C, the CGI and the kind of corny yeah, ones, not even that terrible. Yeah, it's and, and, noticeable, but they don't. It's fine. And the corny one-liners every once in a while. It's it holds up. It, it yeah, really, it's it holds fun. Up extremely well. It's, it's a fun film. It, it's obviously not one you go, oh, the writing is so deep, but no, it's a fun action film. It, it's not. It's how long? How long is the movie? How many hours? Oh, is God, it? I don't know. It's like it's only like an hour. Or yeah, it's, maybe, but yeah. okay, that's my point. I was gonna say it's yeah. like it's not like this three-hour no. schlock fest where you're like, oh God, we need a backstory of every single person, and yeah. it's like I, save it, it for later. Yeah, or it, we it, get it. Or, we yeah, connect. We, it's a vampire movie. Whistler, why are you doing this? I had a vampire kill my family, and he was a real yeah. asshole. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. It. Got cool. it. Awesome. That's all I need. I don't need yeah. to see. I don't need to see a prequel of him as a kid. You know. No. 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 Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And I think it's a good good time. And they did a sequel that was awesome. Uh. Tr <laughs> then they really topped it off by going, "Can it get better than two? Yes. Yes. Trinity. Trinity. Which, by the way, that's when like Blade was like MIA for a while, and then all of a sudden they have all these vampires that don't have power, but were still really effective. Yes. They were like really effective. And then. The Blade TV series starring Sticky Fingers, which I think Moon, Moon Knight was originally going to debut in that show, and they ended up not doing it. Now Thank Moon Knight God. has his own show. Um, yeah, the Sticky Fingers thing. When you get like a four pack of Blade, mm -hmm. uh, they include like the first two episodes of the TV show. Oh, really? They make it like a, like a mini movie or whatever. Um, I think it's on Tubi. I kind of want to go back and check out. Oh, I should check it Dude, out. Dude, you know what show I've been watching? Mm. The the 90s Conan the Barbarian show. Never seen as a live good. action one. Yeah. Oh, well, good. Well, I, uh, mean, I mean, good for whatever. Uh, Danny Woodburn's in it. Mickey from Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. And I posted about it and Mickey liked my post. Oh, really? He's like the star of the show. He's Conan's sidekick. But since he doesn't have to do a bad Arnold accent, he's like the star of the show. Of course. Yeah. So now I want to go back and watch the Blade TV show and see if I missed anything. Is, is it is it an I underrated would... gem? How many? They had one season, right? I believe it had one season, and according to some, I mean, some people didn't like it, but apparently, not, they not maybe they're just not Sticky Fingers fans. Yes, that could be it. Uh, I think the reason they canceled it, they said, is because Spike TV was still a new channel and it was just expensive to produce. So it was like they canceled it because of Spike TV and it wasn't Bar Rescue. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably been before Bar. When did Bar Rescue come out? I don't know, but that, that was anything was that was the only thing that made the transition. From Spike TV to Paramount when it changed to Paramount TV. Is Bar that what happened to Spike TV? Bar yeah, so Spike okay. TV, when 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 everyone decided like, hey, is it a good idea to have an entire channel where guys are just fucking douches all day? And you're like, not really. Well, they also played, uh, I believe, uh, Baywatch and American Gladiator reruns. Baywatch, American Gladiators. Uh, and the Night Raw was on there. Uh, yeah, and then, um, then after that left, they had TNA for a while. Right. Because that's right. what that's what replaced it when they went back to to uh, and they used to, to film at Universal Studios. Yeah, they I did. Went, man, right by my house, man. I went to a TNA taping and it was awesome. Free, you get it, it was free if you were in Universal Studios. Yeah. They filmed three episodes and something crazy was always happening. Well, AW Dark's in that same place now. Oh, really? That same exact oh, place funny. where they film it. Yeah, that's funny. Who's watching AW Dark? Nobody. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I've seen the numbers. Nobody. I don't mind AW, but uh, more, more, more people, more people are watching the TV series, the Blade TV series. At this point, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Blade Two is a solid film with Guillermo del Toro. Uh, yeah, I would like to revisit that. It's been a while since I watched Blade. I didn't see Blade Trinity till like years later. Like, I saw Blade 2 in theaters because I love Blade 1. And then I remember seeing the trailers for Blade 3, and I'm like, this doesn't look good. No, look, look, joking aside, obviously the movie is the. Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but uh, I will. There, there were some things in it that were cool. Um, I did, I did kind of like the idea of the alliance of the non 
vampire people working together. Mm. The dog, the 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 hellhounds, the reaper, the reaper dog. Yeah. So they killed all the reapers because they were such a big problem, and then just for fun they made reaper dogs. I'm like, yeah. wasn't this a problem? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but remember uh, Triple H was walking around with the little the little pu- the little dog all the yeah, time. Yeah, he too. had gold fangs. Yeah. yeah, and that really that really rocket launched uh, Triple H's career. Yeah, Dominic Purcell was Dracula yeah. in it. What a tit! We're not doing by train. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll shut up. I will say Parker Posey was good in it, and Ryan Reynolds. Parker Posey's written a lot of things. I'm a big, actually, a big fan of Parker Posey. Yeah, dude, I I really like the new Lost in Space. Yeah, me too. And talk, talk about changing a character. Me too. Making uh, Dr. Smith like a uh, woman and whatnot. It works better. so well. And it works better. so much better. Yep. And it was like, I, I did that in my episode. I did uh, reboots that don't suck. And I'm just like, yeah, the new Lost is base is like, no one ever talks about it. It's actually legit. It's, really, it's actually, yeah, it's good. And they gave it an ending. They knew it wasn't going to get a fourth season and it got and an ending. Yep. And I was like, oh, th- when I watched that third season, I was like, oh, thank God. It's open. It's done. We're it's done. done. We, we're not. You don't have to with a cliffhanger. No more cliffhanger. Then, like every, well, they do all the time for like five years ago. There's going to be a movie. There's been talks for movies for five years, and the movie never comes out. Dude, I. So people are like, you still haven't watched Invincible. You still haven't watched The Boys. And I'm like, no, I'm mad at Amazon for canceling the fucking Tick on a goddamn cliffhanger. I really like the Tick. That's another the tick one was that so I got good. involved in. It was really good. It was so good, and it's fucking cliffhanger, and the cliffhanger was so good. Again, finish it off with them. Well, that's what they did with the Venture Brothers. Yeah. Serenity. They got to finish Firefly off with Serenity. Poorly, but yeah, sure. I and I'm Serenity a big, was good. I'm a huge Firefly fan, by the way. You're yeah. not someone who's like a nerd when it comes with yeah. it. Uh, I have, you know, uh, Adam Baldwin follows me on Twitter. Ooh. But wait, uh, wait, Adam Baldwin, the guy who helped create Gamergate? Royce, yeah. what did I tell you last episode? You, you yeah, got, I'm so tell sorry. Tell him to unfile, block him. Okay. You're you know a good what I'll do is? Now. I'll just follow Alec Baldwin instead. He's accept, He's the accept <laughs> Alec Baldwin's a good guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's never heard it. Alec Baldwin has never heard anybody in his life. Ever. Oh, my God. When we did Beetlejuice, I I, play, I made it look like he called into the store, and I played, like, the voicemail of him yelling at his daughter. That's one of my favorite voicemails of all time. And I said in the video, I'm like, man, you don't, really, you don't want to piss off Alec Baldwin. And then a week later, that that thing happened, and everyone went back in my comments like, "Wow, Tony, you kind of." I'm like, I didn't call it. I just assumed he'd be a dick to What someone. did you know? <laughs> I didn't know. They're like, "Wow, Tony, you were too soon, a week early." I'm like, yeah, I didn't know. Seriously, were you the armorer of that show? <laughs> I, I was not. I <laughs> okay. did not work All right. on that. All right. All right. Good. Oh, uh, but yeah, check out Blade if you haven't. I don't know. Hopefully, the new one's good. I doubt it. Look, man, I'm always a person. I, I try not to go into sm- even with that. I try not to go into stuff, you know, negative all the time. Be like, oh, it's going to suck because it's because I really do give yeah. things a chance. But sometimes I'm like, dude, I'm on season two of Picard, and I hated every episode of one because mm-hmm. I'm hoping maybe they'll they're not going to. I'm oh, a I masochist. Didn't even, I didn't bother. I didn't bother. Don't. I didn't bother with any of the new start. And I was an apologist for two of the new movies, not Into Darkness. All of the new movies are a, should be Academy Award winning compared to what's on Paramount Plus right now. I like the ge- I know they're not really Trek, and I know they're changing mm. it for modern audiences, but I I enjoy them as fun action films. Except for Into Darkness, talk about okay, talk about recasting things. I was pissed when they picked the whitest guy in the world to play Khan. Oh my God, Benedict, uh, come up, yeah, yeah. And it's like, look, I get they got a Mexican guy in the sixties. I don't know how many Indians were hanging around Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Like I, like it, I get it, but like this is it was 2014 at the time. Like there's so many Indian actors you could have gotten. It was Hollywood's a, got a huge film industry, and it, they it was a the, star power thing. It was because they wanted the Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, was. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna believe Benedict Cumberbatch is Khan Noonie and Singh, and then they had to make a whole comic where they yep. explained it. Oh, who God. needs? By the way, who needs Star Trek? The Orville's better than it now, anyway. Orville's the, the is Orville still going on? Season three should be coming out in June. Oh wow, they had a big, yeah, they had a big yeah. because of COVID. They had like a really right. long break. Right, people love the first season. And they just I like, like the second season too. All I three mean, seasons are. I mean. If you like Star Trek Next Generations, you like Orville. Because when I went out there, was going out, I thought it was, it's going to be another one like, oh, is it Family Guy in Space? But it's not, actually. Yeah. It's it's actually good stories. Like, it's yeah. pretty good. Well, like I said, Lost in Space. That's my favorite one. But anyway, Blade. Sorry, Blade. Blade. Uh, I'd be Blade more- X. He goes to space. 
and he fights Dracula. It's weird. Like, I'm, I'm mad that they're doing a movie because I know they're going to be PG-13. They have to. Which sucks because Fox had the balls to put out some R-rated X-Men movies. Maybe not, man. Maybe we have a little bit of hope because you, you saw they moved, like, the Punisher TV show to Disney+. Plus. I mean, the Punisher show's on Disney+, Plus now. And, yes. I, and when you have Disney+, Plus now when you log in, it goes, do you want, you know, the kid version? or what? So you could actually adjust that. I heard they toned down the violence in, Cap in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. Like, Did after they? the fact. Yeah. Um, I only watched it the first one, and then I was I hated myself for watching it. Yeah, it was the weakest. Do better. It was the weakest. I'm glad that he's. I like him in the movies, and I'm glad he's Captain America. But that was a weak ass. No, no. But the show was the show was garbage. Not, yeah, the show was not great. Um, yeah. So um, I hope it's good. God, I'm gonna sneeze again. Hold on. I gave him the serum. <laughs> Mine's just shitty, so it just Ugh. it just makes him sneezy. So Disney's not going to release an R-rated movie. They no longer have Netflix. They're not going to put something too hard. Like, Netflix made that, and they're stuck with it. And they no longer have Miramax because of, you know, the unpleasantness. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's why I'm not a little... I'm not really excited for it. I do like Marshall Ali. I guess that's a good cast. I like him, choice. too. But, yeah, and the fact that they introduced the character in Eternals... Out of all, the, they should have introduced him in the Moon Knight show. Would have made more sense. Yeah, that than this, yeah. than 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 the Eternals. Why? Why the Eternals has nothing to do with Blade. I don't even understand well, that it. Character, I guess, is a Blade character. Yeah, it's stupid. And that actor was in the Inhuman show, and now he came back as someone else in that movie. God, that's a thing that happened. Huh? the Inhuman show. That's Do a thing we Doc all completely ignored. Not until you see Doctor Strange. Anyway, uh, <laughs> why do you do that? Just the end, man. You make me miserable. Okay, <laughs> fine. I have to. Damn it. It's actually funny. Okay. Uh, but yes, that is it from us. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Royce, where can we find you? Well, definitely on Daywave. Yes. And, and other shows. And other shows. <laughs> I learned my lesson. And other shows on the internet. <laughs> Look, Rice, I. Bryce, I, I, I need to be a good boy on YouTube. I need to be a good boy on YouTube. Check out Daywave, where we have a uh, Latinx host. Uh, one of my co hosts is a Jewish guy, and the other one's an Asian guy. So Yes, diversity is our strength. It's a small world on and, that and show. And you, you did that because you were so moved by Blade. Yeah, yeah. It had nothing to do with the fact they're just cool. It had to do because of Blade. Yeah, it had to do with Blade. It was important. If you had never seen Blade, mm -hmm. you probably would have an all-white cast. You would have been like uh, the, that that year when Chavo Guerrero turned himself into Kern in white. You would pretend but to be the best version of Chavo Guerrero. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I forgot that was the thing. Dude, was, it was so cringe. Was I was rewatching <laughs> after you mentioned it. I went to YouTube to watch clips of it. I'm like, wow, wow, that was and Dolph really Ziggler bad. was his like cat. <laughs> it was it was so bad. Anyway, enough wrestle. Talk anyway, anyway, that. yeah, that. Now check out Daywave and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Call our voicemail line. Call. Uh, so subscribe to Patreon and all that funny stuff. F in right. the chat for Dracula. F in the <laughs> F's. <laughs> hey, what up, Tony? Hi, Tony. What what is this? It's a, it's a show. We're, we're reviewing we're reviewing a movie. But I'm but I'm at like my house. Well, how does so are we? Why are you guys here? I mean, you, have, you, you have it set up for a show. I mean, it's clear there's a DVD there. Oh, okay. So about that, um, because I'm very famous. Uh, I use that theme to like talk to girls and I'm always like, hey, come back to my place. We'll shoot like a review. Uh, and it's just an excuse for girls to talk to me. And then I never upload the video. Does it work? Uh, no, it's it. I never had sex with any of them. So when you bring them in here, do you lock the door like a Bronx tail and go now you can't sleep? <laughs> What movie did you want to talk about again, Royce? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, Blade 2. We're talking Blade about Blade 2, two today. Wait. Blade 2. So here I am <laughs> at my house uh, and with my good Latinx friend Royce, who um, just showed up, even though I told him never be on the show again because he's always getting to fights on Twitter and he's very problematic. I outshined him. I got I got some comments that you were some kind of supremacist. I don't know what was that was about. Oh, Burrito they, Supreme. I'm a big fan of Burrito oh, Supreme. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? I'm with you there. <laughs> yeah. Now, because uh, we all know we have to properly introduce everyone. Who the hell are you? Hi, I'm Joy of Pessy. Um, I don't know how I ended up here. The door was unlocked. 
<laughs> so, so you just walked in. Do you yeah. have to walk into doors that are unlocked? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> have you seen Blade 2? Oh, is that what? Yeah. Oh, as a matter of fact, yes, and I have notes. This is gonna I work out. I have notes too. This is gonna work out. I can't believe you showed up unannounced for a Blade 2 review, and I just happen to have notes for it. What kismet? <laughs> this accidental YouTube show worked out better than most planned ones, if you ask me. <laughs> so yes, Blade 2. I feel like I, I feel like it should have like a subtitle, but I don't know what it would be. Um Blade 2 Tax Shelter. <laughs> Blade 2, the best Blade movie, but also not a good movie. <laughs> That's very wordy, but I actually agree with him. So yes, Blade 2. Um, obviously, everyone was pumped for this when it came out. A Bla I love... I mean, think we, about it. We didn't have comic book movies back then, so that was yeah. a big deal. Well, this is when, this is two thousand what two, so they're starting to become more regular. Spider Man, Spider Man. Uh, we just got X Men at that point. Ben Affleck, Daredevil. When was that? That's the year after. I oh, believe. okay. That, 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 that's all. Of, that whole area to me is like a blur. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like pre, the pre MCU era. Uh, yeah. So I was very excited to see this. I saw this in the theaters. Uh, me and my friend loved it. It was great. Uh, at the time, that's at what we time. thought. Um, yeah, and I was just like, you know, when I was in the theater, I actually said in 2002, I'm like, well, this is a win for diversity and the Latinx people because they gave it to a Mexican director. Now, Royce, how did you feel about they this? They weren't, first off, they weren't using that term yet. I'm positive. I was. I was very ahead of the curve. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah, I always um, said So how did I feel? I thought it was a really, really big win for the nightclub scene. All these movies back then always had to have a techno fan dance yeah. scene. It was the weirdest thing to me, and we just accepted it. We were like, "That's pretty cool." There's a lot of lights blinking. <laughs> I also find that it was a it was a it was a big momentous uh, revival of uh, German expressionist fashion. <laughs> yes, <it laughs> really was. Tight, tight leather and uh, just <laughs> tight. Hey, you don't want to you 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 don't want to get wet. No, yeah, you know no. what? It's funny that the the vampires of the previous blade are all like cyberpunky looking sort of like they, yes, they, that's a very good point. Yeah, yeah, but then I guess because they're in like Eastern Europe or something, these vampires are dressed very differently. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I didn't really know who Guillermo del Toro was at that point. Yeah, well, I, well, I've seen Mimic, but I wasn't aware that he did it. And that's how he got the job on this, actually. Was this, and, this was before Hellboy, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, qu quite a well, bit before okay, Hellboy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first off, going back to what you said, their weakness should have also been Rain with all the leather they were wearing. <laughs> and um, it, it, it was, it, it was more Euro trash vampires is the way I would describe yeah. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. kind of like, you ever, you ever seen the Nick Kroll when he talks about the, the, the spotted ho uh, hostel? In it's in it, the crawl the crawl show that he had. God, I, I haven't watched okay, crawl show. Really but yeah. anyway, it's 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 it's. I've definitely seen. I've seen every episode. Yeah. I just don't remember. And probably they would on their free time. The vampires wear track suits and stuff. <laughs> <you know? Yeah. laughs> um, but yeah, speaking of Hellboy, uh, Mike Mignola was a visual consultant on this film, and uh, what's his face? Norman Reedus is wearing a oh yeah the, the Hellboy like logo shirt. The whatever the company was. So I think this. Mm -hmm. Might have been the origin of like the Hellboy movies. I also think this was the film where there was finally that crossover in history where Edward Furlong was too fucked up, so Norman Reedus <laughs> stepped in. That's I right. kind of look similar. This Norman might have been the first thing I saw him in. Norman Reedus was the was like the poor man's uh, Furlong though yep. for a while. If you think about furlong, it, yeah. yeah. And now obviously he's you know still has a career while the other now one furlong's does. the poor man's <laughs> to, furlong to be fair their career was video games and doing walking dead five rise of the machines <laughs> but you know at least he's still being invited <laughs> um yeah so there was a good team there and like i said the one producer the one producer on this had a company that did like uh title sequences and whatnot i think and they did it for mimics so that's how he met del toro and he liked del toro steve norton didn't want to come back to direct which I thought was odd. That's weird. The first one was like such a success, right? Yeah, and we looked up the other movies he had done afterwards, and it's like uh, they're not super impressive. And, and it's they did the thing with it's been a while since we played too. We were yeah. actually talking about talk about this a little before earlier, but like, um, well, you didn't hear it. you were sleeping when you're home. We were whispering into you while you were sleeping. That's how long you guys have been here. Yeah, we had cereal. Oh, Captain Crunch, good choice. Thank you. Milk's gotten bad though. And also you're out of milk. What the fuck? And also you're out of milk. Um, and juice. Sorry. Sorry, we were thirsty. Um, <laughs> okay. So anyway, 
keep going. Uh, anyway, um, the the thing with Blade Two, I've always remembered it as the best Blade, and mm. and and you know it might actually still be the best Blade, but like Pessy said earlier. It's still not really a good movie. <laughs> no, I mean, or, or maybe that's not fair. That's not fair. It doesn't hold up. There are. I still think it holds up for the most part, but there are weird things in it that are very dated or just didn't make sense. Um, let me see here. Donnie N is in this. Okay. And he was one of the fight choreographers. And on he was it. fucking underused. He oh, was. oh my god! Thank you. Yeah, you get that guy, and you have him like do two things. It could be a thing where maybe like. He wasn't ready to like act as much Fair. yet, but he he choreographed a bunch of those. Well, fights. that's the thing, though. But that's the thing. He okay. You've seen Ip Man, right? Uh, no, I actually haven't okay, seen any of the scene, Ip Mans. There's a scene in Ip Man where Donnie Yen fights like fucking seventy dudes, and he's fast and yeah. it's brutal. The fact that he choreographed this wireframe Cirque du Soleil fucking <laughs> bullshit is insane to me. I don't know if he choreographed those parts because there were multiple choreographers. I think he did more of the hand on hand stuff. I, I think I think that well a couple of things you say he's not ready to act yet I looked it up while we were watching Blade mm -hmm. Two Wesley Snipes has like ten lines in the movie oh my god he does, <laughs> no really I want you to if, he doesn't if, talk if, a lot if you pay it he, he talked way more in the first one yeah in the second one all his badass action stuff but all his and we actually did we we do the script and we we searched ninety percent of his speech is just him answering somebody's question. Like, Blade, what's this? <laughs> it's a hemoglobin. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, it's not, he never, Blade is not a great conversation starter. Yeah. The best is when you have a secondary character just going, like this whole thing, and then Blade. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was a scene where he literally goes, nice. Um, <laughs> oh, cool. Now, well, oh, now, the hemoglobin punch thing. That's yeah. what it was. It was like tech yeah. babble, and then he goes, nice. Like, he yeah. understands it. Now, now. There was a cameo lined up from this, mm -hmm. according to my research here. Apparently, Michael Jackson was going to have a cameo. I read and I, that. I believe he was going to be some kind of vampire pimp at a club. They ended up, he, there was a scheduling thing. He wasn't able to do it. They reshot it with another guy, and then they ended up deleting it anyway. Yeah, my, he had a date with Corey Feldman. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, he's dead. Alleged, you know, people are still trying to be smart to me. He's still getting oh, trouble. Sorry. Allegedly, hey, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. He's, he still had, he still had some, you know, he had some uh, real uh, blood sucking to do. <laughs> Come on, man, we're having fun here. Allegedly, we're, allegedly, we're, allegedly. We're, allegedly. We're forced, allegedly. we're forced guest in his where's, home. Where's the cam? Which can Which camera? Like allegedly, allegedly. You're, you're, that's your camera. Alleg there. Alleg 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 allegedly. This is the nicest B and E you've ever dealt out with, huh? This isn't a B and E. <laughs> this is an Airbnb. <laughs> This is just my house &E. where I lure girls with my internet fame and okay. fail to sleep with well, them. Well, you lured two weirdos. <laughs> yeah, it backfired. I don't think it's working, Tony. It backfired. <laughs> they, come, they show up so, baby, I got the entire uh, one season of the Blade TV series. <laughs> you want to watch it? <laughs> Which, by the way, someday we're doing that supplemental. Yes, yes, we should. We yes. should. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll uh, just go through the movie here. Oh. Yeah. So it starts off with a man named Nomak. Uh, at a blood bank. Mm -hmm. And I love that the one guy... He's a like, Microsoft guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking anyway, hate you. I love that the one you. guy's like, this blood bank is the best. You can donate however you want. They yes. even take it in jars. Oh, Anyone yes. would be like, why would they... That seems really unsanitary. What's going on here? Hi, yeah, I'd like to make a donation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, so... Uh, Nomak is there and he's like, yeah, I need like a transplant. They're like, oh, there's something weird about your blood. We want to look into it. And then they strap into a fucking chair. The fucking and the claw. Freddy Kluger needles. Like what? Kluger. The Freddy Kluguliger needles. Kluguliger. Uh, Frankie is Kluger, like which is yeah. a great value Freddy Krueger. From Nightmare on Elmwood. Jessica, make Freddy Kluger. <laughs> this will be This will be com uh, comparable to uh, <laughs> Crystal's Micah Miles. <laughs> Freddy Kluger. <laughs> thank, thank you for all the work you do, Jessica. I know we make it hard, and I want to say he <laughs> might not appreciate you, but I do. The Freddy Kluger. From the scary of Dream Street. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, oh, he was made by John Woodworker. <laughs> Blade, I'm sorry. I apologize. By the way, so it's needles. I mean, what use is... A needle that's like a glove, like that, that, that seems like a bad idea. It's right? the worst weapon. You could just use one needle. Yeah, like one needle. Here strap we, we get one needle and we put it like on some sort of stick. Yeah. And we do this motion at him. I feel like that's way more efficient yeah. than a hand needle. So, 
But I like the misdirect in the beginning because I don't think this is based off any particular comic. They're like doing no, their no. Own the, thing. The, the, this is this is the this, they're, they're, this is like their own stuff. Yeah, because yeah. the first movie, like Deacon Frost, was a character. Yes. there were some winks and nods. Like I said, they set up for Morbius and then deleted it. Because uh, even back then, the no one liked Jared Leto. I know. <laughs> no, back then they wanted Morbius to be its own thing. Yeah. Well, they eventually did it. And anyway. it was worth. It was the worth. Wait. <laughs> it's Morbin time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, favorite, so I like the mystery. My favorite scene of Morbius is when he puts the needle back in the infected hole. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember anything that happened to Morbius other than the dance scene and the weird flying. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So I like the Mr. Act that you think this is like a sick dying man. Yes. And then like he's crying and then he's like laughing and just like jaw splits open. It, we don't see the full on jaw split oh. at that point. But I love when he bites the one vampire and the blood just like fucking launches on the wall. I did. I, I will. I will give it credit. Like I really did like the. Okay, we've did the vampire thing. Adding another element to it yeah. with the mouth thing. I will agree that was kind of cool. Yeah. Because it was like oh so this because in the first one you're like by the end of the first one, you're like oh they've already figured out how to kill vampires easily. But then if you make one like oh these are harder to kill. Yeah. It, it makes it a little harder. Yeah. It's kind of like playing the, the, the sequel to a game. You know they can't start you with all the same powers. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah I like uh, after this opening uh, Blade says hi to us. He's mm. like hi I'm Blade. My name is Blade. I was born half human half vampire. He's like and then my friend Whistler died and they took him and right there I'm going to be in the theater being like what? Wait, the vampires went back for Whistler? Yeah, they went back. Wasn't the point that they wanted him to like sit there and die and turn and then there was a mercy it, killing? It, it was, it, I think it was just one of those scenes where they threw in where they needed a reason to have that fight scene. Mm -hmm. Like the, the movie, the movie does, from the very first scene of the movie, it's like, oh, they throw all this action at you like immediately. Yeah. Which, and, and movies in that genre, in that era always did that. But it was like, yeah. they threw all this action and they go, well, why are we doing this? And every scene they had, the, it, it was always a flimsy reason. Like, oh yeah, Whistler, they took Whistler early. We didn't tell you, but yeah, he's it's gone. Like, wait, it's like, so Deacon Frost, like, uh, killed him, went to turn him, and then you had to mercy kill him. And then I guess other vampires went back for him and then yeah. put him in a blood. How did the other vampires find out he was dead? Like, like they, the they trace his fingerprints that he had on a jar of blood that he turned in at the blood bank. <laughs> Amazing wait, jar. Wait, like, why? What was the need? I guess it was just like, well, you got to bring him back. He was in the first one. Yeah, it's no, like, of course. But it's just like you didn't have to. Like, wh why not the the doctor lady? Like, have even, her be even part if of you, this. Even if you wanted a cameo, you could be like, oh, he recorded this video from and do something dumb like, like that, like Jamie you know? Kennedy and Scream Three. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe they just maybe they just went back and found him because he's an old man, so there was blood in his stool. And they just oh my god! Followed a trail. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, poor guy. Anyway, Kenny Rogers. Uh, I thought Whistler. that was. I always thought that was weird. Uh, bringing Whistler back. Uh, it was. Just, it was just bizarre. But the whole suit up scene kind of gave me Batman Forever vibes. Oh, where it's yeah. like we got to zoom up on this and this and this. Well, everyone does. Everyone gives Schumacher shit for that. But there, there's a lot of movies that did the whole suit up scene like yeah. that, like the whole quick cut. Yeah. Like oh, sure. Even oh, freaking. Oh, uh, the first Nolan movie they do a suit up scene. Meteor yeah. Man, they do a suit of. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. And, Obviously, uh, uh, Meteor Man. Yeah, I mean, it's a great movie. It's our Amazing favorite movie. movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wore out my VHS copy of that as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lie. <laughs> so Blade is uh, hunting down people who know who Whistler is, uh, yeah. and he's like chasing these vampires, and it's pretty cool. And then we get the first example of the thing that ages the worst in this film: the rubbery CGI body doubles. Oh. And this was not exclusive to this film. This was a problem for a lot of movies at the time. Uh, of course, the same year, Matrix Reloaded. <sighs> Which, by the way... I'm sorry, you mean the Dark City ripoff? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Which, by the way, uh, that I think we mentioned in the one Matrix uh, episode, when I rewatched Matrix Reloaded, that fight with him and all the Smiths... It's so bad. No, no, but the thing is, I forgot how good it starts. Yeah. Oh, when yeah, 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 the yeah. People... More, so, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pie chart. It's like, it's like a flow Yeah. Chart. More Smiths, less quality. Goes, yeah. yeah. Because when it's just... When, when they're using doubles and stuff like that, you're right, the fight is... But the moment that he did the pipe thing, I'm like, oh, this is... And then this it is. switches all to CG. It gets yeah. so worse. So in this movie... To this movie's credit, they try to like blend it in and out. It like it actually does something cool where it is like the live action actor and will go into CG and then back right. into live action. 
Uh, but it's the movements that are so awkward and wonky. It's and it's the one where great. he's like coming down. Big Henry Cavill mustache <laughs> vibes came. You had some shorthand for the beginning. So we this one, yeah. when we watched this film, okay. we didn't know we were doing this. We just happened to watch Blade 2. Yeah, and what a coincidence. We, we Everyone took notes. So, so we, there was a little bit of shorthand that we used. Real, real quick, real quick. Hold yeah. on. Oh, 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 it's a cat. Okay. Well, hey, kitty. So uh, oh. Space Cat, we watched Blade 2 today. What did you have to say about it? Anything? Anything? No. Okay, well, thanks for coming here screaming for attention and then doing nothing. That was actually, that was Ebert's exact review of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my God, at the end of this, I have to read Harry Knowles' review of this movie. Okay, okay, oh I'm in. God, okay. Have you ever heard it before? No. Oh, <laughs> it's the creepiest I'm in. I'm thing in. in the world. Okay. Anyway, anyway, continue. So we did a lot of shorthand, so I'm gonna go through it here. But so Claw Needles is there. See, Claw Needles, so claw needles, needles. is there. Uh, Wesley's gun skills, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. So when he's, right, when he's shooting, whenever you see him, sh have you, did you notice, Tony, anytime it's a scene where he's shooting, you never see who he's shooting at, it's just scenes of him. <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. You, you're supposed to be this cool guy and you're just or just doing one of these and around the corner. Yeah. With his weird with his weird rectangle guns. <laughs> it was to force back then gung fu was a big thing. Yeah. Right? And because of the Matrix and another reason mm -hmm. and equilibrium and stuff like that. There's a lot of gung fu and everything. So you just had to add it and everything. And it's like no, movies don't really need that. Yeah. You know? no, they yeah. really don't. I mean, I love Kung Fu. Gun Kata. I think that's what they called yes, it in yes. Equilibrio. <laughs> I'm more of a Jim Kata man, but that's just me. <laughs> Rest in peace, that main actor. Um, so yeah, he ends up torturing a guy. By the way, we mentioned in the previous film that he will go from stoic and then occasionally have this like weird personality change. Yeah. And it, with his car, he like has the motorcycle. He almost hits his car and then he stops. He's like... I'm like, yes. I'm like, you are so totally inconsistent, Blade. But like, luckily it only comes out once in a while, uh, which I think is funny. But yeah, he uh, tortures the one guy. I love that the helmet just snaps in half when he's like yes. putting his face in the rubber. So then they go, he goes to the safe house where Whist Whistler is. And the vampires are snorting blood? Blood cocaine! Blood cocaine. That was shorthand. So blood cocaine is amazing, okay? okay well, well, is, but is the idea, is it regular blood or are they mixing it with drugs? Hear me out. Okay. okay. They get blood from people that just did cocaine. And then they, they dry it and they snort it. Yeah. Like if they want to get drunk. Have you seen uh, What We Do in the Shadows? Yeah, I was just about to say, Jessica, cut to the drug blood clip. Like that. We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I'm a wizard. The Blade verse is complete. That's why they're always at those raves. Yeah. So they could harvest <laughs> drug blood. They're harvesting drug blood. I'm with you, but I think that they're taking that cocaine addict's blood and they're putting it in more cocaine. <laughs> oh, so you think it's mixed with cocaine? Double strength. Well, every time, I, now I don't know the Blade rules, but in most vampire movies, whenever a, a vampire eats regular food, it makes him sick or he throws yeah. it up. Yeah. So I don't know if it works the same way with drugs. I mean, it's not food. Yeah. And, and by the way, hey, listen, vampire movie makers, can we stop the trope of drinking blood in a wine glass? It's, 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 I'm so sick of that trope. It's gonna get cold. I know, and then it coagulates. It coagulates, you yeah. Gotta you gotta drink it right like, away. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. Less blood in glasses, more blood raves, thank more you. More blood raves, thank you. Speaking of vampires, I finally watched Midnight Mass. Oh yeah? Yeah, it was actually pretty decent. I haven't seen it. It was actually, it's a nice little I'll twist on the vampire lore. So yeah, he saves Whistler, who's in a yes. big blood thing. Uh, by the way, I love the guy who knocks on the door. And he's like, oh, who's there? And he just gets shot yeah. and like dissolves. Oh, I was going to say the previous fight, the, the vampire dissolving is. Oh, and they linger yes. on it. Way yes. Oh, that was so bad. The CG. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Which even the first movie had some issues with, with the dissolving. I mean, in terms of CGI movies from that era, I try to give a little bit more of a pass because. Yeah. Fair. But then I look back and go, but Jurassic Park was so good. Like Jurassic Park well, has ruined CG for a lot well, of Well, think stuff. about it. The, the big movies like that, they were developing the technology for those movies yeah. and working on it for years. And then you have these other guys that are like, we can also use computers. We'll also make all this CGI. And they're like, cool, Spawn's gonna look great, right? And then it comes down. It's like, oh my God, what the, that looks nothing like Jurassic Park. Put 65 and, more Agent Smith. Yeah. And this is why She-Hulk looks the way it does. <laughs> in case you're curious, because the big money goes to the real Hulk. 
She Hulk gets a TV Disney budget. I, I love that on Twitter. You thought I was like angry at people shitting on She Hulk. Oh, no, I didn't think you were angry. No, it was. A no, it was a, so what I said for She Hulk, yeah. it's, it's Marvel related. I'm like, this is. I'm like, I know every single thing that happened in that show because people wouldn't stop bitching about it on Twitter. And the point. I shouldn't tweet first thing in the morning because usually when everything gets spoiled for me, like Mandalorian, it's by fans who can't shut up. She-Hulk is the first time where literally I know every detail because fa- people were complaining. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even have to watch the show. Consider yourself lucky and blessed. I guess. <laughs> I got two episodes left. But, yeah. like, but, but like I said, Mandalorian, I knew everything. Turns out at the it. end. It was a wool Mandalorian. Glass ceiling broken. I love I love when Star Wars fans get so upset that I don't like Mandalorian. I'm like, it sucks. It's okay. It's all right. No, it's, it's fun. It's I good. thought it was whatever. a bounty hunting show. It's a babysitting show. Yeah. And my favorite was when everyone... You don't like t- Raising Arizona? Uh, no. Well, oh. no, I like Raising Arizona, but I know what that is going in. I just... A I, masterpiece? You know what I hate? I hate it when everyone pretended Gina Carano was a good actress. Before never, she was a bad guy, and then she was a bad guy, and everyone ate her. I'm like, she sucked before she that. She was never a good actress. Have you seen Haywire? It's one of the worst. I've fucking never things. thought Gina Carano is a good Dude, actress. That Haywire? was like when people were like upset. I'm like, no, I can understand if you're upset that she got fired and stuff, but let's let's stop pretend that she was the glue holding it together. She was awful. Dude, Gina Carano mm. is like Ronda Rousey. They're they're they 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 get these they get propped up, but they're not. They're good terrible. at it. They're, They're terrible, terrible at it. It's I hear not you. a woman thing. I hear both of you. You guys have a very good point. Oh, what are you going to say? But. Oh, God. She's so thick and hot. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgive everything else. Gina Carano? Gina Carano can yeah, get it, bro. Yeah. I will. I will mm. die. You invite me into your home. <laughs> I didn't invite you. invite you me yeah, into my home. Nobody. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We broke into your home, but hear okay. me out, Tony. Nobody talks bad about Gina Carano. Gina Carano. Watch. Okay, less I'm act, sorry. I'm less sorry. acting. I'm gonna watch more sitting. I'm gonna watch every Gina Carano movie now. The Western don't do that, movie. Don't do that. And the that. and the red and the red alert cutscenes because she was in those. Yes, yes. And, Man and Conquer and the the Hunter Biden movie. I'm gonna watch that. Oh, we're actually, you should join us. We're riffing that next month. That's gonna oh, be fun. Is it out? Did it come out? I have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, by the time this comes out, the movie's been out for a while. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. It's out. Yeah. Anyway, you, you know what? You're right. I I, I got to review it in time. Of course. Because if I wait to talk about the Hunter Biden thing, it's not going to be news anymore. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back into this. Blade gets Whistler out of there. Yes. But he's kind of vampirish. I guess he never fully turned. Okay, that's the other thing. Because they kept him in either. stasis. The whole plot of the first movie. Well, one of the subplots mm. was the girl that was kind of turned to a vampire and they're trying to stop her from turning into one. Remember the first yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the whole thing was like, how do we do this? You already know how to do it. This should be an easy yeah. fix. Fix it. You're done. You know how to do it already. Well, remember, I think it did end up working for her, right? She yeah, found it some kind of, Or she was working on a cure. I thought that she was cured for sure, and then didn't yeah, they use right. her blood? Yeah. As, or some was something like that. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, I think, I, from what I remember, she actually did form some kind of cure or was close to getting mm-hmm. a cure. But when she was working on the cure, she accidentally made something that killed them, remember? That, that killed their god. Yeah, their god, You'd yes. think they'd be more upset about that, uh, but... Uh, their real god doesn't show up till the third one. <laughs> oh, right, right. Oh, my okay. god. Hunter Hearst Hemsley. <laughs> no, 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 it's the uh, other guy. Parker Posey, stupid. No, it's the... <laughs> anyway, anyway, Ryan anyway. Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Sorry, so, Tony. So I guess he does have that kind of cure that can cure you in time. So he gives uh, Whistler a, um injection, uh, and he's like, hey, I'm opening those fucking shades whether you're turned or not. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Like, hey, Blade, he might actually die. Do you want to, like, say, like something like something nicer and said he's like hey man you might get fucking roasted good luck i'm like well, what was the point of even going after him some motherfuckers always trying to hopscotch up here. <laughs> what hey but Wait, it's okay he couldn't say anything because he only answers questions in the movie <laughs> it's okay though whistler is cured but uh-huh. now they introduce this whole like where does his allegiance lie? Oh my god! Okay, can we? Yeah. Okay, can we talk about that. Where does his allegiance lie? They do this like blind, like this double blind reveal. Like you go, oh, where was he? Where were you? And they're like yeah. building down. Because he, he he gets introduced <sighs> to Scuds, who is Blade's new tech guy, and there's yes. immediate hostility there. Good name though. 
Yeah. The, all the names are so fucking stupid in this. They pulled I, them out of a hat, bro. Yeah. It's so funny. They just pulled the names out of a I, hat. In my notes, I don't refer to him as Light Hammer. I call him Barbarian. Um, <laughs> Light Hammer. Scuds isn't a fan of him, and they're trying to do this whole thing. It never really worked for me. But yeah, they get attacked by ninja vampires. Okay, here we go. All right. So yeah. This is my fucking... This, so not, okay, no, go ahead. They get attacked by ninja vampires for five minutes, and then it's just like, no, no, wait, we're on your side. You were just trying to fucking kill us. I was screaming when we I were watching so this because I because I forgot about that part. It's like instead of like I don't know calling him on the phone yeah. or showing up and be like, hey, look, we have no weapons. We're here to talk. We're on your side. Instead, and like I brought up earlier, which is a theme for this movie that you guys are going to see, mm. it's finding reasons to have fights even when there doesn't need to be fights because yeah. they need action they need action i think they're just you know you're marketing to like your typical adolescent teenage kid where it's like i need action i need action i'm thinking maybe they were like all right well blade's not gonna listen to a fucking thing we say we're gonna show up and he's just gonna murder us so like Maybe we can like stab him. And yeah. I think the idea was not to kill him, incapacitate but him? to incapacitate him long enough. They're like, okay, now that we've impaled you, you can survive it. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> great, great. But, but you're, that's a great point. I didn't yeah. think about that yeah. because if a vampire just shows, like, Blade, Blade, you're right. Blade was just about to let Whistler die. <laughs> so I'm sure if a random dude shows up, because remember, like, Blade. Blade hates vampires. At no point in this movie does he give an update on how that vampire cure is going. Oh, because okay. he doesn't fucking care. No, he <laughs> just wants to kill shit. them. Send a hot chick. <laughs> like in the first one, if you send a hot, well, she did, it's hot vampire chick. Send yeah. a hot familiar and be like, look, I'm not a vampire. You could check me with your vampire machine that they, I guess, to, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. And, and, and then be like, hey, look, these guys actually want to work with you. And then he'll, going to mumble a couple things. Mm. But... That fight scene, I will say, was a cool fight scene, except the CGI yeah, doubles. Yeah, the real you know CGI what? doubles. I was reading the IMDb, and I kind of want to go and listen to the commentary track, because apparently even Del Toro will make fun of the bad CGI in the commentary oh. track. Um, so, yeah, they, they eventually are like, hey, look, we want a truce. Uh, I will say the goggles are cool. How they like yeah. retract and everything, like, like owls eyes. Yeah, yeah and yeah. like the goggles and all the weird goggle stuff. It does seem again like things that would we would end up seeing in Hellboy later on. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this thing... this this feels like how J.J. Abrams used Star Trek because he wanted to make a Star Wars movie. Yes. Yeah. This feels like Del Toro, like, look, I'll do Blade 2, but I really want to do Hellboy. Yeah, fair. So look, my... at, look at what I'm capable of. Yeah, look what I'm capable that. of here. Fair yeah, yeah. Um, one thing, one note, one note that I took uh, during that whole ninja sword fight part was, I don't know if you noticed, but every time they do the fight, they kept cut, they kept finding a reason to fight in front of these, like, giant The god lights, they yes. call them. The, the god, god lights. But they kept, they'd move away and then, Somehow end up back in front of them and then move away. Somehow yeah. end up back in front. It was and and like those lights don't hurt them because they're covered in the suit. I guess uh, there's some. Uh, when uh, we, that, that's a, to, that's, I'm gonna bring it up when we get to the, yes. the sewer level. Yes, but okay, the okay. sewer so level. level you I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. Let's, up, put up, a, up. let's put a pin on that for now because I am gonna da, bring da, da, that up. Da, da, da. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nissa, Nissa. She is the vampire princess. No. She is one no, of the. That's the way. The that's the way eyes. Jar Jar Binks calls says, calls people Mister, <laughs> right? Misa vampire princess. Misa vampire please. Misa, not Misa. Oh, I apologize. Misa, not a racist caricature. <laughs> <I> swears. <laughs> uh, or uh. Nisa, or Nisa, whatever. She is one of the three Martas from Arrested Development. I believe she is the first Marta. Oh, oh I didn't know God. that. And I've watched Russia a million times. Yeah. Now I So okay. she played Marta in two episodes and then it turned into the girl from The Mummy. Yes. Uh, I think, yeah, I forget. I'm blanking on the her name right like now. The one who's like super tan and all the, yes. all the time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, and okay. then there was, they do a flashback to just some actress who is supposed to be Marta, but she is the first Marta in Arrested Development. And that's, that's what I know her from. I mean. <laughs> She's in other things. Whatever works. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Blade uh, agrees to go to the vampire headquarters, uh, which did he not know where that was located? It, it did also, he never know where that was located? It also seemed like they weren't hiding it that well. No. It feels like it was super easy to find the van. It's probably in Google. Yeah. It or excuse me, back to MapQuest. It's, <laughs> it's like a pop-up restaurant, so the location changes all the time. It all just depends on what's local and what's fresh. I do like that she's just like... It's so weird that he just agreed to come here. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's got a suicide bomb vest on right now. And at no point do any of the vampires be like, okay, look, 
you can, we'll give you like a gun. You can't bring the suicide bomb vest in here. The vampires are observably stupid. Yes. Because the things they do, and I understand writing wise why they try to do some of the things, but like you just said, that's a great example. They immediately trust Blade, the guy whose entire goal mm -hmm. is to genocide their entire people. No, that's what Blade is. Look, for vampires- That is his goal. Blade is a dick. Look, depending on whose side you're on, yeah. Blade is a horrible monster and to again, some people. The the biggest point in, yeah. my, in that favor is he never updates us on the vampire cure. No. He doesn't want he it. He doesn't want it. Blade doesn't, Blade doesn't want to help. Blade wants to hunt. Yeah. And no, because he, he purposely is like, just give me a different serum. I don't want the cure. I need more vampires to kill. And, and no, it, no one ever says like, well, if you have a cure, you can just cure them now. He's like, no, that's not on my agenda. I need to murder them. <laughs> How's that cure coming along? How's that cure coming along, Blade? Oh, no, no, no. I'd do something else. Now I'm doing the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> This one makes more vampires. That cure never comes out. In Blade 3, there should have been people who like, hey, Blade, look, we're just curing them now. He's like, nah, I still got to murder yeah, them. I'm like, no, 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 we can save them. We have, we literally have an injection. It goes right away. <laughs> what, what if they're halfway to being cured? Can I still kill them because there's a little vampire? There? <laughs> <laughs> what acceptable so, amount of vampire can I put my sword like through the head? Lost. Yes. Can I put my, my sword through the head? Can I kill it? Can I kill <laughs> So can I kill a vampire in the third trimester? It's not Blade. <laughs> oh, look, no. first off, <laughs> first off, Blade. No. Roe versus Blade. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the podcast. Hey, that was a fun one, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> that was that was Pessy's last. We're leaving. <laughs> so that's like Pessy ever said. So after Roe v. Blade, <laughs> you can't. Sorry. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So Thomas Kretschmann plays Thomas Kinos, yeah. who looks like Nosferatu. Yes. Yes. Thomas Kretschmann, who's a Nazi in Dial of Destiny. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> we have our theories. I, I like Thomas Kretschmann. He's fine. Is so he you're good? saying you love the CGI in the trailer of Dial of Destiny. I agree no, with you. No, no, no. That I, I don't like. So Thomas Kretschmann, are you talking about that old wet vampire? Yes. Oh, the glistening. the glistening. Okay, we got to talk about yes. the glistening. Well, I think like... The idea was that his skin is like marble, I guess. Yeah. Didn't come off that way. I uh, look like he was always getting out of a hot tub. Yes. And yes. We, we, we started calling it like, oh, it's our time. It's the vampire's time of the glistening. <laughs> Where we all, all the real born vampires, they just get wet. Wait, by, by the way, why does he look like Different? That? Different? Yeah. Okay, I don't, that's the other thing so, too that they never really. Because a lot of times if a vampire Sometimes they just look creepy and old. But if you have these like nicer looking vampires and then there's a creepy one, a lot of times like the thing will be like, oh, they're not drinking as much blood. Like uh, yeah. like Dracula. So, he yeah. starts off as an old man, the more blood he drinks. Uh, Leslie really Nielsen, good. yes, dead and loving it. I remember. <laughs> yes, obviously, Excellent that's film. the one canon. I was referring to. Uh, that's the canon Dracula we all, <laughs> Bram Stoker's Leslie <laughs> not, Nielsen. Not any of these Draculas here. I actually don't have Dracula dead and loving it. I need to get It's that. in the DVD player because you were watching all the time. Me yeah. too. That's true, that's yeah. true. Third that's copy, true. keeps melting the discs. <laughs> So, so Leslie Nielsen is your favorite Dracula. Yeah, obviously. It's okay, well, that that's kind of mean to me because, you know, I had Dra District Attorney Dracula, Mummy Cop, and I thought you'd say, Tony, I'm such a good friend. I watched your old web series, and that's my favorite Dracula, but now I know that we're not friends. Why would you think we're friends? I've broken your home. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's true. So Nosferatu's there, uh, and I don't feel like saying Damaskino, so we're just going to call him Nosferatu. We'll, just, let, we'll call him Nosferatu. 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 Like but, uh, but, uh, like but my whole thing, my, uh, they do it in what we do in the shadows also, but I think the whole thing with like vampire lore is those, those the really old ones look that way. It's mm. because they had they aren't necessarily adapted to modern society because yeah. they're still very feral almost. So they just kept looking like that and they probably feed a lot more and they're yeah. just more, more on like the beast side yeah. of things there, but that, it's weird. that's like an Anne Rice thing it didn't make it into the movies but there are these like wraith type vampires in her books that like have no social interaction and don't feed as much so they're like basically zombie like they're right, like right. creepy zombie things that's what it never made it in the movies I don't know if it's in the show but like uh interview with the vampire it's like yeah me and the girl we went looking for vampires the one we found scared the shit out of us and we murdered it <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so yeah they're basically like blade there is a new vampire on the block and they're called Reapers. Uh, and they're like scary. They feed on human and vampire blood. And I we... thought Reapers were the pirates from Firefly. <sighs> yeah, I think they might. Or were they Reavers? No. They might have been Reavers. Reavers What's the pepper? 
Reaper. Okay. So these, pe these pepper vampires, go ahead. The pepper so vampires. These Trinidad scorpion vampires. Yes, yes. <laughs> they're like, hey, look, they're going to kill all of us. It's some mutated strain. We don't know where this virus came from. Um, so, yeah, they're like, look, we, we want to team up. You're going to team up with this team to kill these new vampires. By the way, the team that you're teaming up with has been trained to kill you for the last two years. Oh, so I, I do like that twist where it's like, these people literally, their only purpose is to kill Blade, and now they have to work with him. I just want to warn you, Blade, one of your new crew members, he tweets about having piss on his hands a lot. Oh my god, the just Ron let Perlman. You know. Ron Perlman. Are those real tweets or like jokes? No, those are real. No, those are real. Those are real tweets. I think he is, uh, what's sweaty. his name uh, in this? It's a very German name. Oh, um. Hans Waffle. <laughs> Because I think, from what I read in the original script, he might have been like a former Nazi, but that did not make it in it. Here, let's look up. He is racist. Oh, former Nazi. <laughs> His name was Vampire. <laughs> former, yeah, not current. Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. And by, 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 name. by the way, current Nazi, I guess. Current, sorry. <laughs> current Nazi. Well, we don't know when this comes out. Current Nazi. <laughs> and, and Jessica, listen, I want to apologize. Please beep I, out. Bleep that out too. Yay. I just, I, just like, name. I like that he changed. I just like that he changed his name to what people say when he's in a room now. Yay. Hey, <laughs> that guy. Yay. Is. Oh, man. Um, and he's also a vampire because he wears the black mask all the time, too. <laughs> so the sun gets in front of the sun. <laughs> Yeah, what's the last time oh. we've seen him in the daytime? I and he fears I, daywalkers. Uh, All those videos oh. he's been doing are at night. He, he's a vampire. Yeah, he's anyway, a vampire. anyway, anyway, Reinhardt. Anyway. Reinhardt, anyway. Reinhardt, Reinhardt. 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 Okay. So. Uh, the uh, all their names are stupid. Like I said, Light Hammer, Reinhardt, every name priest. is dumb. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the other one. I, I want to say Blogus. Blogus is there. <laughs> there's there's Tumblr girl. Dude, there's a guy named Chupa. Chupa, yes, which sucker, is, which is Spanish for sucker. Sucker, yes, the Chupacabra, mm -hmm. the Chupacabrics. That's not how we use it in high school, but okay. <laughs> we're, we got we're up with the times. It's Chupacabrics. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Also, just wanted to say, missed opportunity in the film. Uh, when Donnie Yen shows up for the first yeah. time, they should have been like, who's that man? And they go, that's Snowman. That's a vampire. Is that Snowman? <laughs> that's right. He's like, Snowman. <laughs> that's Snowman. That's a vampire. That's all his name. Oh. Oh. Yeah, like, they gave hey, him bye, a... everybody. <laughs> no, no, no. They gave him a way better name yeah. in Star Wars Rogue One, and that name is... Did they say his name in Star Wars World? Sure he has to have it. Which is, is is it is it? I feel like it's racist. What is it? What is it? I can't say it. I can say it. Chirrut Imwe. Okay, come on, man. Oh uh, hey. yes, Chirrut Imwe. Yes, Native American Donnie Yen played Chirrut Imwe. Inuit's actor Donnie Yen. Anyway, okay, anyway. you know what? I might you might be right. Star Wars just fucking sucks. No, bro. <laughs> I, you're, I can't, I'm not defending anymore, Tony. I'll give you this one. And that's what people say is good. I'm like, I know, no. I know. You win. You know what? <laughs> Looking back on it, Rogue One was only good because everything else around was it was at least marginally yeah. better than the other movies. But it's not. Sorry, Blade. Yeah. I apologize. Sorry, Blade. 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 So uh, Ron Perlman he asked Blade if he blushes. Can you blush? Which is racist. That was that's a good point. That was a super racist. Line. By the way, the reason it's in here, yeah. Wesley Snipes made them put the scene in because someone did that to him, and he wanted it in the movie. Like someone legit asked that of Wesley Snipes once. Okay, first of all, first of all, brave to walk up to Wesley Snipes and ask him that fucking question. Well, we don't know if he life. was like Wesley Snipes yet. Right. He might have just been like a kid or something. Fair like, enough. Like, I wouldn't go up to Wesley Snipes and say that. I, I wouldn't go up to Wesley Snipes. <laughs> no, I would totally go up to Wesley Snipes and be like, so what did you do wrong? And what can I learn from your mistakes? Because I don't want to pay the government. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, gonna, Jessica, cut that out. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just gonna ask him Demolition Man questions. That's my That thing. too. That's the next on the agenda is everything about Demolition yes. Man. Over a meal at Taco Bell. Simon <laughs> Phoenix, actually from Tucson. Did you know that? <laughs> Not really. Just made it up. So he puts a bomb in Ron Perlman's head. Oh, the, the oh, Suicide Squad, the, the Suicide Squad brainstem. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then you find out, by the way, way too shortly afterwards, like, there never was a bomb. So you still let him no, stick no, shit no. in your head? Royce, Ron Perlman's fucking haircut. When they show oh, the back yeah. of his head. Yeah. So we his looked at that. I actually shoes. sent you that on Twitter, too. Yeah. We took a, I took a screenshot. Oh. His hair goes from here. And then it's like my beard kept going up, but then went and connected in the back like a monk. 
You should you should rock. It. I'm gonna do it. I'm you gonna do be, it. You should be Reinhardt next album. You know, nobody, nobody know who I am. They'll think I'm a homeless guy. <laughs> Dude, it's like a go it's like goggles, but a beard. <laughs> yes, I should. So I never noticed it before until I read the fact he never takes his sunglasses off this entire film. Ron Perlman? Yeah, <laughs> they are. He's always wearing his sunglasses. What is he, Mersh? <laughs> Dude, I think he's always wearing sunglasses in everything he does. <laughs> Oh, I think, you know what, that, that that actually makes, it's not just in that movie, he does wear sunglasses a lot, like, you know, in Sons of Anarchy and everything too, but like, it's just because he's, Ron Perlman kind of has butthole eyes. No, I mean, like, they're in, they're, they're pushed in a bit. Yeah, no, so, I get yeah. what you mean, I yeah. get what you mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just really mean, yeah. but anyway. Yeah, because we wouldn't want to offend yeah. nice guy Ron Perlman. <laughs> Give him a break, he's <laughs> being on his hand. Good point. So, they, uh, they go to the vampire <laughs> club, and again... Blade's like, is this a club? I don't see any symbols. The witnesses should say is like, oh no, it is. Trust me. Yeah, it's new. We didn't put the symbols up yet. Instead, she's like, well, Blade, because you keep killing all of us, uh, we now have these hidden sequels, and these are the goggles that you need to see them. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why? Like, you're only teaming up Blade for this specific purpose. You're going back to being enemies afterwards. He wants to genocide your people. Yeah. Stop giving them ammo. I've never. That's a really good point. <laughs> yeah. It's like why? Like, I understand teaming up to help, but you don't have to give away like your base's location, the launch codes. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, by the way, we <laughs> forgot to mention the familiar uh, with Nosferatu. It's like we need to thank you, and he's like, for what? He's like, killing Deacon Frost. You did us a favor. It's like, what? Did, did how did you guys? I mean, are you guys a different vampire council, and you heard about that? It's. I just like the fact that fucking Blade. Up until yesterday, was trying to kill all these vampires, yeah. and now they're next to him, with tons of ammo and weapons. Going, you know, I want to share you my secrets and my weaknesses. And yeah, what you thinking? Stupid. Yeah, that what you think? What the Deacon you Frost thinking? thing? Technically, Nosferatu should be like, "Hey, look, I know Deacon was an asshole, but I think you killed our god." Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> also, Deacon Frost, what a waste of a name! You should have got some sort of like frost hero or frost villain you know like some ice space thing if you kill the vamp if you kill the vampire's god though all the other ones should die isn't that the don't they well in the first one they didn't even think he was real it was a surprise to him when it turned out to be real only the orthodox vampires die if you kill their god uh... the unorthodox vampires are fine <laughs> and they head toward the uh vampire club um i like the slow motion walking in a line shot oh my god go wait we looked at the vampire club's name what was it it was really corny was it rad dude uh, i i think there's a oh, reference to it rad was dude. bad it was really bad it was I'll like it, it was like really like you might have all these goggles and stuff but as a human if i saw the name I'm like oh that's a vampire club yeah that's the club was called house, house of Pain. there it is that because it was a bdsm club i believe if i remember yeah. correctly but they're making out with razor blades in their mouth they, they were doing something as one of their spines yeah like it's this really weird like okay but even if you're a human and you're trying to hide this i go that guy should be dead his back's open no i think they're vampires no i know but and they like doing the body modification because they could just heal i guess that's true yeah it's just yeah i do like that he bumps into the guy from earlier mm -hmm. Because the guy's like dancing. He's like, oh, no. And he runs away. Okay. We're going to talk about the brave. That one nerdy guy in the audience. I noticed him. Oh, you know, thank, thank you. Thank you. The spotlight is on him. Okay. If you could find that clip and put it here, it would be hilarious. There, you could, you can't miss the guy in the rave scene. He looks like he looks like Revenge of the Nerds. Like, just, he was ginger. It's like, I'm fucking there. Yeah, he's a ginger. He Big glasses, white shirt, blue jeans. Yeah. Everyone else is dressed in like rave material. He's dressed like he's in a Diet Coke commercial. And he's just doing like... Yeah, yeah, this is the best blood rave I've ever had. By the way, I like that the vampires are all still racist. They're like, they're not even yeah. pure bloods. Ugh. All the vampires just keep asking Blade if he could blush. It's like, okay, it's getting gratuitous. Now. <laughs> right, right, this is gratuitous. Not... So Ron Perlman in Blade's feud is very funny. I like that he's in the club and he's got like the gun. It's like, I can kill him right now. But then it's just like, I think Blade's got the gun pointing at his dick his or dick. something. And I'm yeah. like, okay, but then both of you kill each other. Like yeah. one doesn't really have the tactical advantage here. By the way. So they have like the laser sight, and I think the laser sight is uninterrupted. It's like, is just conveniently no one dancing in front of no, them? It's no. so bad. Well, they're filming a movie there, Tony. Oh, oh that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, I do love the reveal of the Reapers, though, when it like yeah. goes underground and they're just like all looking up. Well, okay. I was laughing about that because you're right. They're all looking up. But then what you don't notice for, for, for like 20 minutes, people are just like dropping their earrings and chains on their heads and, <laughs> and drinks and drinks are falling on their faces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, that whole lair down there on 
under that club probably yeah. smells like a dorm room carpet. Yeah, because yeah. think about it. Because first off, why would you have the cl flo a club where the floor is graded where all the just <laughs> club crap? There's like Molly Dude, on the and floor. And there's like spikes and stuff. Yeah. I assume they club like goers are wearing heels. Why is it? Why is it a graded floor? Little baggies. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, little ba little baggies of blood cocaine are just falling through the grates down there. The yeah, the more you, this movie, the more you think of it, it's like that doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. Wait a second, you tell me this Blade movie yeah. has some plot holes in, and I don't believe you. So they're starting to look for Reapers, and I like that the big barbarian guy is being stalked, stalked by fucking Gollum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the tiniest Reaper in the world. They all make a move, and they attack uh, the Blood Pack and the the Blade Boys. I guess it's the Blood. I'm calling them the Blade, Blade Boys. Boys. The Blade Boys and the Blood Pack. Um, and actually, you know what, Nomak, I really like that actor. And I wish he was in more stuff that I've seen. He ends up being the bad guy in Hellboy 2. Yeah, oh, he's the prince. And oh, he okay. um he is in uh he's in a made for TV uh Frankenstein adaptation, and he is like the most faithful depiction of the creature to the book. Like he has the long black hair and whatnot, because all the movies they like fuck it up. Uh but yeah, he's actually a really good actor. And I looked up his like IMDb and I'm like, I haven't heard of any of these movies. I never see them. Yeah, like I want to see him in more things. Does he do more like art house stuff outside of this, maybe? No, it looks like he does do like a lot of action mm -hmm. stuff. Maybe it's just not he's maybe he's not in a lot of American productions. Yeah. Uh yeah. but he's good. He's really, really good in this. Mm -hmm. Um the Reapers are super hard to kill. I like that they, they don't know how to kill them yet. Yeah, because they assuming. keep shooting them and they're and they're healing faster too. Uh, do you notice yeah. the, do you notice the Reapers healed really fast compared yeah. to other vampires? Yes. Again, because they're racist against their own kind. The one guy who only likes pure bloods, he's like, well, I got to shoot that Reaper. Oh, all these vampires are in front of me. Oh, too bad. And he just fires into an open crowd, killing regular vampires to get to the Reaper. Guys, I'm going to I'm gonna say something. And look, this is a hot take. Yeah. Vampires are kind of jerks. Yeah, I'm starting to think these vampires aren't very yeah, nice they're people. They're not. They'll just kill their own. Yeah. The one Reaper, he gets pinned to a wall by Donnie Yen. And then he just slices his own dick off to run away. That's actually CG. Snowman, sir. Snowman. Snowman. I'm sorry. Spec on Snowman. that name. <laughs> Uh, I actually do. That's actually one CGI scene that's actually pretty cool because mm. the the weird movement kind of works for that, and he well, runs into a shadow. When you're not doing specifically human stuff, you get away with it. Yeah, it's when you try to do human stuff, you get that uncanny valley stuff. Yep. that's weird. Yeah, and also around this time is the first time we actually see their mouths, and they're horrifying. I <laughs> love that, but uh, it's it very Resident Evil ish. With yes, the, with the the bottom. Actually, one. before Resident Evil no, did I, that, well, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, like, in well, no, because the game. The Hellhounds mouths did that in the games, no? No, not. Oh no, the remake. You're right. No, you're no, right. No, no, I apologize because well, the movie. The thing, here's the, the thing. The, um, you're right. The whole like splitting thing. I didn't think that was until Resident Evil Five, which mm -hmm. is like 2009, maybe. But it it is well, it is it is a it's a it's yeah. a good it's a good it's a simple thing you could do that makes it extremely terrifying. Yeah. Now, are the mouths more functional? Not really. Like, mm. oh, you know, what are you gonna? You have to really get close to them and go yeah. with your with your big mouth hole. Yeah, and they got like the weird tongue the, tentacle. The mouth thing was really funny to see because like years later, Gamera del Toro did the strain. So so I looked into that. Same vampire. So a lot of people think he took the ideas here to do the strain, but it's actually the reverse. He. Wanted to do. I've never actually seen the strain, but he wanted to do that first, and he couldn't get it off the ground. So he oh. used some of his ideas in Blade oh, Two again, like you were oh saying earlier, God. to kind of show off what he could do. Yeah, and by the like, time hey, he look, got I to the do strain, this. he was able to reuse some of those ideas and do the original. Because those ones. vampires are exactly the same. Their mouths open like yeah. this. They've got the tentacle thingies. It yeah. is those exact same kind of vampires. That, that was just it's an really original crazy. concept he came up with. He's like, well, I got to do it in Blade Two first. Um, I like but, that Neil Blumkin to District 9 to make an alien movie. Then they never gave him the alien movie. Uh, good, because it would have ignored Alien I love 3. That you I called love him Neil 3. Blumpkin. That's, I, I always call him that. That's the best <laughs> name ever. You oh, said I do, Blumpkin? Yeah, you, oh, I, I, do, I always do that. <laughs> the greatest thing I've ever heard of. If you don't know what a Blumpkin is, look it up. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. man. Well, no. First Turn look, moderate search on, then look no, no. it up. First, <laughs> first look up Grandma, Grandma, what's a Blumpkin? <laughs> then look up what a Blumpkin is. There you go. I haven't heard Blumpkin since I listened to Howard what's Stern. Like, it's been a long time. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we'll call him Blade's Whack Pack. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out, as far as they can tell, only sunlight can kill them. Yes. And they have, they have uh, like, UV uh, Those UV lights. things, They yeah. have a filter to keep them safe, but they have the sunlight. Uh, the barbarian, he gets bit, and he does the classic cliche of hiding that he was oh infected. Oh my god, oh my god, that's- Okay, Tony, I'm- blood, it's just like, hold on, Okay, we, we gotta talk about this for a second. I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. 
We literally did that. It's not that he did the cover up with with that because mm. that was corny enough. Yeah. But it's that he was only wearing a vest. It was yeah. a sleep with muscles. And normally they wanted him to be shirtless, but I think they had to give him it. But the covering it up doesn't work with a little tiny vest because the moment yeah. you stand up, there's a big bite mark here. I don't know, you know? why he's covering up because he knows he will be turned. Yeah. It's been established that they can but turn he other covers vampires. It with the smallest goes, little piece of fabric. I know, I know, yeah. it's stupid. Blade fights Nomak. Yes. Uh, and it's a pretty cool fight in that like that like uh, abandoned, it looks like a church or something. Uh, so that's a pretty cool fight. Where uh, Kevin Bacon danced it out in Footloose, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He tries to use the blood exploding stuff. Yeah. That worked so well last time. Uh, and I like that you think it's going to work for a moment, and then he's just like, blah. He's like, I'm fine. And Blade is just like, oh, come on. So like, what the fuck? This was the fight scene where I started to just get really annoyed and really started to pick up on the fact that, like, when you watch an action movie, a real testament as to how good the actor is is how many fucking cuts. Yeah. One fight... Two minutes of fight scene on that, I counted like sixty cuts. Like every, it was like watching a WWE match, uh, like a modern one. Yeah, Dude, modern like one. They, yeah. You know what's funny? They don't do that all the time. Like yeah. they'll do it, and then people complain. And I notice they don't yeah. do it as much, and then they start doing it again. But well, there's a new Boston town too. Yeah, oh well, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I know a lot of people shit on the quick cuts. It it depends for me. Sometimes it works. But I'm sometimes just saying in, it in this in this one, it just made it seem so you, yeah. you, you, you could do quick cuts and, or you could do close ups. My problem is when you do both at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I can see you that. have the first like the the, the, the for Batman begins to to no. where where it's too close up where but, I don't see what's happening. Apparently the the idea there for that film was like they wanted it to purposely be disoriented. So that's how like the criminals are seeing it. But it didn't work. And to their credit, like the second and third movie, they don't really do that again. They like well, they pull the camera back and they do and less they cuts. And they fix the neck thing too. And they fix the net thing too. Which I know you're an expert at because all your knowledge is why you were in the film the, in the third one. So. I was. Did you know I was in The Dark Knight Rises? He really was. No, it's <laughs> no, not a joke. It's not a bit. Oh, uh, here's Bane. I got to see him uh, on stu uh, on set. And of course, I oh god, oh, oh god, Bane! oh god. And of course, I have the uh, the the 4K. Uh, copy so and you I can see yourself clearly. No, I still can't see myself even in 4K. <laughs> but I'm there. So you know the scene in the football stadium. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. He's one of. Oh, the you're guys. just somewhere in that football stadium. I'm behind the goalpost and I have a scene with Tom Hardy because he's in front of the camera and I'm on the opposite side of the field, out of focus. Thank yeah, you very much. Speaking of goalposts, but I can see your shape. Sp speaking of goalposts, yeah. speaking of goalposts, every time I ask him if he's in the movie, he keeps moving it. The goalpost. <laughs> To what being in a movie I is. I am in the movie, okay? I mean, technically, yeah. I am in the movie, and that's why Yeah, and I'm in an episode of Bird Notice because I happen to walk by while they were filming. The back of and, my foot's in Boondock Royce, Saints, too. Royce, that's the best episode of Bird Notice. You know what? It was. So, therefore, this is the best Batman movie. <laughs> There's a scene in Boondock Saints, too, where you see my heel as it's leaving a frame. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I really don't like Boondock Saints, so I didn't I didn't watch the sequel. Neither and now I. And now I will. And I was gonna say, and now I really won't. <laughs> you, really, you really haven't seen the scene. It's not good, but it's, no, it's, it's definitely it. worth reviewing. Yeah, yeah. It. It's unnecessary. Maybe, maybe for reviewing, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, well, I do like during the Nomad fight, they have the slowest fall ever. Oh, <laughs> yes. They fall off the scaffolding, but then they're falling slow enough that they can keep punching. We brought that up. We were watching it. We're like, how long are they falling for? So then you're, it's just it's an example where we have seen through the Blade series that vampires can defy gravity longer, they can jump fast. Mm. So are they both defying gravity or are they falling at a normal rate? Are they working in tandem to fall slowly? <laughs> like, no, I, I'm, these are the dumb things that I think yeah. about. But when I'm watching the movie, because remember, I, I was a lot younger when I watched it. It was a mm. completely, it was just all oh, cool action scene. But now you're like, are they floating? Is this, are they floating and hitting each other? It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Are, are they in the Wonka pop floating thing? What, what's happening? <laughs> they try uh, some fizzy lifting. Yeah, there. fizzy lifting. <laughs> fizzy, fizzy They're lifting. They're beating each other up going, I do, <laughs> I do like, um, I really do like when the sunlight comes and he's got to get out of there. He does turn into Spider-Man for a second. Yes. He's like jumping from the wall to wall. That one's pretty cool. And then I'm thinking to myself, wait, you do that all the time. Then how, then, and you also, they should all be the same powerful. They should all be do that. So there's a lot of scenes before where they're hunting the, the blade, the blade boys. Mm. If you did that, you would have killed them. They wouldn't have yeah. been able to catch you. You're that fast, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if I had, if I had super, super natural, if I had like superhuman abilities, I'd be more annoyed if I just kept discovering things I could suddenly do. <laughs> like, like, I'd rather, uh, yeah. I want to know my abilities I can first. do this? I didn't know I could do that. Look, Shit. motherfucker, if I have to spend all my time in the dark and drink people's necks, at least tell mm. me what the benefits are. You gotta give Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man credit. 
They really went into him trying to figure out everything he could yeah. do. I give them, Sam yeah, Raimi gets a lot of credit yeah, for that yeah. because there's a lot of movies now where it's like, oh, you could just do all that. And yeah. it's at least they explain, oh, because the things are coming out of his hands. And yeah. with and look, I get that these Blade films are supposed to be mindless action films. Mm. So obviously you, you can't go into them expecting like something amazing. So, but no, you it, can't. Maybe not you. <laughs> but it, it does feel like it was a lot of like, we need situations for them to be doing this thing. Who does it matter what it is? Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. You know? uh, I do like that the one blood pack guy, Priest, is turning into a Reaper. Uh, and they're like trying to kill him and it's not working. They slice his head off and he doesn't die with the silver. Uh, they eventually have to use sunlight. I like that they burn his body, but then the half of his head is still alive. Dude, I I'm like, you say, guys going to scoot that into the sunlight? I will say that that what that do you want to talk about? We, we know we, we, we crap on the bad CGI, but him blinking after his head was cut off. That was pretty cool. That was cool. I was like, OK, that's pretty that cool. Pretty but it's good. like, oh, wow. So not that is a good way of going like, oh, wow. So it needs to be light. Yes. Now. I wanted to I want I wanted to bring up something and like Royce you actually brought it up when we were watching Blade 2 but how do they afford so much silver? Oh, yeah, where are they finding it for thousands of years? No. Like, okay, fair. Well, no, 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 no. The vampires might be collecting for thousands of years, but not the vampire fighters. Oh, yeah, that's a good. So, that's an expensive No, think about job. it. Like whenever Blade's out there shooting his silver machine guns, I'm like that's like that's like $40,000 worth of money. Yes. Around. yes. You know? I'm wondering yeah. if it's like do they kill do, do vampires stockpile silver so it can't get out there and like do they sometimes do they sometimes kill those vampires and take don't talk about stockpiling money i already got in trouble once don't please don't <laughs> not money the, the mineral <laughs> in the ground um i wonder but that could be a thing they probably kill some vampires who have silver like deposits I'm like all right well now it's ours <laughs> find me vampires with ore <laughs> okay guys we're gonna keep talking about blade but first i want to talk about Bert Silver. <laughs> um, but the, the 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 thing is with the, so it's funny because Silver wasn't always something that killed vampire. That's something they added later. Silver yeah, was werewolf. always the werewolf thing, and mm. it was like, well, how do you make a cool vampire? And we were gonna shoot garlic bullets at him. Yeah. So it's like we need to we need to add something. I think but, true, uh, true what was blood, the first they... movie that? What was the first thing that used silver for vampires? Because. Even oh, I don't know. Here's kid, the thing. Here's the thing. Like, silver blade? might be part of some vampire lore. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Because there's so many different vampire lores. Like, True. Like, there are vampire, like, even in Dracula, like, technically, he can't move over running water, which is why he has to get a boat. He can't just fly. Because he's reverse Jesus. He's reverse Jesus. He's the Jesus. opposite of Jesus. So it could be, yeah, they could have cherry picked that from some kind of lore. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, even like, yeah, Daylight didn't even really i think used to kill vampires that was something they came up with later and crosses do sometimes but not other times sometimes but not other times yeah they um, can they apparently they could go in churches if they're abandoned because they find a lot of abandoned churches vampires yes yes yeah it, it you can do whatever you want with vampires you can make up your own rules uh but whistler captures a reaper and i like that it's like gnawing on his arm yeah. to get out of there uh and then they realize that they actually can't live for too long like the, the the virus like breaks down their body way right. too much, except for Nomak, who was like a carrier. So they do like an autopsy, and I actually really like the autopsy. The practical effect, unless you were shit on the CGI, right? Uh, which, by the way, the C speak. Oh, speaking of Jurassic Park, the guy who did the CGI in this was Tippett Studios. Phil Tippett worked uh, on the original Jurassic Park. He was the guy who used to do like like stop motion and buddy, all that. Mad God is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, ever. But. During Jurassic Park, apparently they made fun of him. They're like, because with the CGI, they're like, dude, you're out of a job, which is the why how that joke ended up in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um, so to adapt, he ended up doing visual effects, and I I think they've gotten better since then. But this is still when he was early on. I uh, and I, I would rather take bad practical effects any yep. day yeah. than mid CGI. Yeah. Bad. But the autopsy. I'm a warmth. Yeah, but the autopsy with like them ripping them open and like even like when the organs that are was still cool. alive the, the organ thing was, was very great. cool the organ thing was really cool yeah and then they realized the heart is encased in bone which that is cool. was cool because it explained why it was harder to, to you know yeah stab them during this whistler and scud start to bond over making a uv grenade uh that's which, right the uv grenade. the uv grenade the holy hand grenade Sun the bomb. holy hand grenade of yeah. antioch yeah uh and then at this point nissa is calling out blade for his racism She's like, hey, I was born a vampire. You're making me feel really bad. You guys keep myself. asking me if I blush. Bro, like <laughs> one or two times is fine, but like 80, 90 times. I'm sorry. Is, 
Is Blade? Are you Blade right there? Yeah, I'm being J Rock from up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys keep calling me Daywalker. Who's the fucking racist? <laughs> yeah, <'cause>, seriously. <laughs> what was his name again? He had a full uh, name in Blade. Jonathan Blademan. Oh God, I gotta look. I up. believe. What's Blade? Blade full Jonathan name? Blademan. Yeah, Jonathan Blademan. Yeah, yeah, I read Blade comics. It's Ken Jonathan, Bladerson. <laughs> he's he's Jonathan Blademan. He actually teamed up with the Eternals. You know, Judy Eternal. Judy Eternal. <laughs> I know it's, Judy Eternal. It's Eric Brooks. It was that's Eric very Brooks. Very unremarkable. Yeah, Eric that's Brooks, right. It was. Yeah. Eric Eric Brooks. So yeah, they now we get to the sewer level and they're hunting during the day. So they're all wearing the thick leather yes. and the body thing. And like Ron Perlman puts his hand in the leather and it starts like melting. It's like, wait a minute, back up. It was in the previous film. They wore the motorcycle suits and they were fine. In the previous film, Deacon Frost put a bunch of sunblock on and he was fine for a while. Oh, that beat scene with the umbrella and all that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he didn't even have an umbrella. It oh, was just right. sunblock. Oh, you're talking but, about you're talking about the scene. Okay, so this is this is the scene where they're all in wetsuits. Suddenly yeah. they're in fucking wetsuits. Yeah, because they're in the sewer. But like you think it the more padded they are, the more shielded they are from the sun, but he puts his hand out and starts burning with the glove on. I'm like, well, how is Deacon Frost able to get away with it? Like there's a lot of inconsistencies here. Sewers in movies never have enough poop. They yeah, really don't. They don't. No, they really don't. That Ninja Turtles ruined what sewers really are, guys. They lie to you. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. there's no hold on, where's the camera? There's no pizza down there. There's no, <laughs> trust me. I mean, there's pizza, but it's been eaten already. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the biggest disappointment with Donnie Yen. The setup is cool where the big barbarian guy is behind him. And I like that he's hidden in shadow. So when he comes to the light, you see he's fully transformed. Yeah, yeah. And then they don't show his fight. You know what that scene reminds me of? That reminds me of The Simpsons when like uh, they owe money, where Marge owes money to the mafia. <laughs> And then the Asian mafia comes to collect. And oh, like, oh, that little guy's gonna do something. I want to see. Out. He's gonna be really cool. And then they go inside the door. Ah! Like, <laughs> that guy hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Imagine having one of the baddest ass like action at coordinators ever, and just just like now cut cut a scene out. <laughs> we don't need to see it. It's fine. Yeah. Can we get more scenes of like techno dancing and blood yeah. cocaine? And then at this point, freaking, uh, because the one vampire didn't like that he was called like Buttercup or something. So him and Perlman are going to try and kill Whistler because they don't like him, I guess. Um, he blew a kiss at me. I don't like that. Yeah. shit. I, I don't play that shit. And then the Tumblr vampire, the Tumblrina vampire. Yes. She's like, oh, no, my boyfriend is a Reaper now. I got to run. And she's like. I gotta get out of here. Let me open up the manhole. I, I forgot the sun is outside. And she oh, to... yeah! <laughs> that scene, I'm like, yeah. you, were, you know it's daytime. Yeah, well, when people panic, you know. That's true. Um, and I do like that the vampires burn red, but the reapers burn blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't catch that. <laughs> yeah, Hold they on, give me really? different colors, yeah. You know what? I. I, that makes a lot of sense. I, too, have been so panicked that I can't tell it's day out. <laughs> it has happened to me before. It's too. hard. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. The sun is so small. <laughs> yeah, you just barely, barely notice it, sun. really. <laughs> Jesus. She uh, was like, eclipse, eclipse, eclipse. Please, please, let there be an eclipse. Please, let there be an eclipse. <laughs> I think there crown? was a total solar eclipse tonight. Or solar eclipse. Ah, it's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! I hear ice cream trucks. It must be night. <laughs> <laughs> the Reapers actually set a trap for all of them. Uh, and I like that Blade figures out. He's like, oh, shit, get out of the water. <laughs> They're all there. But yeah, he uses the light bomb, and he starts counting down. The countdown's pretty cool. Yeah. Dang. That's gonna be my New Year's countdown, the 10, 9. And he's getting like the sword like lined up. You need up. to time it. You need to time yeah, you it. need yeah. to time it. Uh, Cause it's 10 seconds for it to blow up. But like, what are they doing underneath the water? And also I guess they don't need to breathe, I guess, right? No, I guess not. No, that's the other thing. The vampires don't need to breathe either. So mm. then what's the point? Why do they have lungs when they open it up? That's a good point. I mean, you see them gasping for air. So they're breathing something. Maybe- Again, that's the problem with like sci-fi vampires. Mm. There's a lot of like, well, that doesn't make it's not like Dracula is like a magic vampire. You turn into like dust. Like, right. like you you question it less when it's magic vampires, but when it's sci-fi vampires, yeah. it's like I have a lot of questions. Sci-fi vampires, it's always like, hey guys, it's vampires, but also their teeth are tiny drills that spin. Yeah, it's like okay, well that doesn't really make a lot of sense, and it's it's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> uh, but I like that the light shoots out and he slices them all up as yeah. they're jumping out of the light. That's pretty cool. I guess the water couldn't shield them from the light. This will come back in a second. Um, 
Oh, and I do like that Whistler is uh, attracting the Reapers. Like yes. he, they're kicking his ass, and he's like, "Little do they know, I'm like spraying shit to get these fuckers around here." Yes, and then we get one of the badass Wesley Snipes lines. You obviously do not know who you are fucking with. By the way, one of the few lines he has where he's not answering somebody's question. Yes. Also, probably the longest line that he was given. Mm -hmm. You know what? I bet you there's the deleted scene where the ra the Reapers are like, who are we fucking with? And that's what he answered. Who are we fucking with? You obviously. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to ask if he could blush. <laughs> Again? Again? By the way, I do like the scene of Ron Perlman running away from the Reapers and there's lights and every time he runs yeah. through the light, his head burns a little bit. Uh, but yeah, he like lights the, the big light bomb, which like wipes them all out. And remember, they couldn't even survive underneath the water because mm -hmm. the, they jumped out. Anyway, Nissa survives because she jumps underwater. David well, Goyer. Fair, she had plot armor. If you're being, she to be did fair, have plot armor. She did put plot armor earlier on. I would forgive it if she came out and was just totally charred. Like, yeah. like Donald Logue in yes. the first movie. But no, they're like, no, she's pretty. We can't do that. First of all, I'm not gonna, we're not going to get that girl and turn her <laughs> up. She's not, a, as I like to call it, a Ron Perlman type. That's what you'd be like. Ron Perlman getting burned every three seconds of that yeah. movie. Right, you brought up earlier. Right, Ron Perlman's always like, ow, 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 ow. ow. <laughs> And they're about to say, oh, she should have come out all charred, like Donald Logue in The Tao of Steve. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. I like Tao of Steve. Great movie. Um, <laughs> Nomak bumps into Whistler, but he keeps him alive. And he's like, hey, buddy, I got some information for you. Blade saves uh, Nisa. He gives her his blood. And then the vampires turn on him, as expected. Of course. Which he called out earlier. He's like, oh, yeah, they're going to fuck us the first chance they get. <laughs> like, But while we're there, we might as well learn a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Nisa has daddy issues. Yeah. But thank God, because she's into Blade, thank God she's the girl with daddy issues who wants to date the opposite of their dads. Yes, yes. The, the, the one the one to be like, I'll show him. Yeah. Uh, a but, shiny Pokemon. Yeah, but the girls who want to actually date their dads, could you imagine finding a guy who looks like that? Dude, I mean. Like, how many? Like, there can't be that many of them out there that look like Nosferatu. <laughs> I mean, I mean, everybody like in DC kind of does, but like outside yeah. of that, I mean, vampire. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you mean, Tony. I know exactly what you mean. Okay, fine. Holly, some there's probably some Hollywood elite that's looking real <laughs> sexy. To her. You ever seen Weinstein now? <laughs> oh God, he looks rough. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like we should be talking about the Brian Singer stuff more, and we're not. But that's a different thing. It was never proven. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Never proven. All right. It was OJ. <laughs> hey, Homer Simpson. Yeah. Homer and he's an innocent man when it comes to murder. He did Hom some other stuff. <laughs> Homer Simpson said it best. If I can't see it, it's not illegal. That's true. Good point. Very good point. <laughs> right. The Simpsons. They're, they're, they're... That's why we closed our eyes when we broke in here. <laughs> the Simpsons predicted this break in. That is, you know, that's like a trailer park boys mentality. Oh, if you drag their lawn furniture to the curb, it counts as trash. It's you trash, can take trash. It? Take it, yeah. yeah. What's, what's. <laughs> um, so it turns out. Again, total work of fiction. It turns out this virus was designed in a lab and it got out of hand and they tried to suppress that information. Uh, it turns out Nosferatu is Nomak's father, which we all kind of saw, saw that like, coming. Yeah, we all kind of saw that coming. They uh, both glisten. That makes sense. They both they glisten. glisten. <laughs> They're gorgeous. So yeah, and this is the this is the stupid twist. That, that twist was dumb, but this twist is even dumber where it's like, uh-oh, Whistler wasn't the traitor. It was Scuds. It's like, yeah. Yeah, we know. By the way, he got his tattoo on his lip to hide it. It's like that's you, not the worst one. You talk. The worst one comes when we talk when we watch and talk about Blade Three. That there's the there's yeah. the worst location of one, and that's not in this movie. Yeah, but it's like like I if I was Blade, I would. Oh, by the way, Blade like saved him. He, the, apparently, Norman Reedus he was gonna have a three way, and they turned out to be vampires, and Blade saved him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if I like, he clearly got turned somewhere in that time. And if I was just like, oh, hey, what's up? Hey, Scott, what's on your lip? It's sore. Did you just get a tattoo? I feel like there's a tattoo on your lip. Yeah. Hey, Scott, did you eat a bee? Go like this. Dude, put it real, on, go there real quick. Put it on your dick or your asshole. I don't think Blade is ever going to look. Right on the hole. <laughs> yeah, like right on the hole. Or put it where Ryan Reynolds put it in the third one. Right above your happy trail for no reason. That was weird. Well, no, it wasn't because he needed Ryan Reynolds needed to show. He needed a ass. reason to I show know, the happy I trail. Know, I know. Yeah, yeah. dude, dude, the moms dragging their teenage sons to Blade Trinity needs something. That worked out for him. I mean, anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it turns out Scud's the traitor, and he takes the bomb off Ron Perlman, and then like 
what Blade is just like, by the way, I knew it all along, and it's not a dud. It's like, uh, then what was the whole point of that? Wasn't why didn't it just Silver set it off in Knight? My head? Like, wait, it's Silver Nitrate. Like, yeah. why does Norman Reedus blow up like a vampire whose blood's exploding? I, like, an explosion that big that would blow him up would also damage the room, but it's just him who blows up into like a pile of blood. But it is funny they did, like, I knew you were going to double cross you, so I double crossed you. Then I knew it was a triple cross. I'm like, yeah. Okay, then then why just blow? Then you should. Oh, you know why he didn't blow it up when, when it was back of his head? He just wanted to taunt him before he did it. Just do it when it was in his head. Who cares? I like to play yeah. with my food. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> blow up his head and then kill Norman Reedus. Mm -hmm. Like fucking, this is what Austin Powers. I have a gun in my room. I'll go grab it right now. <laughs> I love that line. Yeah. Um, so yeah, apparently the the whole Reaper thing, the uh, Nosferatu. He's just like, I wanted to make another Daywalker, but I couldn't figure it out. It's like, well, now we have you. Let's drink a lot of your blood. Problem solved. Problem solved. So they're gonna like completely drain him. Uh, but I do like that. Oh, the IRS drained him. <laughs> Don't you worry. But I did like that Blade actually did learn something there. So he turns off their security so Nomad can come in you know what and he just didn't start learn? fucking owning people. Yeah. Tax law. He did not learn tax <laughs> law. Or he knew and just disregarded he, It's more like, you know, willful ignorance. Well, it's because they kept telling him, hey, Wesley, you need to pay your taxes. And he would go, nice. <laughs> yeah. Some motherfuckers always trying to <laughs> skate uphill. <laughs> Sir, this is an audit. You're in big trouble. <laughs> The audit takes place at a nightclub. <laughs> so when do you plan on paying? Do you want to do it in an installment? <laughs> so a red light, red light, uh, laser gun at the fucking IRS agent. <laughs> so question: Whistler goes to save Blade, and he shoots the familiar through the floor. This happened in the movie The Jackal, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Because I, I knew I'm like I know there's a Bruce Willis movie. I know in Die Hard he does the and Jack Black's in the Jackal and Jack Black's in the Jackal. And I I know in Die Hard Bruce Willis shoots through the floor and kills the one guy or the table. But I remember I'm like the only other movie I can think of like I think I remember the Jackal. There's someone coming down the stairs and they just get shot through the floor and then Bruce Willis like pops out from underneath the <laughs> stairs. Um, and that reminds me, I want to watch the Jackal. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched the Jackal in years. You know what I rewatched recently? Eraser. Oh, oh yeah. with Arnold. Great movie, dude. And I'm like, I forgot that you could just make an action movie that's not part of a property and it'd be like, you'd watch it and be like, oh, that was interesting. You're not a big fan of the Eraserverse? They made a sequel. <laughs> no, they didn't. Dude, it came out last Eraser year. Eraser 2 rewrite. No, no, Eraser 2 rewrite. It's either this year or last year on HBO Max. I remember it popped up. I'm like, is this? And it's just like, oh, what's it called? Like Reborn or something? Eraser Reborn. I was kidding, bro. Are you serious? Who's in yeah. it? Yeah. Dominic Sherwood. I don't know who the fuck that is. Bunch of no names. I'm like, oh. hey, you guys, you missed your window on an Eraser Okay, sequel. no, no, no. Hold on. Directed by John Pogue, who wrote The Skulls. That'll be good. That'll the be good. The Skulls fucking rule, man. <laughs> that movie was so bad. Where's the like, Eraser? It's just like, okay, well. The window to make a sequel to that was in the directed video sequel boom of the early 2000s. You missed that window. Okay. So he wrote, here's the screenplays this guy wrote. The Skulls. Yeah. Rollerball, the remake. Oh. The Skulls 2, Ghost Ship, and... Ghost Ship! Ghost Ship! Three, which I reviewed. Which yep. we reviewed. Oh, Ghost Ship. I love that movie. That is my co-host, Johanna. She That was her first episode, and she loves Haunted that Haunted Hill, 13 Ghosts, Ghost Ship. That's the, the holy, that holy I Trinity. I reviewed the castle all movies. three of those, except Haunted Hill got kicked off YouTube. Ah. Thanks, Warner Brothers. Speaking of Eraser, Blade erased all those vampires. <laughs> he did. All those Reapers. <laughs> See what I did? Brought it back. Brought segue. it back. So, um, <laughs> why are the guards not armed with UV lights? The one thing that can kill a reaper? They couldn't afford so many because they used all their money on silver. Yes. I really didn't think ahead. I guess, but it's just, I'm watching. Also, UV light is way cheaper than silver. You would think they would have been utilizing, utilizing like, it more. Like, I get it hurts them, but I'm like, well, why wouldn't you just get human guards and give them the UV oh, light? Yeah. Like, because they're constantly, like, trying to shoot and stab Nomad. It's like, you know, that doesn't work. Fair. Get the fucking UV lights on them and get humans to... You have familiars. They could just... Those big god lights. See? Yeah, <laughs> those big god lights that Blade had. It's like, hey, let's just fucking steal those and put it at the front door. That way Nomax shows up. Just blast them. <laughs> no, They're guys. They're so stupid. Guys, guys, I'm one of you. I swear. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> There's the thumbnail. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
<laughs> so Blade, uh, he takes a bloodbath. Yes. And then does. it becomes Super Blade. Which, again, it's never implied that if he has more blood, it makes him stronger. Blood, he probably likes blood better than the fake stuff he's been yeah. taking, but it doesn't imply that it makes him stronger. It's just supposed to, like, vampires aren't strong because of the amount of blood they drink. Vampires yeah. need blood to live. Yeah. yeah. So, I Well, mean, he was dying, I guess, but he's, like, wiping people out, and then this is when wrestling moves start showing up. He does oh, a God. vertical suplex on a guy, and then I, I, this is something I would fucking do, but this isn't, like, a mainstream movie. He vertical suplex, then it cuts, and he comes from the bottom of the frame with a cartoony whip -a sound, sound effect. He's like, whoop! By, by the way, if you guys are wondering why I don't usually shoot episodes, it's because I live near a fire station. I don't know if the mics are picking it up. No, we're being quiet, so it does. By the way, when the uh, <laughs> when the volunteer firefighters need to be alerted, how do you think they get alerted? With that, that siren? Yes. Oh. With it. Hold on. Not that one. We have an air raid siren. Nice! That will go off all times of day to alert the volunteer firefighters. Where do you live, Mega City One? I know, I need I need to move a few <laughs> miles away from here. He, he, lives, uh, he lives in Sim City 2000, reticulating At spawn. least I'm not uh, where I used to live down the street, which was a main street, and all the fire stations would go right past my apartment. So I would literally live stream and just stop having to talk for two minutes and wait for them to be done. Hey. Do the show in the fire, in the fire station. Hey. <laughs> I'll do it totally. there. Look on the bright side. You don't live under a grate at a rave. <laughs> <laughs> and really, if you think about it, that's all we get asked for in these hard times. You don't want to yeah. live in a grate. Some motherfuckers all be living on the, under a grate. There are rave. worse places to live, like uh, an apartment above a bowling alley that's below <laughs> another bowling alley. Oh my God, you're just sandwiched. Like Grimes. Oh like like Greg Grimes, yeah. Grimes from The Simpsons. <laughs> You've been to space? <laughs> You've never been. Never been. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, he slices Ron Perlman in two, and this is the only time that the glasses come off Ron yes. Perlman yes. as he's dissolving. <laughs> um, Nissa turns on her father. Yes. She's like, you know what, dad? You kind of fucked up, and you might screw me over like you did your son that I didn't fucking know about. And why are you so shiny? And why are you so shiny? What do you drink specifically yeah. that makes you different than a, are you a he vampire? Goes, he goes, Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then Novak shows up uh, and he just straight up kills him by draining him of his blood. Like yes. he cuts like an artery. I'm like, does that not heal for him? Can you Maybe. just slice a vampire's throat or Apparently. is he just so old it doesn't? Well, do vampires have blood running through them? I know they eat it, but I don't yes. know. I don't know how vampires work. To yeah, be I don't know vampire I know law. the stories. But like in the first film, like remember we were like with Donald Logue, like how does he keep surviving? Mm -hmm. And I think we were like, oh, maybe he's like a little older and stronger. But it's like, does that where do you hit like a point where then it suddenly goes in reverse and then you get weak again? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, I, always, I always had the theory that like, at least for some of the old vampires, depending on the movie, it's like vampires do age, but just way slower than like people. That's why not that they could die, but no. like they look, you know, they start getting shiny and, and I, oily. And, and, and I always thought what it was, was the older the vampire and the longer they've been feeding, the more like a creature they yeah. end up mm -hmm, looking sure. like. I, I, yeah, or there's, again, it depends on what kind depends of Or you're an old vampire that lives under a grate underneath the rave. Exactly. Do you ever see Daybreakers? With Sam Neill and uh, no. Ethan With Ethan Hawke. Hawk. Fucking amazing movie. That movie was... Wait, no, no. Yeah, Daybreakers was the one where they had the harvesting blood thing. Yes, yes yeah, I had Daybreakers. Daybreakers was really yes. interesting, really yeah. good. The problem is it came out during, like, the Twilight thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so totally people were So people were grouping vampires into just love stories, and they, they slept on it. But the cool thing they had in there was if you don't feed on, like, blood, you become more bat-like. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, whatever the thing that caused it, or if you start feeding on vampire blood, you end up being more bat-like. So you Day have to drink human blood. Daybreakers fell apart in the third act, but the first part of the movie is pretty good. I yeah. remember it being fine. No, it was a good movie. It was yeah. just, eh. No, it was one of those ones where it was re it was good, but just kind of towards the end, you were like, all right, it's like, 20 minutes too the, long. The, like, Willem Dafoe finding the cure for vampirism by having a car accident. That was pretty I fucking know, funny. Fucking amazing. That was pretty funny. <laughs> and look, I like Ethan Hawke, but in like two hours and 10 minutes of Ethan Hawke. Yeah. 
Hey, he's Power been having 40. a good resurgence lately. I know, I know. I like Ethan Hawke. I love Willem Dafoe. Yeah. I will fucking watch no, anything. Like Ethan that Hawk, yeah, Ethan Hawke had a good year. I like I like the Black Phone. Uh, he was fine. I in did the, the black phone, the Blumhouse Black Phone Haunted House at Halloween Horror Nights. I didn't get to go. It I awesome. know. I was it supposed was to go, and I just awesome. couldn't get. I couldn't afford yeah. it. Rice uh, goes. Rice goes. Yeah. So the black phone, the black phone, uh, yeah, the black phone haunted house was really cool. But like, I think I know how the movie ends. <laughs> yeah, you might know how it is. And speaking of a black phone, that's what uh, Wesley Snipes calls his phone in the movie Blade. <laughs> did I bring it back? <laughs> but real quick, uh, Ethan Hawke is in my favorite movie of the year, The Northman. Oh, oh, yeah, dude, great awesome. fucking movie. So anyway, um, let me see. Oh, so Nosferatu dies and he turns into stone and cracks. Yes. I thought that was pretty funny. Again, I think like that might be. An that's answer. why he's always wet, because from that he dries and turns to stone. <laughs> oh, he's moist clay. For he's me, I feel like that's like an Anne Rice thing, because she had the thing like the Queen of the Dam. Not well, the movie version, like they're so old that they turn into marble at one yeah. point. I think that's what they were going for. It didn't quite work. Um, Nomak uh, attacks Nissa for some reason. Uh, and him and Blade have one final fight, and it's actually pretty awesome. Even some of the CGI body doubles aren't too bad right, in this right. scene. Uh, but then, but then Nomak does some elbow drops. Yeah, He's there like, was Ugh. there was some yeah. there was a, quite a bit of wrestling. But it comes stuff. in, it becomes in a little late in the movie. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, there's a lot of wrestling. And then stuff. by the third one, Triple H is in it. They're, yeah, they're all in with wrestling. Yeah, really, dude. Oh shit. I do like when uh, Nomak is on top of him, and I guess his arm is broken. He just throws it up to the camera, and you hear like the bones coming back together and coming back, and then he like punches the shit out of him. Uh, but Blade is able to get the sword right in the side of the heart where it's weakest. And I do like Nomak just doesn't pull it out. He's just like, ah, you know what? I'm done. Yes. Boom. It's like, well, you were really about being alive and turning people like a second ago, and you still have time to take the fucking sword out? Nomad just realized he lives under the grade of a rave, and the <laughs> the runtime of this movie is way too long now. He so can make like, new Reaper care. friends, but then they'll just die in a few days. Look, so. if, I have to be, if I have to listen to 10 more minutes of throbbing techno, <laughs> I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> to Nomad's like, Nomad just at one point looks. Nomad at one point looks at the camera. And he's like, "Caramo, is that enough for you to get your Hellboy? Because this is getting ridiculous." Yeah, uh, but then yeah, that's a this good is, point. This is getting ridiculous. But then we have uh, Nissa's just like, "Hey, I'm dying. I'm turning. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see the sunset before I die." Oh, and this is scene. the first. This is the first time I remember seeing this done in a movie where like there's a sad scene like in a, there's obviously vampires being killed by sunlight but this is like a sad like i just want to see the sunlight before i die it's the first time i could think of it uh it's happened in true blood and a few things and even midnight mass there's like a really sad fucking scene but this is the first one for me hey wait he's doing he's doing the whole hey i never really show love for you but i've always loved you and she's like i i don't want to die Shh. <laughs> take me back at Wait, we have a lab. Let's go back to the lab. Maybe we can work this out. Shh. It's over sun. now. It's Into over now. Sun. But no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. Good. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. It was. She's, she's holding the manhole. Like, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait. Is this is this is this Monty Python? I'm not I'm dead. dead. <laughs> now I'll be so dead in a minute. <laughs> I'm just very badly charred. I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> So she dies, she turns into dust, mm -hmm. um, and then it flashes forward a oh, little bit. Oh, sorry, real quick, when she turns into dust, I did, I did remember one thing this. Also, at the level which they burn up is so different depending on the vampire. Like, yeah. someone's just like, and to her, it's like, look like look like a, 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 a Spider-Man disappearing in, in, uh, in Tony's arm. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. It depends what emotion they're trying right, to convey right, during right, right, the right. scene. So, months later... Uh, we see that there's this club and Blade has become a sex worker, I assume. Uh, and just Which by <laughs> makes sense. He needs the money. That and said. just by coincidence, that guy from earlier is there. And I know Blade, I, this in my head, it's like Blade's like, look, money's tight. I'm going to go strip for these dudes. Money's tight. Okay. So am I. <laughs> I'm going to strip for these dudes at the club. It's going to be my side hustle. Mm -hmm. But then it turned out to be that guy and Blade didn't want to be embarrassed. He's like, huh? Nope. I was always here waiting for you. Hey, Blade, why are you covered in glitter? Don't worry about it. Oh, that's right. just the glistening, dog. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's my time. You smell like a disgusting amount of, of Phoenix Axe body spray, Blade. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Blade, that wig over there looks like from the movie Tu Wong Fu. Is there anything you want to tell us? Nope. I got to kill you, I vampire. Just, sex worker, someone walks up to Blade and goes, hey, do you blush? <laughs> oh, come on. That's specifically why no. I stopped being a vampire. No. 
so yeah, that guy dies. Dude. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was Blade 2. I enjoy it. There are some weird logical things that make no sense. I think, so Guillermo del Toro had no input writing this. No, it was just directing. And right? I think even he has issues with some of the script and whatnot. Because uh, after this, he writes like pretty much everything he's involved yep. with. His uh, anthology series was pretty good on Netflix. Hit the miss. Cabinet of Curie. Yep. Every anthology thing is hit or miss. Yeah, that's except the movie right. Creep Show, which is solid all the way through. And Creep Show too. No, not Creep Show too. And Creep Show. Creep Show too and has Creep one show good too. bit, and all everything three else of them sucks. Great Creep Show too. No, awesome. the, no Creep Show is great show. Great. Love. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Daddy and Daddy are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so while I pull up Harry Knowles Blade Two uh, review, uh, let, let me know what are your final thoughts on Blade Two. Um, it is still the best Blade movie out of the three. Um, it's definitely does not as cool as I remember it, but then again, you know, it's it, some stuff didn't age that didn't age that great. But no. would I watch it again if it's on? Of course, I'd watch it again if it was on. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. What do you think, Pessy? Uh, I thought it was. I mean, definitely doesn't hold up like it used to. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely a little too long, but I but I get it. You know, back back then back then movies movies could be a little longer. They did that. They did that more, but. Yeah. At the end of it all, I I was really wasted when I watched it, and I think <laughs> I would have to be that level of wasted to watch it again. It's a good idea to be inebriated when you watch Blade movies. It makes the experience way better. Don't watch it at uh, 1 a.m. after you've been filming in a cold, unfinished building. Mm -hmm. That's what I did last night, and I had to watch the end of it this morning. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And don't watch it after taking mushrooms. Yeah, the don't do that. Don't do Towards that. Towards the end, they got really weird. Now, there, there was a point where he was just yelling notes at me. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Harry Knowles from Ain't It Cool News. Oh, God. And, every, and by the way, I should have no problem reading this because Harry Knowles is a beloved icon who uh, has had A-list celebrities on his show and has been in A-list movies. Yeah, he sure has. But yeah, here is a, you have to go to legacy.ain'titcool.com to look up his Blade 2 review from March 17th, 2002. Uh, this is famously one of the most cringiest things ever okay. written. You ready? Ready? I'm excited. Okay. So guys, we read the Harry Knowles thing and I realized there's no way this video will get monetized if I leave it in. So I'm putting <laughs> it on Patreon. Have fun <laughs> listening to it on Patreon. Uh, and watching their reactions. That was the worst thing I've ever heard someone read. And worst thing I've ever heard a grown man say. You've never even heard of that review before? No. no. Okay. No. Anyway, now that we're all in a great mood, uh, where can we find you guys? I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> Hanging by my neck from a rafter. <laughs> Bessie, oh. Bessie, where can we find you? You can find me rumble.com slash midnight riff party. Also midnight riff party .com. We do like late night riffs. We make fun of old VHS stuff. I just got a whole bunch of tapes and a VCR. So we've been doing some crazy shit. Um, nice. If you want to know when the shows are on, either check out the locals or follow me on Twitter at Joya Pesky. Okay. How about you? What shows do you do? I don't want to do anymore now after that. <laughs> You guys have to watch that Patreon thing. You have no idea what he put us through. Um, <laughs> what did I? Um, I mean, Rumble.com, Daywave. Go search yeah. for Daywave and then Revenge of the Sis. Okay. okay, those are those are my. Sh I have such a good mood when I got here, and if <laughs> wait till you hear what he said, I. It's, I mean, you could just look it up, but I think you should pay no, the two dollars. No, 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 no. To it's listen not, and see the reaction. No, 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 no. <laughs> so he, yes, that is. He that is, is he did he nailed it. He delivered it in the <laughs> in the soothing erotic milieu it was meant to be delivered. So that is Blade 2. Cruise control. I don't feel like I keep wanting to say cruise control, and I don't know why. And every third movie I always say Blade uh, Blade 3 Rise of the Machines. <laughs> Blade, Blade 2, the search for Tokyo Cruise Control. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh that was it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, well, I, w I would say thank you guys uh, for yeah, coming we'll over, but I didn't invite you. We're already here. <laughs> We're more than even now after that, bud. <laughs> I'm All right? going to go back in the If closet. anything, you owe me an apology. Now, listen, guys, if we talk about Blade 3, just, just call me ahead of time. We can do it at the store. We can have fun. You don't have to break in. That Okay, we'll see. Yeah, okay. We'll just, but, or we could just not leave. <laughs> no, you definitely need to leave. No, no, no. I'll Blade start. I'll read. Ain't it cool? 
Okay, I saw Blade 2. <laughs> oh, I get in there. Hey, man. Ah, we gotta okay, go. Hey, they're telling us we yeah, gotta go. Us. And... Uh, <laughs> Did you guys break in again? No, we never Can't left. Can't break in if we never left. We've been sleep every time you leave, we we uh come out of the attic. Yeah. There's uh, there's no attic to this building. Well, actually, well then then your upstairs neighbor is very angry at us. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the top floor. Have you just been hanging out at the roof of my house? I thought your upstairs neighbors were pigeons. <laughs> He's been on the roof. Uh, me, I don't know if you've noticed, Tony, but your whole kitchen floor is a grate. I've been actually living <laughs> under it. Mm -hmm. And we've been feeding off of your leavings. Yeah. Anytime delicious. you drop toast crumbs, we're feeding off of them. Toast, a lot of toast crumbs and pasta. A lot of spaghetti. Yeah, you had a lot of spaghetti, Tony. The weird part was the amount of tears. So a lot of tears. You've been squatting in and around my building. Define squatting. You've define been, building. You've been occupying my building. Mm hmm. And, define my. And you waited for me to wake up. Mm hmm. And you set up the microphones ahead of time, set up cameras. Yes. Uh huh. In my kitchen to talk about Blade Trinity. Yeah. If it makes you feel better, we use your credit card for the cameras. Also, don't just leave your credit card on your kitchen counter. Anyone can grab it that's squatting in your house. Guys, you know, I'm like a famous, important YouTuber. I have oh, yeah? This, I have this nice set. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, store. It's a real store. It's a very real store. And you're, you're going to make me talk about a movie in my goddamn kitchen. Anybody who does a movie review in their kitchen's obviously an amateur. <sighs> well, I guess that's what we're doing. It's it's amateur hour mm -hmm. here. And yes, yes, amateur hour. You're just coughing all over my line. Speaking of amateurs, David S. Gore probably wasn't ready to direct this feature film. Uh, Blade Trinity. So we didn't really take a lot of notes, but, uh, you know, a, a, a while back, we did do a commentary track for this and it's available now on Patreon. And I guess you guys were so excited. You wanted to come back and talk more about Blade Trinity. So I guess we will. That was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. That was one. Of, that was probably, yeah, one of the worst movies I have. You told me you watched it multiple times. Yeah. The on mute, just the Jessica Alba scenes? Excuse me. Or Jessica Biel scenes? Let me, let me explain something to you. It was on DVD at the time, but if it was a VHS, those things would be worn out. Okay? When she's pulling back on that boat, that's the redeeming thing of that movie. Jessica Biel looks amazing. Those abs. Very fit. Yes. Uh, Everyone so on Seventh Heaven has, is amazing and did nothing wrong. <laughs> Oh no! That was a show. Oh, that no. was a sh wait. What happened? That was a show of virtue. What happened? Um, I, I'm gonna look it up. Google. Google. No, you know, you know. Look it up later. Look it up later. Look it up later. Look up Seventh Heaven Dad. No, 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 no. Seventh Heaven Dad. Let's see. Oh, this is easy. No. Eric Camden is revealed to be father of numerous children. Eric Camden. See this guy's about. You want? You're gonna wanna. Oh no! There were children on this show. Yeah. Oh no! Wow, this really puts a damper on this whole Blade Trinity review. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I could watch Seventh Heaven again. I would rather than Blade Trinity. Yeah, I would rather watch Seventh Heaven. I'd rather watch real, the weed episode. Quick, you over. said you didn't see Jurassic World Dominion. The third one, whatever the third one is. Okay, yeah. Well, they they uh, they had they brought Do Dodson back from the first movie, but yeah, they yeah. had they had to get a new actor. Don't look up why. Don't look up why they had to get a new actor. Anyway, Blade Trinity now. I remember when this movie was coming out. I loved Blade and Blade 2. Mm -hmm. Real hype on it. I remember they were saying Triple H is going to be in a Blade movie. He's going to be in a comic book movie. It's going to be a big thing. And Blade's back. And now he's got a team of young, sexy people helping him out. And I'm like, all right, sounds good. I'm in. And then I remember I started seeing like the advertisements for it. Like the first, the promotional pictures. I'm like, this doesn't look as good. And then I saw the trailer. I'm like, this looks like shit. Yeah. And the, the other thing is you brought up the Triple H thing, but we noticed when we were watching it, it's like, he's barely in the movie. Barely. Like he has a couple things and yeah. Yeah, maybe a fight and like three wrestling moves. But I've, I mean, outside of that, you know, and even Parker Posey's not in that much. It's mostly just falling around as these young go-hards. Yeah. And I, I, I didn't see it in theaters, which isn't rare for the time. I didn't see everything in the theaters back then. But if it was like a superhero movie, I usually made a point to see it, or at least when it came out right on video, like um, like I didn't get to see X-Men 2 in theaters, but I made sure to get it right on video. Blade but Trinity. But you caught three, right? The good one? 
Yes, I saw that in theaters. Good, perfect. Uh, Fuck. Blade Trinity, I didn't see until VHS like two or three years after it came out. Now, this is the one they cross over with Trinity from the Matrix, right? No. Okay. No, it didn't. I don't know why it's... Is it Trinity because it's the three of them? But there's more than three of well, them. Well, I think it's Trinity because it's the third one. But, I mean, okay, so the thing is, and here's why it failed. I figured it out, okay? This is easy. Mm -hmm. Blade Trinity failed because... Count the number of rave scenes in the first one and the second one. There are no rave scenes in Blade there Trinity. There were zero. Not, not even, one. Not even light dancing. Not what? No, no dancing. It's, ugh. Okay. Dude, there wasn't even a scene. There wasn't even, they could have at least, they could have at least had a scene. Because the main bad guy was Dracula. They couldn't have had a scene Spoiler where he seduces alert. and ballroom dances with a woman. <laughs> right. Dracula's right. too. And also, don't you have to, like, invite Dracula in? Like, I don't think he could just, like, go wherever he wants. That's the first Dracula. He's a little entitled. Uh. Okay, yeah, so that's that's a problem here. Sorry, I'm pulling up the plot of the film because I forgot to take notes. See, all Draculas are communist because they don't need to be invited because they own everything. In exactly. It. That's how it well, works. Well, that's a problem. So, like I said, Blade comes from the comic Tomb of Dracula. But then the first movie does the whole, like, forget everything you know about vampires. All the movies are bullshit. And it's like, and then the second one leans heavy into, like, their sci-fi vampires. And now it's, and now it's literally Dracula's here. The first yeah, the, one. the third one is like, remember everything you know about vampires. Remember, it's all coming back. First one was forget everything you know about vampires. <laughs> second one was remember everything you know about vampires. No, remember, third, no, remember everything you forgot about. You forgot vampires. about vampires. And the third one is forget everything you know about a good film. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, David Goyer is writing and directing this time. And you could tell that Wesley Snipes was very happy about that. You could tell yes. he was very happy about uh, a lot of things. Famously, uh, some other director was, oh, Oliver Hirschbeagel was in talks to direct the film. Who the fuck is that? Well, Who's he, Oliver Hirschbeagel? He ended up directing a different film that spawned many, 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 many re-edits and memes. Can you watch <laughs> the film? No. no. <laughs> it's the guy who did Downfall. Really? <laughs> if you don't know what downfall is, if you've ever seen a clip of Hitler screaming and yelling at his staff that's resubtitled, that is from the movie Downfall. So he chose to do Downfall instead of Blade Trinity. Downfall did have a bigger impact than Blade Trinity. <laughs> and better staying power. God, those those downfall memes went on for a long he also, they time. Still, they're still coming out. They still do them? He also made the movie Das Experiment. <laughs> Okay, which is which is German for the experiment. Thank yes. you, Royce. <laughs> so uh, I guess Goyer took over. And yeah, this movie is famous like uh for Wesley Snipes just becoming Wow, real. look, I, we I, as it, when we watched the younger, same thing. I didn't really pick up that up on because I'm like it's just it's a it's a blade movie. Who cares? Mm -hmm. But really now, knowing going into it, the whole background, it is completely noticeable that even on the best those are the best takes in the movie yeah he did not want to be there he didn't he would didn't want to phone it in he wanted to do anything he wanted nope. off no he and, really and we were talking about um in the previous film they apparently uh used stand-ins for him because he was busy doing other movies and he probably saw how effective that was uh -huh. like we like i said steven seagal did like we, yes. you know, just as many stand-ins as possible steven seagal now even has people just dub his voiceover i'm surprised they didn't do that yeah I mean that's the next that's the next step, I, and it, it it sucks because I like Wesley Snipes. Like mm -hmm. he's not a guy that I dislike or anything, but Wesley Snipes is too arrogant for his, well, we'll get the tax thing, but no. he's too arrogant for his own good, right? It's like, look, man, you're good and I like you, but not enough to be this big of an ass. You yeah, know? yeah. It's kind of like Gunnar Hansen, the dude who plays uh, Leatherface. No, not Gunnar Hansen. Who's the other? Who's the Kane Hodder? The Kane guy who Hodder. plays the guy who plays Jason in yeah. the newer movies is apparently a. Fucking dick. No, Kane Otter did seven, eight, nine, and ten. I heard he's Not kinda, the, Derek Mears was the last guy who played. Oh, okay, no, but I heard Kane Hodder's kind of an. Like, I've, I've heard. I, I could be wrong. It's him. like it's one of those things where yeah. it's like what you. I was did gonna say Gunnar Hansen is one of the. He was Leatherface in the. Yeah, no, Gunnar Hansen's old. He was one of the awesome. nicest people he's I've awesome. ever met. I actually saw a movie so, with yeah. him recently. Yeah. No, sorry. Uh, no, God, I finished your thought. Yeah, I, I, I had a Goyer thought that it just came to my head because you yeah. mentioned it. Yeah. And my Goyer thought was, it. I kind of feel bad for him. Because I'm not obviously there's a lot of decisions he made that were in his control, but 
I kind of feel like it really sucks. It's your first directorial debut. You know, you're excited and you're going to do it. And then you have you have to work with somebody who is just dragging their feet. Yeah. And so I'm not saying that if, if, if Wesley Snipes didn't phone it in, the movie would have been better. But I don't know how it could have been worse. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot that's bad in here. And it's not just having to deal with Wesley's bullshit because there are scenes that are completely devoid of Wesley Snipes and they're not very good. No. Mm -hmm. um, Goyer is very hit or miss as a writer and a director. Um, he, he I, is mean, a, I mean, you've worked with him. You would know. I, I did work with him on The Dark Knight Rises. But even those late, those two later ones, I think the Nolans are more involved with the actual script. I think he just helped develop the story, really. Uh, he's good at like coming up with like concepts and working with other writers, but he's very hit or miss on his own, especially directing. And of course, this is one of them. Uh, yeah. So like I said, this is uh, about Dracula and they got the 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 classic film star Dominic Purcell. Um, excuse to play me. Him. What's his name? Don't don't dead name him. Oh, Drake. Sorry, not Dracula. Thank you. Drake. And uh, honestly, I think the reason for that Drake thing is because they thought it would be cooler. They thought, oh, Drake, young and hip, Dracula. That's what that's that's your grandpa's vampire. Apple oh, no. did not pay for product placement. There are a lot of Apple products. Yeah, there this. was a lot of. Maybe Apple. it was one of those. If they did it, they, they did it. They would come kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you they build made it, they the will equipment come. available and included the option to buy it at sixty percent reduction. Wait, didn't even get it for free. No. They had to, so they were, uh, oh my God, they were going to give Apple free plugs on their stuff if they were just giving them, just, they wouldn't even ask for money. Just give me free stuff and like, we'll give you a discount. Yeah. Uh, Ashley Scott was almost in this. She was in Birds of Prey, the TV mm -hmm. show from the early 2000s. Uh, and it says here, Goyer was highly skeptical of having Triple H in the movie, but his comedic timing and self-deprecation he, he admired that. Oh, uh, off screen? Was all that off screen, yeah, Tony? He ended up, it, here's the weirdest thing. Well, said, from everything I've heard, Triple H is famously easy to work with that acting stuff. Like, he's actually a nice guy. Yeah. From, so I could see him winning him over. I think what Goyer's pointing out is he'd rather be with a nice guy who's a bad actor yeah. than be with an, a mediocre actor that's a dick. They might have cut a lot of his stuff here because it's saying they expanded his role. Well, maybe he was supposed to die. No, you know what happened? He was probably supposed to die in the beginning when she shot him with the arrow. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. But then they yeah. go, no, we'll just say it wasn't a silver arrow yeah. because they, they wanted to use him more. And also like probably because they need to film more time because because Wesley was sitting in his trailer smoking weed and not wanted to do the movie. Yep. And yeah. they were and they were probably also just like, all right, look, we spent a lot of money on those silver teeth. <sighs> we really got to show him, and because that's silver a, teeth or something. Every stupid. shot of Triple H is him going ah, and it's close. Like I don't get why there's silver teeth. Wouldn't that hurt him? Like because he's a pimp. <sighs> no, but that's a really good point. It, he would be in pain all the time, right? Yeah. Did they specifically say it was silver? I guess they could just be metal, but it's that's still, worse though. That's so weird. Maybe um, they're platinum. Okay, that could be a. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Chrome, um, chrome, chrome teeth. <laughs> Maybe they're titanium. Ooh. Oh, you know, <laughs> animantium teeth. It is the Marvel Universe. Oh, it right. exists. There we go. Done. So, yeah, uh, a lot of there was a lot of issues behind the scenes with this film. It's kind of a mess. They're working in uh, like Hannibal King and like I think the Night Stalkers, they're called. Uh, Cause they were Hannibal Burris. What did I say? Hannibal Burris? No, I oh. said, I'd rather have Hannibal Burris. <laughs> hey blade, man. What are we going to do now, man? <laughs> oh, that's shitty. So man. they wanted to set up a spinoff called the Night Stalkers. <laughs> yeah, I actually that I did know going into that yeah. that that was the whole plan was to have okay so they were gonna just do another other movies with that's why again why why we, we look at the something I guess we haven't mentioned in the review but it's like how stacked the cast is yeah because if you look the look at the cast on paper today you'd be like that's a pretty good cast yeah. you know you've Ryan Reynolds you have Jessica Biel you have Parker um, Posey Parker Posey you have a uh, what's his the, the guy that was the dad on Dexter um. James oh, uh, James, James Remar. Remar. Go down. Or what's her face from Marge is the new black. I'm, I'm bad. Name. Natasha Leone. Yeah. So, and you keep going down the list and you're like, wow, this is kind of stacked. Like this yeah. is a, this is a stacked cast, but I think that's, that's the reason why it has to be because they figured, look, we need people that could carry a movie after yeah. Wesley Snipes is gone. And you know what? They yeah. were wrong to bet on that Ryan Reynolds guy. Name one successful R-rated movie that Ryan Reynolds guy has ever made. I can't think of any. Off okay, the top me of my neither, head. right? Yeah. Van uh, Van Wilder. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. I, you know what? I apologize. <laughs> 
I think I saw a movie where he was in a box uh, the whole time. I remember that oh, one. Oh, Buried. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then there was the movie where he owned a pizza shop. Yes, I remember that. Other than that, he, he doesn't really ring any no. bells for me. Um, Slevin. <laughs> Lucky number Slevin. <laughs> was he the guy in Slevin? That was, he, that was Josh Hartnett. I think. Well, yeah, it was Josh no, Hartnett. No, 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 hold on. Ryan Reynolds was in Lucky number Wait, Slevin. Wait, no. What's the one with the, with, the, with the heisting and the cards and the... And they're shooting at each other. No, 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 no. This is not letting this go. <laughs> this is the best ever. What is... When I tell you what it is, hold on. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. Don't, don't do it. Pessy, while he's looking for that, um, do you like my uh, kitchen washer dryer? Oh, yeah. I love it. It's it's Samsung, right? Yeah. Does it play a little song when it's ready? It does. Oh, now, by man. the way, <laughs> Samsung did not sponsor this show, but they did give him the washer for 60%. <laughs> <laughs> They said, we're going to get you washer and dryer. And I was like, where am I going to put it? They're like, I don't know, your kitchen. Uh, Are you talking about give up. Red Notice? Red, no. Keep going. Uh, Before. Six Underground? Hitman's Bodyguard? You know what? I give up. Just it Friends? Matter. Just, yeah. matter. just Friends. There That's it is. the movie. Green Lantern. I just remember. <laughs> What about the change up when him and Jason <laughs> switch bodies? What about the one where he was that the just friends is when he was fat and they oh, lost weight, right? Not. Yeah. Bro, yeah. you can never make that today. <sighs> no. You Speaking gotta, of which, you couldn't make do, shallow hell today. We need to cancel Jack Black for making shallow hell. <laughs> cancel Jack <laughs> hashtag cancel Jack Black. No, no, no. You have to cancel Gwyneth Paltrow because she was in the fat suit. She was. And Gwyneth Paltrow should be canceled for her vagina candles. <laughs> not not for anything else. No, her, for her honest. vagina. Period. <laughs> she listen steams here, it. Listen here, goop. Okay, anyway, I apologize. David S. Gore's wonderful film, Blade Yes, Party. yes. I guess we'll just go through the movie here. I'm excited. I'm not. So, uh, a bunch of vampires land in Syria. Uh, at a digital pyramid where I guess they realize. That's um, right. As they do. And then they flick off the sun. Don't forget that they flick off the yeah, sun. Yeah, I think Triple H is the one that's like, fuck you, sun. It's like, what did the sun? Uh, okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I don't think the, I don't think the sun had anything to do yeah. with you. It's, it's an unfortunate thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the sun can kill humans too, but slower. The, but, 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 but so they're investigating this tomb. And something I want to point out very quickly is like, you could have done it at nighttime. No one made you go during the day. You could have landed in Syria at night so you wouldn't have to wear all that protection. Yeah, what is that shit? Because once they pull the rock, they're underground, so it doesn't matter what time yeah. it is. But they had to have the sun up to have that one scene later. Yeah. Yeah. But it was once they pulled the very specific rock that they knew which Everything they knew collapsed. exactly. Yep. Like like fucking like pulling like a like yeah. a you know, like a little needle out of like a Lego. My, my favorite is the the monster Dracula comes out, but it's we find out that that isn't his monster form. That's his scary armor. That looks like a monster, but he also turns into a monster later on. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of confusing things with Dracula in terms of what hurts him because they're all over the place. Like they don't they don't even explicitly tell you the rules of this. I understand vampires are different, but they never explicitly tell you the rules of this Dracula. Yeah, they they never really. There's no. Like he like, walks out in the sun at one point. So there's no like the, the Reapers sun. where they're learning their weaknesses as they go. They never. They're like, hey, this thing might kill him. It's like, mm. are there any other options? Like, eh, no, this thing might. Well, I don't work. think so. Uh, we don't have time to figure it out. We have too many characters in this movie. We got to explore so they can yeah. be in all those spinoffs that never happened. Blind oh. Justice. If she would have survived the blind girl, that would have been her thing. It would have been Blind Justice. <laughs> where she hunt, hunts vampires, right? Yeah. So yeah, uh, we, we get to see Blade, our boy Blade, hanging out with uh, Whistler still, uh, going around. Ooh, shoot. Patton Oswalt spinoff, if he'd have stayed alive. Getting <sighs> away with it. Marvel presents getting away with it. That's a good one. Catch me if you can. That's a good you just one spin too. Spin that off. I don't understand those jokes. I don't. Me, get, me neither. I don't get it either. They're not funny. I, uh, I mm -hmm. those jokes didn't make sense uh, they to don't. me. I don't know what they're referencing. Um, and so, I'm, Catch Me If You Can was a really good Tom Hanks movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. So <laughs> let's get into it. So, Leonardo DiCaprio, he 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 runs away, and then Tom Hanks has to chase him. This movie sounds great. Movie sounds can we great. can we talk about that instead right, of Blade so Trinity? No, so anyway, Blade Trinity. Uh, oh. By the way, look at him dressed like now he's just like an evil Sith Lord tormenting us this with this. This is a Jedi robe, thank you very much. Yeah, you know who else was a Jedi for a little while? Who? Anakin. That's true. No, it'll in, he'll invert it to the Sith one when he reads us the fucking Harry Knowles review. <laughs> there is a Harry Knowles. I'll review. never forgive you for that. <laughs> I, I hope everyone went to Patreon and watched me. 
reading the Harry Knowles review. And watch. You, know, you guys watch a lot of cringe, like every day. I know, but having you have know. low cows. Like- yes, and that that should, that should be the testament to how bad that is. Because yes, we cover low cows and stuff, but they're just dumb, crazy people. This guy is somehow respected in the film universe yeah. and is friends with really famous people. So seeing somebody like that <laughs> do it is what makes it bad. Like if some stupid idiot's like, oh, I'm coming in your liquor, whatever, yeah. fine. But watching this guy seriously talk about and it's not even that he talked about it. You got to watch the Patreon thing. It's how much he didn't stop. At one point, Tony goes four more paragraphs. I go, how is that possible? It's relentless. I Here's the thing: I, Harry, Harry Knowles was right place, right time. Yeah, he was big in internet reviews when they were taking off, like the written ones. Yeah. Right place, right time. Harry Knowles tries to start now. He'd be like one of those guys that are like, I can't believe that superhero is black now. He'd be one of those guys, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, you should check out Harry Knowles like review show he did a few years like years ago. Oh, I am now. I am now. The after- Ain't a Cool Show. It was so well produced and shot and had like big stars on it. But the mistake they made was Harry Knowles was the host and he sucked. He could not carry a conversation. Okay. It was so I'm bad. Have to get some good. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, it's b- butt liquor. The butt liquor of the week award on his show. It's all weird stuff like that. R- Royce, please stop talking about Harry Knowles and uh, his Blade 2 review. I got to focus on that. It could only get so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Blade is tracking down some vampires and then he kills one of them, but it's not a vampire. <laughs> It's some guy, a familiar. It's a familiar. You could tell because he took his fake Party City teeth out of his yes. mouth. Yes. And then it cuts to, uh, what's her face, Parker Posey with a freaking Panasonic HVX filming the whole thing like that. <laughs> also, upside of the movie, Parker Posey, hot goth mommy in this. Love the look. Also, yeah, honestly, um, I will say that in, in, terms of, in terms of the people in the movie that did well, her, if you isolate her from the rest of the bad movie, yeah. she was pretty good. In general, I liked her. She, look, she she could tell she was delivering her lines as she meant it. She wasn't phoning it in. Like, her scenes with Ryan Reynolds were, were, were really good. So, I always like Parker Posey, but even everything she's in, she always tries at least. Yeah, for this, there there's like a version that could have happened where she is the main bad guy. Maybe it's, that should have been the twist. And Dracula is just like a monster thing mm-hmm. that she's using. Yeah, but no, it's just like she's the main bad guy, and then it's like no, now it's Dracula, or she has. You could have easily but had like more she, interesting. You, than, you could have easily had like she had some sort of amulet that could control him, and you know, yeah, she was the power behind that. Actually, God, we just wrote a we just wrote a better Blade actually, Trinity no, movie. Sorry, Royce, we didn't. We actually just wrote a woke movie. Oh uh, no, no, no. The women aren't allowed to be heroes. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Or villains. You know, no, the the movie that the fans these days want. Is uh, it's just Dracula and just him, uh, and he does everything. It's right. Dracula and he's on Reddit, yeah, the entire day. All right, hear me out. Blade Trinity remake. All right, Blade Melissa McCarthy, Dracula Melissa, Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy. Hear me out. Hear me out. Whistler Melissa, Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy. All, right, all right, and then Ryan Reynolds' character. Hold on, I'm gonna do a little twist here. Okay, okay, okay what hold is, on, hold on. Name's gonna, I don't know what's gonna be. I'm really gonna be shocked. Kate McKinnon. <laughs> Whoa, I love it. This is great, guys. <laughs> We made a better movie. Directed by Kevin Feig. No, no, no. I was going to say Feet. Kevin Smith. No, Kevin Federline. Kevin Federline. <laughs> Take do? that. Take that. Hey, Why you would see they that tr- glass ceiling? Take that. Why would they trust him with that franchise? What were they thinking? <laughs> Why would they trust Goyer with this? You know, it's funny. I was trying for Triple H to think of the other Ghostbusters actress, not Leslie Jones. I'm like, who's the other one? I'm like, that was fucking Kristen Wiig. How did I forget the most popular person? Because it was that bad. Uh, you know what? I I never reviewed the movie, but the lovely ladies on my show have. Check that out. Yes, please. Anyway, anyway. They also hated it. They hated they it. They hated it. That's the funny thing. I how watched many, it and I was like, okay, good. That, how many women were on that show? Four. Four women. They all fucking hated oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. And then the fifth one had a cameo and I did the commentary track with her and she also hated it. She also it. fucking hated so, it. So the five main women on the show no, all hate that But movie. us guys, but us guys are, we're, we're, we're uh, Us guys, we want more women in this stuff. We want I a don't bigger think you role. Guys, hear, hear me out. No. We want as more women as possible. You got, you people have us all messed up. Regardless of whatever, both sides have these stupid people yelling at you at the whole time. You yeah. know what I want? Give me a good character. Yeah. Write them well. Yeah. And give me a story. I really don't care what they are. And we talked about that before with Parker Posey and Lost in Space. I'm like, that was a dramatic. She was re- great. She was great re- in that, actually. Re- reimagining of the character, and it worked. Anyway, anyway. Uh, she sets up Blade. 
Uh, and the thing is, like, Blade doesn't feel bad or anything that he killed a human. He's mad that he got caught. Well, because it's implied that he's killed familiars before. Yeah, why wouldn't he? Yeah. Much like dodging taxes. <laughs> Yeah, he's not mad he didn't pay his taxes. He's he's mad, mad he got, got caught. <laughs> um, he gets back to the base, and the base ends up getting attacked, and Whistler dies. They kill Whistler. I mean, I mean, good. If I'm him, I would have thanked him to get me out of that. Yeah, fucking that, thank that God. Piece of horror shit. Yeah. You mean I don't have to come he, to work? Should, I mean, the character shows up later, obviously. Not, yeah. not him, but like you know, the actor. Yeah. But um. The problem is, is that this is the third time now that we're using Whistler as the as the as the, no. as the thing. Like you know, after watching all three, especially, you're no. like, okay, Whistler, we got it, we got it. Hey, how come we, if he's so useful? How come he always gets caught and in trouble and killed? Like it's, I know, you know? it's bullshit. It, it'd right, be like yeah. it'd be like if Alfred was dying in every Batman yeah. movie. It's like, oh, can you give me one fucking movie where he's not? Hey, like, well, excuse me, McGregor's system was very serious, especially <laughs> if you have Phase Four. <laughs> Sir, I, I actually do love that the CW shows brought the McGregor. Yes, syndrome which back. is hilarious. That was a fun. That was a fun week and nine. Yeah. I'm like, really, McGregor syndrome? Okay, dude. If Alfred was dying in every single Batman movie I saw, and I was in charge of writing the next one, I would literally have a scene where Batman goes, "Shh, Alfred, just shh, <laughs> go into <laughs> oh, light, Alfred." Mention, so this is 2004. Mm -hmm. So Goyer is also writing the next Batman. Yes. Oh, oh so we this talked is just about inviting this. time. Yeah, yeah, and we were wondering like. <laughs> He has a blade mobile that does things now. Yeah, so Fucking Blade always it. had a blade mobile. He had a nice car. And, but this, they give him like a car scene. But it has gadgets. It gadgets. It has gadgets. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, we were joking about it when we, were, when we were watching it. We were saying like, oh, so basically here's what's happening. He knows Batman's coming. He's like, I want, I know, I want a Batcave and, and I want a Batmobile. <laughs> and I also want to stand on ledges and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. Man, whatever. Yo, Wesley. and I also want my double to do all those things I said while I go <laughs> smoke weed in my trailer. Uh, also, yeah. I, want, I need more weed. <laughs> also, make sure you pay me uh, in envelopes for the cash. I have a whole thing I'm doing. <laughs> so no we reason. capture Blade. The police bring in Blade. James Remar in that. Which, again, we brought up Blade couldn't be taken down by legions of vampires. And all it took was, like, the police. Yeah, like the regular yeah. police. And like, by the way, I don't want to hear, like, well, he didn't want to kill him. Whistler killed, like, 13 cops. Yo, yeah. So when the scene started, we're like, oh, yeah, I guess he doesn't kill humans. And the, as soon as we're done, Whistler just bah. Like a bunch of, like, Oh, never mind. Like, oh, we, no, we do kill humans. So then this familiar thing, again, like you said, he just got caught. That's yeah, all. he just got caught. Yep. Uh, but he is being <laughs> interrogated by familiars, which I think James Remar doesn't know about. Oh, and for those of you that don't know, familiar is Italian for family. Thank you. That's that's familia. Um, familia. I think, I, Tony, let the real Italian tell you how the word Tony, is. Tony, you're from Philly. I am officially a Jersey native now that I've been there for about, what, 12 hours? 12 hours. It's... Me and me, mama, my dad, the familiar. No, you're an Italian. You're Sicilian. Doesn't count. Only because they say so. <laughs> Somebody watched True Romance. <laughs> on re I, I got that scene on repeat mm -hmm. up here. So they they bring Blade in <laughs> and they're drugging him to like uh, question him, I guess. And also something else, he gets drugged really easily. Like, well, they give him a lot of extra, but either drugs work on him or they don't. There's this weird middle ground. With yeah, him. <laughs> yeah, it is bizarre. And then. Like uh, Parker Posey shows up. So basically the police let them know that they have the vampire there or the, the, the day walker there. So they're there to like, you know, I guess get his blood. They always want his blood for some shit. Uh, but he gets saved by the Night Stalkers. Like, I, like they throw the vampire through the, the two way mirror. And then Ryan Reynolds comes in with the hello. My name is fuck you. Evening, ladies. Hey. Whoa. Also, vampires have reflections. We learned that. Hey, the, they do in, have in, reflections. In the Blade universe, they do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's actually, I didn't pick up yeah. on that, actually. They have reflections, but do they ever stop and reflect? No. <laughs> yeah, like, why am I in this movie? Fucking hell. <laughs> why am I here? <laughs> why am I not, where are the raves? <laughs> why am I not glistening? Is there something wrong with me? So, so Zero we, glistening in this really no made me upset. No glistening or raves, Tony. Yeah. So, so Blade gets uh, saved by the Night Stalkers. Uh, which is a gritty Saved by the Bell reboot on Peacock. Yeah. Which, by the way, what did you think of his uh, uh, CGI double jumping out of the window? I think it's a sword. <laughs> I don't it, know how the, the, new, the, 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 the third one, the CGI is worse than the first one. Yeah. The CGI keeps getting worse than these things, guys. Not better. You would think they'd be a little bit better yeah. by now. And by the way, we were talking about like, so the cops are there in front of a police station where these people have guns and they're coming out and 
they take a long time to shoot at them. Like they had to wait for the other guy to show up in the truck and pick him up. They let him. They let them go into the truck before they start like shooting at them. You're forgetting them. the jumping out the window. No, I did say that. The oh, did CGI you? of him jumping out the window. Uh, okay, so when he jumps out the window, the CGI is bad. Fine. But then, number one, why not take the elevator? There was yeah. no need to do that. No. Number two, that's the, the cool line in that scene when he lands is, forgot my sword. Less line. If you watch the Blade 2 one, which was probably amazing, and that's no. why you're here. Yeah. If you watch the Blade 2 review, we mentioned how few lines he had. He has less lines in this. Uh, has to. You, yeah. I know because there's a bigger cast and the new Night Stalkers yeah. are, or Blade Boys as we call them. <laughs> are, <laughs> oh no, Blade Boys version 2.0. <laughs> and uh, sorry, uh, Blade, they and them because there's both of them. There's, there's, oh, there's some both of them. It's Blade Boys with a Z, but the Z is a number two. Blade people, okay? Blade people. They're blade yeah. people. <laughs> Bla okay, so these Blade people, this is not as good as Blade Boys. These Blade <laughs> people, but so so obviously he, we already know he didn't want to be there. So obviously David Price like give him as little line, a little lines as possible. We'll do most of the stuff. Again, the one thing that you guys are going to notice, it's not all the time, but from Blade One to this one, all he does is answer questions. Pretty much, yeah. that's Blade's thing. Yeah, um, and what Ryan Reynolds does is joke non holy fuck stop bro get one line one line out without a without a zinger bro i'm yeah. watching watching i swear to god if someone super cut together all of ryan reynolds lines and i had to sit and watch that i would feel like i am being held at knife point in a corner no. while a comedian does his tight five at me well like, apparently like so wesley snipes didn't want to be in scenes with ryan reynolds we noticed it's green yes. very green so screen he would like he did a couple scenes with him and like it wanna like in the same shot but then he would do his close-ups. He would just leave. But Ryan Reynolds was uh, ad-libbing a lot, apparently. So that's why, like, he's telling jokes and it looks like Blade isn't amused. It's because Wesley Snipes didn't hear any of well, that. Tony, it's like a marathon man situation. You have yeah. Dustin Hoffman doing his method acting and then you have thespian Lawrence Olivier going, oh, what, he's, <laughs> he's, he's jogging? Acting? Learn your lines. <laughs> that's exactly what's happening here. Yeah, and for, and Wesley Snipes is, is writing his lines on baby's diapers like Marlon Brando. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Remember that? Um... Yeah, so we meet Abigail Whistler, Whistler's daughter that, that we didn't know about. We had no clue she was around. No, no. I mean, we. I think we knew his family was killed. And she's like, I came later. He had sex out of wedlock. And I'm like, so he didn't father you because of that? It's weird that he's like, Blade's like, you're like a father to me. And then Whistler was like, I found I had a daughter and I told her to get out. I'm like, all right, well, now you. She wasn't a boy. Yeah. Maybe it's because. He wanted to protect uh, protect her from his life, the life that he lived. It's the only yeah. thing I can think of. And she like, she doesn't. But she ended up being in that life anyway. No, no, obviously that. Look, well, that's because it was written. So, <laughs> okay, listen. It's, it, it's a little weird that Abigail's. Tony, like, have you heard of the movie? Have you ever heard of the, the blockbuster film Hamlet? Yes, I have. Okay, have you seen Hamlet too? I have seen Hamlet. Very funny. They're not related. I just wanted to bring that up. Watch it. <laughs> Steve nice, Coogan yeah. is. Amazing. I will say it's it's a little weird that Abigail's just like. My father wanted nothing to do with me, but you know, he was nice to other kids like you, Blade, so he was a good guy. And like, okay, thanks. Yeah. I mean, cool. That's weird. That's weird to like shit on your parent and praise him at the same time. That's weird. I wouldn't do it. I definitely wouldn't uh, put out a video on Twitter doing that. It's very awkward. And Harry Knowles is like, oh man, she's so hot. She, she did her arms. <laughs> so hot. I can't. He has a Blade Trinity review. I Trinity. know. <laughs> no, he wouldn't say he wouldn't say her arms. He would go, he would go. Ryan Reynolds is so hilarious. Every quip tickled my nutsack like an expensive hooker. And you're like, come on, man. Yeah, get, guys, watch the watch the page. It's worth it paying. Pay for one month, pay even if you only it. pay for Just one. Do it. If you want to watch us in if you want to watch us in pain, well, this man says probably the worst things I've ever heard uttered out of a human's mouth. <laughs> Especially in context of who's the person saying yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So so the vampire's plan is to use Dracula to get... Basically, it's the plan from the last movie. <laughs> okay, we're going to figure out a way to get rid of all of our weaknesses. And oh, Dracula and then we had, and we came up with a we came up with some sort of virus thing that does it. These movies are copy-paste, man. If you really break it down, yeah. the thing is, this one is like... This this movie felt shorter. I don't know if it's shorter, but this it's one not. felt shorter. It's, it's not? Didn't it feel shorter, though? No, no, because... Uh, 113 yeah. minutes, it says. Yeah, Blade okay. 2? Blade 2 is an hour 59. Blade 3 is two hours and like four minutes. Oh, God. It was longer. Okay, I guess it felt shorter because, at least to me, only because nothing happened for most mm -hmm. of the movie. A lot of it was like... A lot of it was like training... Mon most of it was training montages 
And then, uh, you know, he was a bad dad. He was a good dad. My blind kid. And my, I'm blind and my kid's gone. I'm like, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and by the way, that's the problem. We have these casts that are so big. Is that I, I felt no emotional attachment. Too many like, cooks. Too many yeah, cooks. Too many cooks. Broth. Well, when she lost her kid, that in a movie done correctly, that could have been something like, oh, man. They, they do one scene of them together, but it's not enough to really build up that mm -hmm. bond. Did you ever see Bullet Train? Did you see Bullet Train when that came out? I didn't. Okay. Yet. No. People gave it a lot of shit because it, it it's one of those movies where it is just all over the place. There's tons of characters and whatever, right? But if you when I watch it, what I got from it is it's kind of one of those movies where you you can tell which characters are important, and then the ones that aren't quickly get dis they dispatch. Yeah. So you learn yeah. their backstory quick, but then they get dispatched in some manner that's still memorable but good. Mm -hmm. But but I don't you know this did not do that no, properly no, at all. But we, we get to know a lot about Drake. He gets uh, he 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 feeds on just women apparently. I'm gonna call him Dracula from now on. Dracula. I'm gonna he, call him the Deep Vamp. <laughs> he wears a wow. To the cock. Tell you. To the so first cock. first he has the girdle and oh, the, the armor. The girdle. Let me tell you. And then, let me tell you that is a nice girl. Hot. And then and then he and then after he feeds on all the people in the pit and he like turns back into a human. He's wearing the deep the deep V there, chest out. And then he walks around town and it looks like a commercial for like perfume or something or some kind of commercial. Oh, yeah. Because well, he's like, walking. He, they do this a lot in the movie, but this is where he's like, he's walking normal speed and everyone's going real fast. It looked like him. the opening credits to a sexy CW vampire yes. show. Yes. With the sky moving really fast yes. and him yes. moving slow and oh. Yeah, but it's like, called something like CW presents Drake's trial. <laughs> yep. uh, he goes to like a hot topic or something. Yeah. And there's oh, all this right. Drac kid. No, not a hot topic. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let no, you that say was that. Dracula it was a store specifically that only sold Dracula and vampire themed stuff. Mm -hmm. They all had cereal and it was Count Chocula. Yeah, they had Count Chocula there. Uh, and I educated you guys on the, the Dracula's Widow Peak. Yes, the yes, exception. Yes. yes. The Bela Lugosi Dracula does not have a widow's peak, okay? Yeah, Bela Lugosi has it in a different movie, White Zombie. And I think people might actually put those two together now that I'm thinking about it to get out of like pay, paying Universal license. Yeah. They could well, be like, good. Oh, no, now, no. Now, now I could sleep because of the widow's yes, peak. Yes, now you can sleep. That, now you can sleep. And that'd be funny by if the that's way, by what the did way, it. Frankenstein, not the monster. <sighs> if one more person tells me that you know fact. What, it, 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 actually, the monster were the people chasing him down. By the way, the, the Boris Karloff mummy, he's only in the wrappings in the very beginning. Did you know that? Did you know that Jason Voorhees isn't really in the first Friday the 13th movie except till the very end? And he doesn't have the mask till the third. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. These are facts you already know brought to you by Hack the Movie. <laughs> Hi. One last one. One last one. Michael Myers, not in Halloween 3. Michael Myers, not the one from Austin Powers. <laughs> one actor, two kids, set of Twilight Zone, the movie, decapitated by a falling helicopter. That, okay, I, on that note, back to Blade. Back to Blade. Back to, back to Blade. Wait to hear about Poltergeist. All oh, right, no. well. <laughs> um, so yeah, he, he kills the people at the Dracula store for some reason. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's all his Dracula stuff. <laughs> no, no, him. he bites the neck of a goth chick in a Motorhead t-shirt. <laughs> that is Motorhead. I wish that's that was a joke. That's band. Oh God, that's it's right. And by the way, I wish what you said was a joke, but that really that happened actually in the movie. Happened. Yeah, this one is way more dated than the previous yeah. two. Yeah. It this one is a very much a product of its time with, with the constant Apple products and... The CGI. All that, yeah, the CGI, the references they're making. It's like the first one feels kind of timeless. Uh, and the second one, maybe a little bit, but it's like in the, the second one looks more like fantastical or whatever. Right, right. This is just like, this is what's popular right now, right here. Including right now. the Attitude Era wrestling. It's so funny. Though. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Was that ruthless aggression yet? I guess it's like the aggression. Royce, your face is red. You definitely didn't do a bump of coke in between uh, camera cuts. No, no, anyway, no, no. I was anyway, bitten anyway. by a Drake. You were bitten by a not, not the vampire, the rapper. You are bitten by a Dracula. A Dracula. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go. I need to go write a song. <laughs> sad, sad song. Uh, so then there's this whole thing that they're developing called the Daystar. And, okay. It's, this seems, I, they're making like a virus to, to wipe out just the vampires and like cl ethnically cleanse them. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's a genocide. Again, it's a genocide of vampires. Even Blade says, there it is. Joke, they say it in the movie. We could wipe them all out in one single move. 
during the riff, we dropped the controller a lot, and uh, things kept happening. But there was a point, so Rust, when you, when you went, and he was, the, the third time it happened, right? He, uh, Tony was going through the scenes. Mm -hmm. That scene on the DVD is called The Final Solution. On the DVD really? menu. Yeah, I think I mentioned this. And in a Blade's the good guy in this situation. Blade <laughs> yes. and the Blade Boys are the good guys. <laughs> well, you know, there was a country in the 40s that also thought they were the good guys, so I don't know what that means. And then they just keep some vampires to get him to get into to, to the space? I, I think I mentioned in... Uh, Dude, come yeah. on, guys, let's be real here. You know how cool World War II would have been if there were fucking vampires? <laughs> Operation Vampire Paperclip. Whoa. Oh, I was going to say, I think I mentioned it in the Batman and Robin review, but the, the wrestler who played Bane in that, Jeep Swenson or whatever, yeah. his character in WCW, uh, I think he... His original name for like a week was called The Final Solution. Yes, I remember and that. And they got a lot of angry letters and had to change it to something else. I'm going to destroy you, Drag. I'm going to destroy you, Adolf Hitler. No, you won't, Winston <laughs> Churchill. I will say, okay, so I actually, that actually sounds hilarious. So they are trying to commit genocide, but I mean, I guess in fairness, the vampires kind of started the genocide first. They tried to oh, say so Uno carded the genocide? <laughs> yeah. Aha. Look, I'm not getting into any vampire conspiracy theories on this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at some point, like they, yeah, the, the vampires are also planning for a genocide because they go to the big warehouse where they're all just shrink wrapped. They have humans shrink wrapped, homeless people that are fully clothed. I guess they didn't take a shower, so that's not going to be good. They're carrying something like, yeah, let, let's clean them up before we shrink wrap. Yo, them. Alex, I just want to say I love vampires. <laughs> Dude. What a waste of a! I don't know who this Alex is that you're what a waste referencing. Of a oh, nobody. Dude, what okay. a waste of a fucking warehouse. Oh no my rave. god! Oh no way! Yeah, every time that's during the riff. Every time they'd open the door, I'd be like, "Please, there be a rave. Please be a rave inside." Dude, and there was never a rave inside. Dude, even then, you have this operation. Feed, you, have, you have all this like human harvesting operation. <laughs> Put it on a wall behind a rave. Yes. By the way, I that do, would be a cool backdrop for a rave. That's a really good point. So I do love that they show up and they kill the one vampire lady. They kill the familiar. They, they tell the familiar to let him in, and like they open it up, and it's just some lady at the computer, and she's like, "Hi." So when, I just thought about this, and this would have been great. And tell me, it would have been perfect. No. When he kills the familiar, he goes, "You were getting a little too familiar," and then he walks away. That'd be good. And then the IRS arrest him. <laughs> but the girl is there, and he's like. Do the shutdown code. So, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And then he just leaves and doesn't make sure, like, it goes through. Like, and also, she's just as guilty as the other guy for doing this. She's allowing it. Yeah. And she gets away scot-free, but the other guy gets shot in the back? Oh, yeah. It just ends with everything getting shut off, and it should have just waited a bit, and then they leave, and she just goes, boom. Like, By the way, back on. what's the password? <laughs> Harvest. What's the, pa what's the password? Harvest. Seriously? Seriously? I mean, all right. That's that seems so weak. Obvious. Not even like Harvest 69 exclamation point. <laughs> yum yum blood 69 420. What's your password to the computer? Blade. It's like Blade is cool 420. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Blade's password is fuck the IRS. <laughs> but then, then he just leaves her, but like she doesn't even do like a thing normally in that situation. And I think they did it a little bit in the second one where it's like, What's the password? And she doesn't even do like a, I can't tell you. They'll kill me if I tell you. No, but the, the and the guy that he that they shot in the back just finished saying that they'll kill me. And yeah, goes, and she doesn't say Motherfucker, I'll either. kill you. And said she's like, I, I, you know what? Honestly, this girl is so incompetent. Yeah. Blade probably could have just knocked and she would have been like, hey, come on in. Come on in, man. What's up? Come on, bro. What's up? Come it's on cool. in. Um, oh, you made a good point that uh, everyone has the tattoos, the familiars. And they now the tattoos in this one are used to literally scan yes. like a QR code. And then at one point when uh, Blade is making fun of the Night Stalkers because he thinks they all suck. He's like, what do you know about vampires? We find out Hannibal King was a previous familiar to Parker Posey, but his sign is on uh, his happy trail. His, is his happy trail. trail. We get to see right, right, right above his crotch. Yep. And you do see the top of his pubes. And I'm like, how does he scan that? Does, how does he? We scan were thinking of the thing. I'm like he has to like climb up on the thing, right? That's yeah. weird. And he has to get erect or it falls out. Oh my God, we forgot the blade boner. Okay, so at one point when Blade stands up I'll send after they're break me. after they're breaking him out of uh, the police station, he, he they, they they give him that you know he bites down that thing that gives him the energy. It's like the serum. It's like a different version of right. a serum. It's, so yeah, it's, it's like a, it's now it's like an asthma inhaler. Yeah, and yeah. then and then when he stands up, he has a raging boner. Yes, I mean and at first 
Tony thought it, and I, you know, obviously that's what I would think too, because you would think, why would they leave that in the in the movie? Mm. But it was it was for the ladies. It was clear as day that it wasn't his pants. It was a yeah. boner because when he stood, yeah. even leaned back to show it off. That was a choice. That yeah. was a choice, dude. He was. <laughs> the problem is that's the take with the least amount of boners. Then, if you think about it, yeah. Every other take must have been way worse. There's like behind the Harry Knowles must have <laughs> loved that scene. There's a there's a behind the scenes. Ryan Reynolds it's like, oh, Wesley was a prankster. He uh, he once put Viagra in everyone's drinks. We had both. If you look, if you look really carefully during certain scenes, we all have raging erections. Even Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, they return to the Night Stalker hangout. Um, they find pretty much everyone dead. Patton Oswalt's dead. The other guy's dead. Uh, Natasha Le Leone is walking around. Uh, K K Hannibal was taken prisoner. It's funny because you think you think Whistler's there for a second. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention. Oh, a we ghost forgot, Whistler. Yes, we forgot to mention uh, Dracula. There was like a whole. It's, it's really hard to remember. Dra this movie. Dracula. Dracula. We, Dracula. It's really hard to remember this movie because it's bad. Because at one point they go to question the one familiar CEO dude, and then it's Drake who has shape shifted into him. Abby, it's Drake. <laughs> And we also forgot when Patton Oswalt was showing off all the new gadgets. Uh, at some point, he's just like, yeah, Dracula can shapeshift, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, dude. I should mention it now so it's not weird when it happens later. And also, uh, Patton Oswalt is very openly sexist in this movie. I'm just if anyone's curious. Yeah, we, we called it out on our commentary track. Uh, they come in. He's like, what's up, gentlemen and hottie? Gentlemen and hottie. And it's like, why isn't that just a strong well, independent he woman? Blade. Huh? He's talking about Blade. Yeah. Sup, cheeks. You know what? No, it's fine. That explains fine. the boner. Well, remember, well, then he's also a little homophobic because they're like, oh, yeah, because Ryan Reynolds specifically asked him, like, have you ever gotten laid? He's like, yes. Many times. With ladies. That isn't what Ryan Reynolds yeah. asked. And nobody he asked just asked if you got laid. He didn't say with what uh, gender identification. And Pat and Oswald, who's so insecure, had to be like, no, no, it was definitely girls. It's like, well, and then now it just seems like you're lying. And then Dracula decides. <laughs> The way to infiltrate their secret vampire destroying facility is to change into the guy that they all know is dead. Yes. Instead of changing to like Ryan Reynolds or one of them that he be yeah. like, oh, I came back, I escaped or whatever. Or instead, what they do is the, he changes to the dead guy, but now he's dressed in a black suit. Mm -hmm. And at one point, he's just staring over them mm -hmm. and he shows up and he and, and I guess that's the scene where he uh, he abducts the blind chick's uh, daughter. Yes, he kills the blind girl, mm -hmm. uh, or he like mur like he hurts her a lot, yeah. uh, and he takes her daughter, and then they it, it's a scream three situation yep. where it turns out she just left a video for them. Good, or she's like, how if you're convenient! This, I'm probably dead. It was in a folder titled MacGuffin. Yeah, and then like it, she says, she's wrong. like, there's another advancement on the. I made another breakthrough. It's like so every single breakthrough does she then sit down in her camera. You'd be like, if you're watching this, I'm probably dead. Like every yes. single time. Every single time. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, wow, she does this every day. Every Mommy, why do you why are you always crying every day? If you're watching this, I'm probably dead. In the fridge is probably the best turkey sandwich I have ever made. <laughs> ever. There's half in there. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, so she's like, look, I made this, uh, I made the weapon that can kill the vampires. Uh, but Blade heads up, it might kill you. Um, also rewind a little bit. I forgot. Uh, there's a really fake baby in this movie. Uh, show the footage of the fake baby. Okay. Back to this. Um, so yeah, now it's just like, all right, we only have this one arrow that some guy shows up to give them. And it was the guy who was in Peacemaker. You found out. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this dude Claudio just Claudio yeah, or something. Cold door. Cold door. Cold door. Cold door or something. This guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, hey, what's up? It's me, Jerry McGuffin. Here's the arrow. All right. Bye. Yeah. And he fucking leaves. You only get one shot at it. That's it. One and chance, it was one like, opportunity. Wow. I would have loved if, you know, you would have maybe set that up. It would have meant something or maybe set it open to three different films. There's somebody working on something. But no, no. Instead, it's just like you have a son and. Here's an arrow and, you know, I don't know, no raves either. Can't no, afford no it. Raves, no raves. No raves. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So they get the arrow and they're like, all right, it looks like we're going to the fucking vampire layer again. Which, by the way, the vampire layer is basically the Avengers Tower. If you really yeah. take a look at it. it kind of If you look like at it. it side to side, it really looks like the same building. Yeah. You know what it isn't? A fucking rave. Yes. Uh, Hannibal King is being interrogated and uh, he's, him and Triple H just making dick jokes. 
to the point where Parker Posey is upset about all the dick jokes because she has penis envy. She does say that she literally like says, she says, oh, man, you, you, you're bringing out the envy in me when they were talking about yeah. dicks. And I'm like, now okay. here's, here's one of the biggest problems I have here. So the Reapers were like a problem for vampires, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was like a very deadly disease that could have wiped them all out because yes. remember the Reapers don't stay alive long. So eventually mm -hmm. they would have turned to the Reapers and then just die. Spoilers. I'm watching these reviews backwards. <sighs> well, so yeah, you probably shouldn't watch these reviews. I backwards. like to memento my reviews. <laughs> oh, you do the review first and then you watch. Right. The and then I never yeah. watch them again. Cause once you get the thing, it's no point. The whole movie. So. Oh, that's what Tony meant. <laughs> You know, I should review Memento like in order. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, not a joke. You should. But it'll be black and white when we're talking about the of black. Course, so, anyway. Of course. Of uh, course. Um, so, yeah, the Reapers were like a problem that they wanted to wipe out. And also they destroyed all the evidence for it. Like Whistler destroyed all the vials. They blew up that place. So somehow they figured out how to get Reaper DNA and they put it in a Pomeranian. And it's the, like the dumbest effect. It's like... <sighs> I'm fine with a vampire dog. It's the fact that it was the Reaper. I'm like, no. That and also to make it even better, it was Triple H's dog, which made the, the contrast of big guy with little dog. I think that's what they were going for. Although, I think that's what in doing. all fairness, that scene was quickly made better when two gigantic Rottweilers were also chasing. That comes up in a little bit. Yes. Yes. And step on the little dog. <laughs> and you is, could tell that really happened. There is a take where the Rottweiler runs over the Pomeranian. They just left that. Audible in. yelp from the Pomeranian. <laughs> Love it. I do like I do like the moment. It'll be like now it's cliched when this happens. But Ryan Reynolds is like, oh, they know uh, they're coming here. I got a tracker and they're coming in right now. And it, it, they're like a few seconds off. I'm like, that's funny. You know, something that we forgot to mention that just really quick that I think is an important scene to, to kind of sets what the movie's going to yeah. be. When Jessica Beale's dressed like a homeless person or walking with her bag. Oh, my God. I, we totally. Yeah, we totally yeah, forgot that, the introduction. To I, right. Because so so, the, so they're following. So like there's vampire hooligans, I guess, yeah. are following her. And apparently these vampires jobs is to go out there and hopefully with a city filled with millions of people get lucky that they follow you like debate yeah. them and then of course you know she kicks all their asses and stuff yeah. with her with her uv bow and arrow that can expand uh it's half it's half as hot as the sun which yes. of course that can't be possible yes. uh you know what you know what helps me when i'm fighting people royce if I have earbuds in and I'm listening to music, so I won't be able to hear if anyone's sneaking up behind me. Oh, for me, it's a lot of slapping and biting. Yes, that yes, usually yes, usually yes, gets yes. me out of a situation. So they they all break into the facility to like free Hannibal King and you know fight Drake. Uh, it's, Dracula. Dracula. Uh, it's it's boring. It's not. It, it fun. is it is underwhelming. It's an underwhelming fight. The, the dogs falling <laughs> out of the tower was worth it. Oh, a hundred percent. The yes. best fight scene, in my opinion, of the whole thing was Triple H fighting Ryan Reynolds because at least we saw some action that was yeah. different. Yeah, I enjoyed and their banter prop. And that's again, tell you what's in their banter was probably the best out of the whole movie between yeah. two people. Yep, because you could tell they're both kind of cocky and it was kind of a good fit. But outside of that, like Jessica Biel, they really build up her back back thing and her child, and all she does kind of shoot a couple arrows. Yeah, if you and so it's not really a lot. And then of course, like you said, the final fight is a CGI nightmare. Oh my God. The shot with Drake, like, like getting launched off the thing and yeah. like spinning around is really bad. Uh, I do like the whole thing. The cliche of like, I'm angrier and this fight got harder. So let me get less armored. It's like, Oh, you probably shouldn't do that. Less armored and more demons. Yeah. And Dominic Purcell is like, all right, I'm out. Let's switch to the tall stunt man in the red dragon. Why not always be that guy? He feels like he's stronger that time. Start the fight like that. Yep. Yeah, that always made cracks me up with those. Like, why don't you just, why aren't you always the monster? Just always be the monster. Um, yeah, so like I said, the, the fight is, I'm actually more invested in the Parker Posey Hannibal King stuff. Absolutely, 100%. Where she's just, like trying to kill I'd him. Rather, and I think, bet you that, I bet you that was a setup for the spinoff was their relationship and all yeah. that. It, because that actually would be, I would honestly watch a movie where Parker Posey is just has it is a scorned ex lover of Ryan Reynolds, a vampire hunter. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. That yeah. sounds pretty. Dude, funny. That would be a yeah. good show, and it doesn't even need to be in the Blink yeah. universe. No, it would be its own fucking thing. Yeah, but yeah, that is weird. Like Jessica Biel, she doesn't because Hannibal takes care of Triple H. His death is kind of cool. I like how he falls through the bars yeah, yeah. there. But then he's also dealing dealing with Parker Posey. Like Jessica Biel, I think shoots some stuff at her not really fighting anyone really that i can recall no 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 one really fights they all just kind of they all just kind of chase every there's chasing and running oh chasing wait, and, running, no, and then that's right they're all fighting just random vampires who happen to be in the building yes. there's 
There's the armed guards, and then there's just vampires who are just there. Yep. It's all over the place. It's not as self-contained not as the fight. And, that, and that's a good point. Like, it's implied that there's a lot of vampires there, right? It's implied yeah. because... But you only really see three of them, four of them fighting. Like, mm-hmm. if you would think this invasion was that big, wouldn't all the vampires in the facility at the same time? Yeah. But just a couple of the guards show up because later on when they released this Dawnstar virus, mm-hmm. they they literally had to bring in extras to be vampires yeah. to show them dying. Yep. Uh, what, did, what did you think of uh, the, the Red Dragon, Dracula, Dracula? I mean, in terms of a practical effect, I think it looked cool. Yeah. It, it's not like it didn't, look, it didn't look bad, but it was like, but why? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, then they gave him like a reaper mouth. Not quite a reaper mouth. Well, sort of. Yeah, sort of. But and it's, it's him changing size didn't seem to make him stronger. No, like, it's, it's, still, just, it's an aesthetic thing, I guess. Yeah, it was like 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 a, like a scary face on a butterfly's wings. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't. And, yeah, and he decides to like sword fight blade. It's like, well, the silver wouldn't kill any of you, really. So you're just gonna slice each other up. I don't know what you're gonna achieve. Yeah, though. pointless. Yeah, it's yeah, pointless. It pointless, um, pointless end for a pointless film. And this would be a good moment for Ab- the Abigail character to shoot the arrow. We forgot the training of her shooting the arrow, trying to shoot the arrow. So apparently, faster. the arrow speed goes faster, but it can't be. Fa- your arm can only go back as far. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's how that goes. And not like the speed even fucking matter because when. It, by the way, because they couldn't even let Abigail get the win because when she shoots a Dawnstar arrow, Dracula catches it yeah. in the air, and Blade has to be the one to do it. Yeah, I hate when movies do that. Like, there's um. Dracula catches it and then drops it at Blade's hands. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He like, just throws it. Just, just he drops it. Like, he doesn't hands. know what it is. Still though. Yeah. Uh, that reminds me of like the, the Resident Evil movies are famous for that, where someone could kill, but they have to make sure Mili Jovovich is yep. the one who kills them. Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, the best Batman movie ever made, uh, Dark Knight Rises. That's why I like that. Like Catwoman just comes in and shoots Bane. That is it's how not, it should have gone. It's yeah. Like Catwoman came in. And then gave Batman something to beat up Bane. Like, yeah, yeah, which is the way it should have been. We kept making the joke through this whole thing, the, 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 the whole Scott Evil thing. I have a gun in my room. Like, we well, just shoot this, him right now. There, yeah. This should have this problem should have been solved a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh, and then, so then after they after the the whole fight, yeah. um, they inject him with the Dawnstar thing, mm-hmm. and then of course it only kills. Thankfully, because they wanted spinoffs, it only kills vampires in the general vicinity. But then when he's dying, Dracula decides to go, even though they're mortal enemies, and he just it genocided half of his species. Mm. He goes, "I'll give you a final gift." Blade, you have a final gift that I'll give you. And then the final gift was for him to turn into Blade when yeah. he died, so they okay. think he was alive. So I I'm grant like, you freedom, Blade. Do you do you think I'm a slave? <laughs> I yeah. know you're like centuries old, but like I'm I'm not. He's like, hey, 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 Drake, like, like we we can walk around now. Drake, and, it's 2022, man. Drake. Yeah, we Drake. like mm, depending hey. depending where you are. Are you in the third world? And this the oh my god, industry? the movie ends with Dracula getting canceled. He doesn't even get killed. He gets canceled. He gets one of the one of the <laughs> like other vampires is like. <laughs> Did you see Dracula's tweet? Yeah, that would be hilarious. God. I don't know if you know this, but Dracula was fi- following uh, Reinhardt on Twitter before he died. Yeah, it's like, uh-huh. oh wow, now pro- pro- Reinhardt's German. You Dracula's know who else Dracula t- followed? That Andrew Tate guy. <laughs> Guys, I think Dracula's problematic. Mm-hmm. Well, he's like, I've killed thousands of people. That's the issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now. The whole him. So he wants to keep Blade alive at that point because he's like, you'll create more vampires. And it's like, do we know if Blade can turn people into vampires? That I don't think that was ever really spelled out. Yes. Yes, I think he can, because didn't he didn't he try to do that to save one somebody from from, in the first one? I don't even remember. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm mixing up every vampire movie I ever made. I think made. what I well, I think the whole point, though, like I've noticed, there's like a pattern. I think what it is is that he's a daywalker, right? So anything that anyone that he bites would become a daywalker. And I think that's why everyone is like after his blood in like the second one. Of them. I don't they think all if he bites blood. them, they could turn into daywalkers. I think using the blood, they could try to make something. Yeah, but he's yeah. like the thirst will get you, Blade, and you'll finally give in. And but, like, okay, but, but, but technically, think- he does when they bathe him in blood. Yeah, but listen, um. So we knew that there was this fact going around that Blade, Buzzy Snipes didn't want to open his eyes. Yeah. Yes. But we, I don't think we saw that. So I think I was reading the original ending. I don't think it was supposed to be Drake in the morgue because that's how the movie ends. They find Blade's body. They put him in the morgue and it turns out to be Drake. But I'm seeing here 
in the unrated extended edition, the body in the morgue does not transform back into Drake. Blade awakens as the autopsy begins. So that's probably the CGI hold thing. Hold on. Like, wait, hold on. Back. Don't gloss over the fact that there's a fucking extended version of yes. Blade Trinity. Yes. Uh, he awakens as the autopsy 15 begins. more Ryan Menel Reynolds dick jokes. God, yeah. fuck you. And he attacks the doctors and the FBI agents. Uh, the scene ends as he menacingly approaches a cowering orderly. King narrates that the virus did not kill Blade as the human half of his heart did not stop beating and only slowed down, causing him to enter into a coma so state until his body was ready to fight again. So that's how they were originally going to end it. Uh, instead, this one, they're like, he just gets off on a motorcycle and takes off. Oh, he takes off in the, not just in like a, he takes off mm. along the center line of two lanes. Yeah, and he's going normal speed and they're going and fast you, speed. And if you slow it down, as he goes off into the horizon, they squeeze him thinner so that he fits <laughs> yes. and fades out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the movie just kind of ends there. Yep. But there was. Blooper reel was dope though. There was a, huh? Blooper reel was sick. <laughs> I don't what? think that. Can we do that again, guys? Can we do that again? <laughs> Fuck. So there was another alternate ending because now there's less vampires, I guess. I wonder if in the original version, it was going to be all vampires or something. But if uh, I remember correctly in the blooper reels, one of the things was he goes, you cunt chuggling thundercock. Ah, I got it wrong. I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. Remember stuttering John's blooper reels? Oh my in God. Th one too many. Where yeah. Not stuttering John's bloopers? blooper reels called his career. Yeah. Dude, dude. Me and Carl one too many for that. Mm -hmm. One too many was. Do you have a commentary rough. track for that too, right? Uh, Mersh did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I'm the I'm the one who actually got him. I'm the, I'm the one who actually told him about that and got him the, the comedy. That was me, me and Carl. That is probably one of the most unfunny comedies I've ever. It's seen. one of the hardest thing. I think that's one of the hardest things I've ever. That's my Rocket Man. That's yeah. my Rocket Man. Is one two. That Harlan one. Williams Rocket Man movie is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Yeah, dude. If you want to suffer, Robin Williams. Ro no, Harlan, Harlan Williams. Williams. Harlan. 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 I saw that as a kid and I remember liking it. I wonder it's how I would feel. Bad. You will not like it now. Yeah. So the alternate <laughs> ending. The, uh, the Night Stalkers, they're in a casino in Asia. And I have seen this scene. You should check out this scene. And they're like, not so many vampires around. The uh, works, the things have been less busy. And then a werewolf bursts in. It's like, we're going to fight werewolves. Wait, Chinese werewolves? By night, possibly? I don't know. We're going to fight werewolves now. And that's how that ends. You see, they're, they're, like, they're like the Daywalker version. They're called werewolves. They can be anywhere. I don't... <sighs> And they don't have to turn into wolves. They're just guys. Yeah, they're just. I get why they change it because, like, why would you want to set up a vampire killing team and then you make the movie where you introduce them, you kill all the vampires? It's like that seems that seems counter to what you want to do. It's not werewolves. It's just a bunch of burly Greek tourists, <laughs> <laughs> swarthy. So that is Blade Trinity. Jesus, I will never, never watch it again. Never again. Ever again. Ever. Ever, um, except for when I'm syncing up our audio commentary. Uh, but other than that, never again. Hashtag uh, never forget. Get the um, get. Make sure to get the form the four film favorites collection. There's a what the fuck is? Give me that. What's the the fourth? fourth one is the pilot to the TV show starring Sticky really? Fingers, uh, which is starring House Sticky of Sticky Fingers. Oh, you never saw the TV show? No. Well, looks like we have one more thing to do. <laughs> The TV show, apparently, it was on Tubi a while back, and I didn't have time to watch it. Uh, the TV the best show, streaming service, by the way, Tubi. Yeah, of course. Obviously. Uh, the TV show, apparently, like from what I read, it got like really good like ratings. It was just too expensive to produce, and they're like, yeah, yeah we're done. We're done. Moon Knight would have originally debuted in the Blade TV show, and then they had to wait till Disney+. Plus. Uh, yeah, so that is Blade Trinity. We all hate it. It's so bad. It's not very good at all. Uh, Wesley awful. Snipes is checked out. The, Ryan Reynolds has a few good jokes here and there, but mostly no. I hated it. <laughs> What's her face is hot, but you could probably just look up some pictures of her. Yeah. Like, I mean. You don't or need watch to watch another movie she's in. Like, really, a better movie. Watch a better movie she's watch, in. Watch, I got a better idea. Chuck and Larry. She's in Chuck and Larry. Yeah. Watch Jessica Biel and Chuck and Larry. Here's, yeah. I got one over here. Don't worry about Jessica Biel. Watch any other movie. Yeah. Anything that exists. I was going to say, if you're like a weirdo, I mean, totally normal person, there are extreme close-ups of her feet, but you probably just go to the internet for those. They do have a, oh, she has that shower scene where she's crying and the yeah. blood's coming off. It was really weird. And yeah. it's also one of the biggest showers I've ever seen. Yeah. It's a very weird. large shower. Yeah. That's kind of one of those showers, like a serial killer traps you in and it slowly yeah. fills. Yeah. yeah. Like a torture shower. 
Oh, so that's it. Well, this movie's a torture shower. Yes. Well, thanks, guys. I was. Uh, I just wanted to have a nice morning coffee, and you. Oh, were- we ate your leftovers. I'm so. I'm sorry. We got a peckish. You have a lot of sushi in your fridge. Like an alarming amount. Like, like it's concerning. We ate it all, but it's concerning how much there was, mm-hmm. Tony. I mean, five pounds of California rolls? I like California rolls, guys. <laughs> I mean, That's obviously you I do. Mean, California rolls. rolls. I love to eat them every... <laughs> Blade, bro- Blade broke us. <laughs> this is what we are now. <laughs> So, yes, I guess we'll come back for the TV show. Uh, I did streaming. I can find it. Don't um, worry about that. Now, <laughs> feels like a stupid question. Or I wanted to say, where can I find you? But apparently in my apartment <sighs> complex. You can find me uh, wherever Tony's uh, not home. I'll be in his house. <laughs> and uh, also uh, go to uh, here. Let me plug my locals. Revenge of the Sis.locals.com. We do a bunch of movie riffs there and stuff like that. And that's really fun. So mm-hmm. I have something in my ear. I think you said Sith. And we're just going to go with that. Well, what no, is it? No, it says what? Like a like a sis? Anyway, what was your thing? Oh, um, well, I'm when I'm not raiding Tony's fridge for imitation crab and cream cheese. Um, uh, I you can find me uh, midnightriftparty.locals.com. There'll be show updates to our streams on Rumble as well as there's paid content like a little extra stuff. Um, uh, it gets pretty spicy. We've got it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, and that's real imitation crab. Yes, real, uh, real authentic imitation. Real crab. authentic imitation crab. Spelled with a K. Okay. Two Bs. Well, I guess I gotta wake up now and like go to work. Are you? Yeah, uh, we'll be here. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna. We're gonna find the Blade uh, series and watch it for you. Yeah, you do. You. Oh, all right. See you later, buddy. Yep. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.